Welcome in. It is seven, uh, leaning on eight minutes past the hour. It's the Rick and Bubba Show. 866 We Be Big is our number, and we thank you so much for being with us. Busy day on tap today. Bible study live at noon central. So uh, be uh, standing by for that with Rick today. Uh, we will uh, have a great day looking at some of the stories as we inch a little bit closer to Super Bowl 58. And speaking of that, we have a story right out of the gate that we have to discuss. But first, let's bring everybody in. Over to my left is Mr. Greg Burgess. And to my right, it is Michael Helms. What's up, boys? How are y'all? Boys. Good morning, good morning. What's happening? What's happening? Uh, we, uh, we have got a story that we were talking pre-show, and it's dear to my heart uh, just because... This is kind of what we do. Yeah. Uh, and <clears throat> I, can, I can see this happening, Doug. Oh, my gracious. It has to be discussed. Um, there's a story coming out of New York. Um, is it is it Boomer and Geo, I guess? It's the number one morning show in New York. Uh, it's on WFAN. And um, it's broadcasting on, on site in Las Vegas for Super Bowl 58. Yeah. Well, their radio producer uh, booked Randy Moss. But the two hosts didn't realize that he booked the wrong Randy Moss um, until they were no live on the aware. air. There was figuring it, yeah, figuring it out. They, there was a simple question from Geo that he asked the producer, and through discussion, they realized, wait a minute, have you booked the, the white Randy Moss or, you know, take yeah. the top off the defense Randy Moss? And it was discovered that he booked the wrong Randy Moss. I had no idea that there was a Randy Moss in horse racing. It's a horse racing yeah. reporter. He's well known there. He also worked for the NFL channel a, a while back. So well, that was a little confusing. That would kinda... But apparently the producer there... said that it was uh, the, the I guess, request was misleading to him, and he never knew there were two Randy Mosses. Well, who would? And, and, and um, why would you want to interview a horse racing Randy Moss guys? The during discuss- the Super Bowl week? The discussion of what have you done, and then them realizing the ra- the wrong yeah. Randy Moss has been booked, I, I, it, I hurt for that producer. Had just a, a, a just a a slight second hand, but it was more entertaining for me on this one. Uh, but uh, he was uh, looking through his emails. The producer said, and they go, "Did you uh, do you need a headshot or a bio?" I'm like, "No, we know who Randy Moss is. We're all good." Do I need his bio? No. It, you know, he's a great receiver, I wrote back. We all know who Randy Moss is. Anyway, they start <laughs> discussing it, and they realize, dude, you have booked the wrong Randy Moss. Yeah, because he also I, used to work on the NFL channel. Yeah, yeah, So that yeah, kind of yeah, threw him yeah. off. I tell you who I feel bad for is the white Randy Moss. Because yeah. Because he thought the entire time, he was excited. That's he true. thought, man, yep. they're going to have me on the show. And yep. But I'm you, get to be you a think part it ever this. crossed his mind that well, maybe. Well, Speedy gave us a couple of details that makes me think he probably, because he worked evidently at the NFL. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he did some the things. Now, I don't know why the horse racing deal was. Well, he's, what's funny it, is one of the guys goes, yeah, Randy, he wants to talk. He's so about horse racing. And they were like, horse racing. Yeah, that was that's the, what kind of got it going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The producer said, yeah, in here, he said that, you know, they talk to the Super Bowl and, you know, NFL. And, and I mean, we'll, we'll do some horse racing. It was like like fourth on the list, and yeah. they were like, "What?" Um, yeah. Good gracious! I wish they wouldn't have figured it out until he was on the screen. So Boomer looks at him and he goes, um, <clears throat> "Well, I tell you what's entertaining for me is I want to be I want to be here when you have to call him and tell him he ain't coming." Yeah, and the guy uh, said, that he said absolutely that we're canceling. That we're canceling and then him. he claimed it was misleading <laughs> because they had you know they used to work in the NFL and yeah. Just that whole back and forth and them them being live. This was not a meeting. Gosh. They were live on the air. Part of me wishes that would have been Well, and something <laughs> tells me Randy Moss it wouldn't be it wouldn't catch me off guard if he was into horse racing. Well, yeah, well true. That's you know kind of what, I mean? what the guy yeah. was saying. Yeah. And, yeah. He, they, they were like, eh, cause see, and he did have NFL form, you know. Yeah. But but then he started going, uh, well, but but you know, when I was going back and forth with him, they were like, Heck no, yeah. He wasn't a player. You know, heck yeah, he'll come in studio. And, and, you know, be a part of whatever. And Boomer started thinking, he goes, wait a minute. you got to sit back and think about this. Randy Moss ain't coming in studio. You know, he wouldn't be that eager. Wow. And then you start kind of playing it out, and the guy's like, yeah, you're right. You well, know? I, what that I don't it. understand is I know he's obviously got a career in horse racing and yeah. used to be on the NFL. But why would even his people think anybody was wanting to interview him about the Super Bowl? Oh, no. You know I, what I'm saying? I, yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. Knowing um, that he has the same name, and there is potential yeah. confusion. Oh, yeah, that's good. 
you know. If it oh, my gracious alive. That is that is gold. I'm going to tell you, if you had booked Randy Moss and you were fired <laughs> up about it for the podcast and all of a sudden he popped up on the screen and it was some white guy talking about horse yeah. racing. Oh, y'all would love it. Oh, I'd uh-huh. never let that go. No, you wouldn't. I don't know. Would it get us in trouble if we played like just a few seconds of it? I don't know, but it's pretty funny. Okay. Something. And that's why I'm actually happy we are not uh, at this radio. This courtesy what? of uh, Boomer and Gio. By the way, Al, do you, do you know? It's something having to do with horse racing. Really? He's very into horse racing. Are, are you sure this is the right? This the Yeah. Not this the is other Randy, Randy Moss, Moss. The wide receiver, not Randy. Is there another? Randy yes. Moss? There's a. Uh oh. There's an announcer, Randy Moss, who is into horse who racing. Who is into horse racing. Please tell me that's fake. The, I, no. That would no. be so awesome. <laughs> oh, and boy. And then that's the discussion. Then they start unpacking it and they wow. realize what, yep. what had happened. They realize, oh my gosh, Ooh. you've booked the wrong Randy Moss. Now you got to call the other Randy Moss back. I, he, he needs to change his name if he's ble- going to be. Bless his. I mean, bless I was his, a little late for that. But. This is a little horse racing heart. You, hey, I they mean, won't talk horse racing here, right? But I will say this. But no, I'll still come in. No. The Fox uh, channel on um, the radio, they cover a lot of horse racing. They yeah. do. Yeah. A yeah. lot. Yeah, I, I hear it on like daily, and I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. is there really that big a crowd worrying about like, any yeah. content? Yeah. The Kentucky Derby and stuff like that. But they're, they're talking about these Santa Anita and all that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that story just jumped out at me because it's, a, a, I mean, it brought us, that's our oh, world. Uh, yeah. And, and, and doing God, something wish, like I that. I wish that would happen to you. <laughs> I, I don't know why I'm putting it on you, but I just well, am. Well, and, and it looks like that show has a little bit of it. Uh, where th- this is the only show where bad is good. Yeah, I heard that one guy go, oh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> this is great. Uh, because if something like this happened, this would be better than the actual real Randy Moss interview. Hey, we-, we would play it up. And pop up on the screen. Oh, yeah. wait a minute. Something's wrong here. All yeah. right, uh, we'll take a break. We'll come back 14 minutes past the hour. Yes, I am aware. It sounds like I've- I'm holding my nose for some reason. I woke up, my right, right nostril was stopping us. I don't know what that's good. about. Greg's trying to fix it. Why don't, I don't you know. go blow it? <laughs> we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Winter weather has a way of making you crave comfort food, so HelloFresh is here to help you do the chilly season right. Check out their largest menu yet that has something for everyone, including meals that are quicker than restaurant delivery and 25% cheaper than takeout. Join today and get free breakfast for the life with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. That's one free breakfast item per box with active subscription with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba or find a link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors button. If you owe back taxes, fair warning, the IRS is mailing millions of pay-up letters. Then it's up to the new IRS enforcement agents to find you. Tax Network USA has war room strategies to solve your IRS problems quickly, like a preferred direct line to the IRS. Tax Network USA learned of a limited time offer, an IRS offer. Schedule your free confidential consultation to see if you qualify for this limited time IRS penalty canceling offer. Call 1-800-245-6000 or visit tnusa.com slash Bubba. Helix Sleep does it again with an innovative kids mattress made to flip. Why? Well, the firmer side is great for younger kids when they need more spinal support to aid proper development of their growing bodies. You simply flip it over when they're a little older, around 8 to 12 years old, when they want the softer side for sleep. Handcrafted and assembled right here in the USA, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders, including the kids' mattress. Go to helixsleep.com slash bubba. helixsleep.com slash bubba. Resolving to eat healthier this year was easy. Actually doing it, not so easy. Well, Field of Green is our healthy super fruit and vegetable habit in my house. Each super fruit and vegetable in Field of Greens was doctor selected for a specific health benefit. Some support your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Others support metabolism for healthy energy and weight loss. If you resolve to get healthier in 2024, it starts with Field of Greens. Get 15% off your first order with free rush shipping at fieldofgreens.com. Use the promo code Bubba or go to rickandbubba.com. There's a popular saying out there, health is wealth. And folks, I couldn't agree more. If you're dealing with everyday aches and pains, I want to tell you about Relief Factor, a daily drug-free supplement developed by doctors. It's not just a pill that masks pain. Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients that work together to help reduce or eliminate pain. Try their three-week quick start kit for only $19.95. Go to relieffactor.com or call 1-800-4-RELIEF. You can also find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Love is in the air. And some things just go better together, like whatever you're listening to and 
Raycon's everyday earbuds. And like any serious love story, your Raycon earbuds are here for a good time and a long time with eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life. They offer tons of useful features. Most importantly, you get amazing quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. Get 15% off plus free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Bubba. Buyraycon.com slash Bubba or find the link at rickandbubba.com. I was afraid to cut the cord, but once I did, I couldn't believe it took so long to do it. Paying too much for my cable bill had become a bad habit. I either wasn't getting what I wanted or never knew where to find any of my favorite shows until it was too late. Plus, the prices just kept going up. Thankfully, I discovered a new way to watch called Philo. For just $25 a month, I can catch all my favorite shows on networks like BET, MTV, and TLC. It even has Nickelodeon for my kids. I can watch anytime I want, anywhere I want. Plus, Philo lets me have up to three streams at once, so everyone can watch what they want at the same time. Throw in the unlimited DVR that saves all my favorites for up to a year, and this really is the best deal in TV. I just wish I hadn't waited so long. Sound too good to be true? Well, try it out for yourself, and you'll see why people who love TV love Philo. Go to philo.tv, that's P-H-I-L-O dot TV, and start your seven-day free trial now. Hey, folks, when you love someone, you protect them the best way you can. That's why we recommend home security from SimplySafeBubba.com. SimplySafe is an advanced system that protects every inch of your home. Plus, it's backed by 24-7 with professional monitoring for fast emergency response for less than $1 a day. Order now and get 20% off any new SimplySafe system with fast protect monitoring. Visit SimplySafeBubba.com. That's SimplySafeBubba.com or find a link at RickandBubba.com under sponsors. There's no safe like Simply. My Patriot Supply has helped millions of American families prepare for all kinds of emergencies, from financial disasters to floods, hurricanes, you name it. Hard times take years to recover from. Make it easier with this one-year emergency food kit and save $700 on it at preparewithbubba.com today. These delicious meals last up to 25 years in storage. This rare emergency food kit deal ends this week, and you won't see it again soon. Save $700 on a one-year emergency food kit at preparewithbubba.com. Preparewithbubba.com. Rick and Bubba to the house. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't. 20 minutes past the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in to the kickoff hour here on the Rick and Bubba Show. Rick and Bubba, Adler, all join us right after top of the hour. Don't forget Bible study live today, noon central with Rick. Um, all right, quick update. Um, Greg, did you watch the uh, season finale of Thousand Pound Sisters on TLC last night? It was on 8 Central. Yeah. We talked about it the last segment of the live show, and you said, I think I might be all in. And, and were you? Yeah, I actually stayed up and watched it. You did. Uh, you did. But I can't, I mean, I can't make one of them. Die. The Tammy, yeah. Big Tammy, yeah. her husband. They got married at this rehab place where you lose weight so you can have the surgery. Okay. Anyway, he died. He died. Caleb, he's been on her. He's, you know, he, she lives in Kentucky back at her home. He was still in uh, wherever that rehab place is. Uh-huh. And, and like I say, he died. On he the, died at the rehab place trying. Yeah. And so they send them to get to a certain pound. Uh, yeah, so they, can, so have they, so they can have the weight. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. the surgery, excuse me. Yeah, but yeah, so I mean. Did they it, say hi? I mean, they didn't say. But, I mean, obviously, he probably had tons of. I mean, he had a trait. You know, he's yeah. in that bad of shape. Right. But so I can't. You know, I mean, it has some funny parts in it too. They're still funny. But I mean, I, I can't so it's really, kind of a sad a episode. Me, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, you can't make fun of somebody that died. No. You know, some some way I feel like you will. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah, just give it a little bit. Before we the got day's about, over with. Yeah. Seven you minutes. Get some coffee in you. I feel yeah. like you will. Well, now I would say it's possible. But I mean, it, 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 I'm just saying. I mean. And, but, <laughs> It was well, here kind we go. Of funny though. Hell, they were, didn't they're, take they're, long. They're, I'm telling y'all, the characters in this show, and they even would crack a few jokes even during all that. But of course, you know they they ended up the episode before this is um, Amy and one of the sisters got in a fight down there at the beach and got to pushing and shoving and all. Yeah, this. you love that. The recap of that and them trying to work it out. That and was, was at that the was, Pensacola Beach. right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, let's let's put husband passing away over here. Very sad. We're we're not going to discuss that. 
But then the other aspects of the season finale was it was it all about the husband? No, it wasn't uh, all about, but it was. It, it, it took a lot of it. They they recapped and finished up about how everybody acted in pen, in, at the beach when we got in a fight. Mm-hmm. We had to apologize for that and get mm-hmm. squalling. Yeah, but like stuff like this, this is what, this is why it's funny. So he had died, and they went to some special place. And you know them lanterns that you light and they fly away? Yeah. Well, they were trying to do it and they couldn't get it to work. <laughs> and they were trying to be all serious. And then they got to crack and jump. And their brother, he, he took them down there. And he stayed in the car and it shows him there shaking his head. He's going, my God. They, they can't even light them. No, they, at one point they said, this is for you, Caleb. And they dropped it and it fell to the ground. Anyway, they finally got it up and flying at one point. And you were laughing. Well, they were laughing. So, Wait, was this a surprise to her? And one of or, them, or, was telling, could you, or was he really sick? No, or was I this think a, it was a surprise. I think he just, I mean, you need to see these. I mean, they, the people at that place, they can't even walk. They're so big. They're so overweight. They all got electric wheelchairs because they're just big. And he was trying to lose down. And, and him and Tammy got married while she was there. See, there's a lot of years of this that I haven't seen. That <laughs> I, I need to go back and okay. catch up on when they were huge. Uh-huh. Because if you see them, then see them. Now Man, they actually have lost weight. Yeah. Let me ask you a sensitive question here. <laughs> oh boy, it it, <laughs> it was a surprise to them, but is it a shock to America? No. no like, no. isn't this pretty normal if you're in that kind yeah, of shape? Yeah, you you're high risk. Yeah, big time. Mm-hmm. And uh, what do they do at this rehab place to get them down in weight? Is it is it they strictly focus on diet? They don't or do what? very much for Caleb because he didn't do very good. Every time I remember, because she was disappointed the time he weighed in and he gained about fifty something more pounds instead of losing. <laughs> gained fifty something. Yeah, but if we're in that place, you would think they would keep bad. Well, food isn't that why you're there? I don't see that part's really weird to me. And I'm gonna tell you this: they got the flashing back. <laughs> Uh, Why when, listen, dressed? when they got married, when they got married, she was in the rehab. She couldn't even walk. They had to roll her in one of them carts. Anyway, and and, right. and they got married, and him and he t- was there. Listen, tearing that sugar up, it was it was hard to watch. That was you know because they would remember back, you know, when uh-huh. we got married, right. and it would show it, and and see, and and she would wheel in. So and you're saying them kissing the was tough to watch during the ceremony. You know, you may kiss the bride, and it was it was just you know. Yeah. Was she in her little wheelbarrow thing? What, it, she was what, in an electric cart. Yeah. They both were. You call it a wheelbarrow thing? I, I don't know. They both uh-huh. were, and 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 uh, but I mean, I hate Caleb. I hate he died. He was a pretty good character on the show too. Oh, and by the way, he, you're gonna love this. He had made a rap <laughs> song, and they played it at the memorial service. <laughs> I knew it. I knew we couldn't get out of the segment without you. <laughs> Doing this, something like hey, this. But listen, what's Where funny? Though, but here's what's I want to hear it right now. No, no. What's funny is he's rapping. Okay, now there yeah. they got a memorial service going. That okay, is, I, I feel free to laugh when I tell you this. He's rapping, <laughs> and it, it's okay. But then he goes to a chorus and he tries to sing, and Tammy goes, "He he he couldn't sing. He really couldn't sing." She goes, "Now he was good at rapping, but he could." She admitted that he couldn't sing. Was laughing about it because mm-hmm. he was doing his rap off, and he went and oh. You know, and this, so it was tough. That part Give me the tough. style of rap. Oh, it's that old slow, like it was real. It wasn't like fat, upbeat. It was like a slow. It wasn't like Eminem was in there. No, no, no. no. Okay. It's one of these slow raps. Okay. I'm trying to be. Let me tell you what. Like yeah. Morgan Wallen kind of thing. Huh. Does he rap? Well, I mean, he'll throw out some stuff every once in a while. With, with I, um, what, I don't remember the rap. Yeah, just name. kind of. Uh, yeah. What kind of beat we we talking? I I, I didn't pay it that much attention. But a hip hop beat. Yeah, it was him and, and, and so it is his partner. It's not that, a, his partner that he wrote it with was there at the memorial service. It's not like he's just rhyming; he's actually rapping. Oh yeah, he's got a rapping yeah. partner. Well, I think he helped produce it because the guy said, "Oh, and here's is he thing. big too? You're gonna love this." <laughs> no, he's medium. He's not. He, no, he's actually no. He's What's not, medium in that world? Her brother. Well, I say medium. He's still. Huge. Well, give me a weight. Uh, Ballpark. You don't have to be right. I don't think it's medium, sisters, Greg. <laughs> one of the sisters, not the main two. But you know, there's two more. Yeah, the thinner of the two. The the one, not uh, Tammy. No, well, that, there is the main two one, but there's another sister, and she's down to like, she said like, one seventy. Okay. And her goes like one fifty. Well, good. So good for her. Good. Yeah. But uh, it's uh, but listen, here's another thing. Uh, but again, they take it and make it. That's why I love the show. It's they're entertaining people. Okay. They, I didn't know you could do this. They actually. <laughs> You can get you order and they come in a cooler and it's it's uh, butterflies, okay. And they wanted to release the butterflies at the end, you know. <laughs> and they're in the cooler and then you transfer them. It says she was reading instructions like forty minutes before it. You need to get them off the ice. They're alive. 
Anyway, so she opens the box and they're all stuck to the side and they won't come out. And they're trying to get them to fly and they won't. <laughs> and they got tickled at it. But they were she trying blowing to blow it in there and trying yes, to get them. Yes, they, they were like, ah, and they scream because one land on them. <laughs> they were trying to get them. <laughs> that was going to be the final part. Oh, you Didn't got me there. Out. You've got me there. Yeah. Well done. Uh, how much and, and, did Caleb weigh? Oh. Uh, I mean, like ballpark. Oh, was he, he, was was he uh, north of 400? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 500, 600? He's probably, he, I don't think he was that tall, so he's probably in the fives. Mm, that's tough. I mean, I, there was a few episodes when they weighed him, so I'm sure I can go back and look. But, see, I've missed years. See, yeah, it's just fun. I, I fell into it because get the weight loss thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, actually, to be honest, if you look at her, Big Tammy, where she's at now from where she was is amazing. I mean, she couldn't even sit in a car seat. They had to take the seat out of the van let her lay back there in the back. Now she can ride shotgun. But their personalities, the way they talk to each other and stuff, it's a, the show is hilarious. I mean, it is. Now, you know, Caleb dying is kind of a downer. Right? Kind of, but they still, like You're I said. talking about Little Dirk, the rapper? <laughs> <laughs> he was rapping. But, like, the butterflies and stuff and, 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 and them trying to light that <laughs> lantern. That lantern. And it wouldn't go up. They'd make a nice heartfelt speech and let it go, and it would fall to the ground. <laughs> and the butterflies wouldn't fly. And when they get in a fight and stuff. and They get to talking. Golly, it's funny. Yeah. Well, there's your update, everybody. But, uh, but it, was kinda, it, it was kind of somber. So I, we, Well, kind of, yeah. I mean, Caleb passed away. Yeah. Greg. Caleb, was, That's sad. Yeah. It, and did she just find out they called her and said, hey? Yeah, they just never, you know, obviously they didn't show that. They just yeah. said, you know, a screen ago they received the news and then okay. it shows them. Gotcha. You know. well. yeah, they handled it well. <laughs> but, I, but I thought they still, and they put a little humor in it. She was talking about she had him cremated. And uh, she was talking, don't, there's a lot. We could go with that. But anyway, she had this special urn, and she was trying to explain it. And her sister goes, you mean it's like a salt shaker? Like you, she goes, and they got tickled. But they got to laughing about it. But she said it's like a salt shaker, so she could take it and shake it like this and spread it around. They just made your night, didn't it? I, I'd rather Caleb not have died. Yeah. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. No matter your thoughts on Valentine's Day, we can all agree some things are better together, like peanut butter and jelly or a blockbuster movie and a bucket of popcorn. You know what else is perfect? A perfect match is whatever you're listening to in Raycon's Everyday Earbuds. With optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable. Like any serious love story, your Raycon earbuds are here for a good time and a long time. Uh, with eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life, most importantly, you get amazing quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. Raycon's Everyday Earbuds also feature three customizable sound profiles, earbud tap functions, and noise isolation, and the awareness modes. And they're used to filling the love with tens of thousands of five-star reviews. Go to buyraycon.com slash Bubba now. Get a 15% discount. Your Raycon order and free shipping is at buyraycon.com slash Bubba. Buyraycon.com slash Bubba or a link at rickandbubba.com. You'll find that under the sponsors button. Go get yours now. If you owe back taxes, fair warning, you're not going to like this. The IRS is mailing millions of pay-up letters. Then it's over to the 20,000 new IRS enforcement agents to find you. Why the IRS targets you and not millionaires? Because millionaires have tax lawyers you don't. You'll pay up plus interest and penalties. You need Tax Network USA and you need them now. Tax Network USA has brilliant war room strategies to solve your IRS problems quickly and in your favor. Like a preferred direct line to the IRS. They know which agents to deal with and who to avoid. It's not all bad news, folks, because Tax Network USA learned of a special limited-time IRS offer. They're willing to waive $1 billion in penalties if you qualify. Schedule your free confidential consultation to see if you qualify for this limited-time IRS penalty-canceling offer. Call 1-800-245-6000. That's 1-800-245-6000. Or visit TNUSA.com slash Bubba today. TNUSA.com slash Bubba. You also can find the number and website at rickandbubba.com. Just look under the sponsors. Have you tried the Innovatives Helix Sleep Mattress yet? Well, nothing beats a great night's sleep, the kind you get with Helix. So we love them, and Helix has over 12,000 five-star reviews with customized mattresses that fit your sleep needs because they know everyone is unique. They even have big and tall mattresses and mattresses for the kids. But how do you know which mattress is right for you? Well, Helix has you covered. Just take the Helix Sleep Quiz and find the perfect mattress in under two minutes. Place 
Place your order, and your mattress will be delivered right to the door free of charge. And the best part, Helix knows there's no better way to try a mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night trial for you and a 10- to 15-year warranty. Right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders at helixsleep.com slash Bubba. Best offer yet, by the way, and it won't last long. So if you've been waiting to try a Helix mattress, here it is. Now's the time. Head to helixsleep.com slash Bubba for 20% off your mattress order. Resolving to eat healthier this year? That was easy. Actually doing it? Not so easy. That's where Field of Greens comes in. Better nutrition is a key to health and longevity, and a healthy diet could even help you avoid health risks that run in your family. Field of Greens is your healthy superfruit and vegetable habit. It's the only fruit and vegetable product that literally promises better health at your next checkup. Your doctor will notice your improved health or your money back. Do your vitamins or green drinks promise better health? No. I love this stuff and definitely feel healthier taking it. Each superfruit and vegetable in Field of Greens was doctor selected for a specific health benefit. Some support your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Others support metabolism for healthy energy and weight loss. If you're resolved to get healthier in 2024, it starts with Field of Greens. And we got you a 15% off first order with free rush shipping. Visit fieldofgreens.com, use the promo code Bubba for 15% off, or go to rickandbubba.com, find the link under sponsors. Cold winter mornings are perfect for staying under the cover and having breakfast in bed. HelloFresh supports that dream because they're giving away one free breakfast item with every single HelloFresh delivery for life. That means while you are a HelloFresh subscriber, not only will you enjoy the pick of the tasty dinner recipes they're known for, you'll also enjoy breakfast for free. HelloFresh actually has you covered for every mealtime occasion with a delicious array of quick lunches, sides, snacks, apps, dessert, and more. And not only does HelloFresh help you cut back on extra trips to the grocery store, but their pre-portioned ingredients help eliminate excess food waste. This new year, make eating better and saving money a priority and make it easy with America's number one meal kit. Join HelloFresh today and get free breakfast for life with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. That's one free breakfast item per box while subscription is active with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba or find the link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba Pass the gravy, please Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba Ooh, it brings me to my knees Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba 25 minutes until top of the hour. Thank you so much for hanging out with us here on the kickoff hour today. As uh, we are moving right along, we uh, got a thousand pound sister finale uh, update. Uh, a little somber, a little somber. Uh, from Greg, uh, TLC, uh, eight o'clock central last night had the the big year ender uh, and uh, or season ender, I should yeah. say. And so uh, it's sad news. Uh, Tammy's husband passed away at the. Um, weight loss facility to try to get prepped for the surgery. Uh, and they didn't really say why or, or whatever, but mm, just, just, you know, they explored that and, and other stuff. And, and, uh, so Greg gave us that description. Uh, so, Look so well, next season, I don't even know if I need to watch it. Cause you had me there. Of course they'll have marathons. I'll go back and watch. Cause I, I haven't, this is the first year I've really paid it. I'd, I'd watch it every now and then. Lisa thought it was funny. So yeah. she was kind of the one that would watch it and I will record it. So I got a lot of uh, – I can go back. I got a lot of catching up to do until next year. Kid Dyke. Episodes get released. Yes, you do. I've got a question for the two of you right now, just to see what you would do as far as the challenge goes. They have found a 285-year-old lemon from a 1970-39 uh, – from 1970-39. It has sold an auction for about $1,800. From, from, from 1739. From 1739. So I'm – so we know we documented this lemon came from seven. How did we do that? Apparently, the auctioneers uh, <clears throat> there in Newport, England, put a 285 year old lemon for auction on January 16th, and it earned around eighteen hundred dollars. The auction house originally found the 18th century fruit from 1739 hidden away in a 19th century cabinet. But you don't the cabinet know when went it was up put in for there. auction. Uh, and sold only sold for about forty bucks. You don't know um, when the the lemon was put. That may be an old cabinet, and you can somehow document that. But you don't know when they put that lemon in there. It Probably says got a barcode on it. The two hundred eighty five year old lemon miraculously survived after being tucked away in a cabinet. The uh, ancient lemon 
uh, can be uh, seen at these auctioneers' um, Instagram mm-hmm. page. Yeah. Uh, but um, so they said we thought we day. had a, a bit of fun and, and put it in the auction, and wow, it, it brought in uh, $1,800. The fruit is deep brown color. Oh, yeah. But remarkably Dang. intact. Uh, it was carved with the words uh, given by Mr. P. Lou Francini, November 4, yeah. 1739. Wait, and that out. was what he. So he, he scratched out, he was giving them a lemon and he scratched it out and put a date on it. It's what it says. Why would you do that? I don't know. It says it was carved with oh those words. Um, the lemon may have been brought to England as a romantic gift from India, uh, the Sun is reporting. Um, Boy, ain't nothing like a gift of a lemon. Yeah. Uh, Maybe in 17, whatever, it was a big deal. But yeah. Um, I may get Lisa a lemon for it says, Valentine's. It says the lemon is four years older than Thomas Jefferson, who was born in 1743. And they just throw this out there like it's fact. <laughs> um, it's like he's turtles. That turtle's over 100 years old. Who was mm-hmm. here 100 years ago to tell you whether that turtle was alive? I don't know. Nobody. I know, buddy. I, I get it. My, here's my question, though. Would y'all take a bite? Uh, you know, I like lemons. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how much? 285 year old lemon from 1739. When you say a bite, I mean, or just cut a slice yeah, off. Yeah, maybe so. Like a yeah, I don't know what they said. It, it I don't it, like it, fresh lemons, so ooh, yeah, I'm probably not gonna like that. I can't. When do I was it. a kid, it hurts I, my teeth. Or something. It does do that. Really? Yeah. Mom Rip used the to slice them up <laughs> and keep them in a little Tupperware thing in yeah, the refrigerator because right. we had tea every night. Yeah. And I used to go in there and tear them things up. <laughs> I loved lemons. Yeah. I hadn't eaten them in a while. But I can't handle it. So when they break, it, it will get to your teeth. Yeah, yeah I, it's uh, just tough. Um, I would do. I, I'd do it for. Uh, you give me a thousand bucks, I'd do it. A thousand? <laughs> you just you always just sell yourself so cheap, huh? Uh, yeah, it's just a lemon. No, I'm just kidding. It'd be a little more than that. <laughs> I don't know. I'd I mean, have just, to have more than he paid for it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, yeah, I mean, dang, I could just. <laughs> but who would carve their name and date into a lemon? See, it, it just this. Uh, to your feel. point, Greg, they said it is highly unusual for food to survive three centuries. You think? That's why it's probably not true. And it says that you'll never see an object like this at auction again. Was it petrified or anything like that? Come on. They don't know how it survived, but it did. But we and I don't know how. I, I guess that sounds I guess like a the setup. One, Nobody's going to carve their name and date into a lemon, right? And this is what it says: the fruit. And I'm going to do this again. Is deep brown color. That's pretty. Yeah, I figured it wasn't yellow. So yeah, you definitely need more than a grand. Yeah, probably. But I do about forty eight hundred. But intact. It was carved with the words, given by Mister P. Lou Francini, November four, seventeen thirty nine, to Miss E. Baxter. So it was so, never intended to be eaten. It was just like a gift? I guess so. The lemon may have been brought from England as a romantic gift. So you give a romantic Here's gift you as a lemon? lemon darling. I love, I love you as a lemon. lemon. So I want you to have this lemon. From India. Because you're a sour. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, British media described it was a bidding war that drove the oh, final price up. war. Out. Yep. Hey, uh, got to have his lemon, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, y'all! Give me, give me one, give me one, give me two. We got two. We got two. We auctioned yeah. it. Up. I had to experience that the other night. Remember? I, how did it go? Did, oh, yeah, did, did you feel that weird? Go. They have no, a. I love did they have stuff. a pro? Ha! Did, ha! Oh yeah, they had uh, a big okay, time pro. And they had, travel. they had, and they all wearing cowboy hats, and they were all in. Well, they usually do the do audience, livestock. and so right, they right. would do. You know, he'd be out there. He, you had the main guy. Oh yeah. Had a lot of the pros, and then you had the guys at the Hi, got hi, right? Two thousand. So they were, they were the <laughs> legit. Yes, yes. See, that's the ones. They go came from a long way. I hey, think them too. livestock auctioneers, and these guys sound like they probably into that too. Is it the Barrett Jackson one? I think that's yeah, uh, on the, TV all yeah, the time. The I got locked into that the other night. I mean, they had some stuff. They had a. He blah, he blah, he blah, he blah. They had a Humvee that somebody extended into like this big long deal, of sold for over seven hundred thousand dollars. But hey y'all, I couldn't understand the guy. Oh, this is and then you got people that have got yellow flags and whistles. <laughs> over here, over here. I wonder if I their mean, pay is based off the percentage of what they probably I probably get a flat rate yeah. and then Anything a percentage. I got I, locked in though. I don't know. Right. 
<laughs> going once, going twice. So, so mm-hmm. many things that took place. Uh, that Speedy would <laughs> did you get up there and floor up? Right JJ <laughs> Pruitt, by the way, was the hey, JJ. MC. Oh, yeah, JJ. He did a great job. JJ, love JJ. Great job. What Good up, JJ? Job. He would bring in, he emceed the entire event, but he during the auction, he would bring in, um, he would tell her by what was next. Uh-huh. Hey, here's what we're auctioning off next. What and then the, he would toss it to the auctioneer and he'd do his thing. So if people walked in holding whatever it was, what if they dropped it? Or mm-hmm. God, I thought about that. Because <laughs> there were some expensive items that they were walking around. See, that's, I don't want that pressure. I'm not carrying yeah, that around. I was at the auction one time and they thought I raised my hand. I didn't. No, well, I, <laughs> you might as well tied your arms down when you went in there. Well, I was like, no, 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 no. Amanda started scratching her eye one time, and I was like, hey, put your hand down. Get your, get your hand down. Don't think you're bidding. <laughs> Sold. Sold. Going once, going twice. Sold to the man Sold. with the new haircut. <laughs> Sold to the lady in red. Um, so, yeah. Wow. Did you buy anything? No. Nah. I started to write y'all's names down during the song. Oh, that's, okay. Okay. that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I said. Calvin Wilburn. Hey. $6,000. Amanda, <laughs> Amanda, there was a couple of uh, lower, you know, dollar items that were there, and I said, I started to, and she, she got on me. She said, don't do that. Yeah. I said, okay. <laughs> so this is why we have, this is why we have the gun. I picked treaty. up a pen at one point. Oh, you should have went And she's it. like, do not do that. Do not mm-hmm. do that. Calvin <laughs> will. And I said, why? I said, nobody will know. And she goes, nobody will know. She goes. <laughs> when they contact them. She goes, well, she goes, she, this is the point. She, she goes, nobody will know. She goes, you're the only one here for the show. Exactly. And if you're writing their names down, they know who it's coming yeah. from. Uh-huh. Sherlock Holmes would yeah. not have to be no, called in no, on no, that. No. Let Pretty me light. see who was there. Oh, okay, <laughs> I, know. I know the guy that works here. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Straight Good line point. to Helmsy. Good point. Oh, man. They wouldn't have had to check fingerprints or anything like that. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Uh, 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. Give us a call. We ain't take a call. We might be on the screen. Call. Ah. Come on. Give me a Come on. We got, we got 15 ah. minutes. Rick and Bubba and I don't join us. Don't go here. Ah. <laughs> I was afraid to cut the cord, but once I did, I couldn't believe it took so long to do it. Paying too much for my cable bill had become a bad habit. I either wasn't getting what I wanted or never knew where to find any of my favorite shows until it was too late. Plus, the prices just kept going up. Thankfully, I discovered a new way to watch called Philo. For just $25 a month, I can catch all my favorite shows on networks like BET, MTV, and TLC. It even has Nickelodeon for my kids. I can watch anytime I want, anywhere I want. Plus, Philo lets me have up to three streams at once, so everyone can watch what they want at the same time. Throw in the unlimited DVR that saves all my favorites for up to a year, and this really is the best deal in TV. I just wish I hadn't waited so long. Sound too good to be true? Well, try it out for yourself, and you'll see why people who love TV love Philo. Go to philo.tv, that's P-H-I-L-O.tv, and start your seven-day free trial now. If you only have a 401k, you're not getting the most for retirement. Wait, what? Add a Robinhood IRA on top, then they'll boost it by 3%. You can do that? And if you transfer in any retirement account, you get 3% on top of that. Is there a limit to the match? No limit. Robinhood Gold gets you the biggest contribution match of any IRA on the market. Sign up for Robinhood Gold at Robinhood.com slash boost by April 30th. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Match on transfer subject to additional terms and conditions. Robinhood Financial LLC. Member SI. PC. Total by Verizon is wireless that goes all in for you. That means unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon, priced by us at $25 a line for four lines on the unlimited plan. And as always, no contracts. Sounds pretty hard to beat, but all in is all in. So we added international calling to fill the year with more, hey girl, because it can't be total unless it's all in. Find a store and exclusive deals at totalbyverizon.com. Monthly rate when you activate with auto pay discount beginning the month after you enroll plus taxes and fees. Additional restrictions apply. See website for data management practices and full terms. Paid for by Christian Care Ministry. Let's see, if something costs less, but people are happier with it, that sounds like something to look into. And that is MediShare. Maybe you've heard switching to MediShare to pay for health care can save many families up to 500 bucks a month. And that is huge. But it's also true that people are way more satisfied after making the switch too. The member satisfaction rate for MediShare is double that of the typical health insurance plan. Double. MediShare works, too. It's been around for 30 years. Members have shared more than $5 billion of each other's bills. People love having telehealth and a huge nationwide PPO network. So, yeah, really, you can save a ton and like it better. 
Imagine being happy with how you're taking care of your health care. So if you're self-employed or part of the gig economy, or you just want to plan you're happy with, you can call right now. You'll get a price within two minutes. So see what you can say. This is a very, very smart use of two minutes. Here's the number you need. Call 855-51-BIBLE. That's 855-51-BIBLE. 855-51-BIBLE. There's a popular saying out there, health is wealth, and folks, I couldn't agree more. Some of you may be living with everyday pain. Now, this can affect so many parts of your daily life. I mean, it can affect the mood, uh, your sleep. What about missing out on activities? Our friends at Relief Factor offer a natural way to relieve that pain. It's 100% drug-free. Developed by doctors, Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients to help reduce or eliminate everyday aches and pains. Now, unlike pills that just mask the pain for a short time, Relief Factor helps support your body's natural response to inflammation. So you feel better all day, every day. Over 1 million people have tried Relief Factor, and here on our team, several of us have tried it. So let's get you a special deal, and let's see if we can help you too. Go right now and see if Relief Factor can work with you with their three-week quick start kit that's only $19.95. Now, this is a great price to try it out for three weeks. You'll know in three weeks. You will feel the difference and know it works. You can also find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Have you tried the Innovatives Helix Sleep Mattress yet? Well, nothing beats a great night's sleep, the kind you get with Helix. So we love them, and Helix has over 12,000 five-star reviews with customized mattresses that fit your sleep needs because they know everyone is unique. They even have big and tall mattresses and mattresses for the kids. But how do you know which mattress is right for you? Well, Helix has you covered. Just take the Helix Sleep Quiz and find the perfect mattress in under two minutes. Place your order and your mattress will be delivered right to the door free of charge. And the best part, Helix knows there's no better way to try a mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night trial for you and a 10- to 15-year warranty. Right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders at helixsleep.com slash Bubba. Best offer yet, by the way, and it won't last long. So if you've been waiting to try a Helix mattress, here it is. Now's the time. Head to helixsleep.com slash Bubba for 20% off your mattress order. The gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day with Ten minutes until top of the hour. This portion of the program is sponsored by My Patriot Supply at preparewithbubba.com. Do you enjoy camping, pack, uh, maybe backpacking, hunting, boating, or, or living life in the outdoors? Maybe you live in an area prone to tornadoes, hurricanes, flooding. When the economy collapses, well, you collapse with it. Uh, the way things uh, can happen in our world these days, you just never know. And so being ready is important and more important than ever. Self-reliance is critical for survival. That's why we want to make sure that you check out My Patriot Supply at preparewithbubba.com. Don't get stuck being uh, you know, not ready for anything when it happens. Uh, five Ps, right? Fire planning prevents oh, poor yeah, performance. Right. Yeah. Fire tech. yeah, too many people have the attitude of, oh, everything's going to be all right. Don't worry. Oh, uh, it'll never fine. happen to me. It's fine. And then it does. Oh, no. Uh, so Boom. right now, uh, you'll get $700 in savings on a one-year emergency food kit sealed inside ultra-durable packing, uh, and the list goes on and on. You need to check it out at uh, preparewithbubba.com, preparewithbubba.com for your $700 uh, in savings for a one-year emergency food kit supply for less than $2,000. Uh, there's also a link at rickandbubba.com under the Sponsors button. But go check them out. It, it, look around and, and just look uh, and see what they offer. It's a great deal right now. Right now, preparewithbubba.com. Preparewithbubba.com, or you can find a link at rickandbubba.com under Sponsors. Um, y'all remember old Y2K? And how oh, everybody yeah, oh, yeah. Was, I remember all about it. Yeah, burying everything. And then it clicked over and everything kept working. Yeah. You, I was, I was y'all were older than me. I, I was... Yeah, I didn't let it affect me like I probably should have. I wasn't yeah. really aware of what was going on in the world right. at that point. I just figured we had enough sense as a society yeah. to get it worked out by the time it needed to, yeah. and we did. Hmm. I don't but, think there there's any trouble at all. My thought was if it messes up school and we don't have to go for a few days, that's a good thing. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. If I'd been so, in that position. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I remember it because they, they told us we're good. 
the power's not going to go out, but we want everybody, a lot of you to be here in case it goes out just for any reason at all yeah. and people panic. Yeah. You'll be there to, quick to go. So we just sat down there at the crew headquarters and watch it click over to midnight. Right. Um, there, uh, there's a couple of stories when it comes to, uh, to, to streaming, uh, YouTube TV, uh, subscribers, um, uh, they say is up, uh, into the $80 million, I mean, 80 million viewer range, uh, for streaming, um, services and, and, um, uh, I guess packages and you, so YouTube TV is now, uh, the largest streaming, uh, for, for like, you know, versus cable TV yeah. for their package <laughs> and their lineup. I think Hulu TV with Disney plus is coming in second, but that's a lot. That's a yeah, lot. It tells yeah. you kind of where everything's going for sure. Uh, that, that was kind of interesting. And Netflix, uh, fans hail masterpiece show and reveal they've been watching it for 10 hours straight. What is it? Uh, there's a popular show, uh, that ran for seven seasons on CW and has been given a new lease of life, uh, as Facebook users call it a masterpiece. Uh, it's apparently, uh, it's, uh, it debuted on February the 3rd. I guess uh, all seven seasons. What is it? Uh, I'm sitting here looking for the name here. It's, Come on, uh, what are you uh, killing me? The 100. Oh, yeah, have y'all ever watched that? that? I remember that. I've yeah, already I, seen it. I didn't it. see it, it but it, I remember it. It's good for a while, mm -hmm. and then it gets really, really. But I mean, it's bizarre from day one. If it's the one I'm thinking of, yeah, it's a, it's a show. The 100 is a show that set like 97 years after a nuclear war yeah, destroyed it, civilization. It is good. We watched it mm -hmm. years ago, and. Um, we, but then it, is it got deeper into it. It's almost like they ran out of good good ideas. Yeah, and it got kind of stupid. And the reason why it's called the hundred is uh, the one hundred is because a spaceship mm -hmm. uh, that's the home for civilization survivors they send a hundred juvenile uh, juvenile delinquents back to Earth to try and repopulate the planet, and that, yeah. and so it kind of goes through them. But apparently, it's it it's good. setting all kind of uh, records there at Netflix. I can't believe it's just now because that was years ago when Lisa and I watched it. And I can't remember. It was on one of the streaming channels. Mm -hmm. I, th I think it was Netflix. The, um, it, the series concluded its seven seasons uh, that ran, uh, uh, I guess, what, in 2020? And the show is scheduled to be removed from Netflix in December of 2025. But apparently, it's, it's uh, got huh. some folks binging. Yeah, we, we got into it for a while. I, I think was, we watched. Pretty good. I think we watched maybe like half a season, and then we, I yeah. don't know what happened. We just lost interest in it. We'll do that sometimes. Uh, yeah, I did. We did. We were we were really into it, and well, I mean, binged it. I didn't sit there ten hours. Yeah. But and I remember though. Then it started getting to the seasons where it just it just wasn't that entertaining anymore. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, do y'all watch things more? I know with West Wing, uh, Adler, you, I mean, uh, Adler, Helms, you Still said you, it, you've gone way. back and watched it again. I'm watching do y'all right ever now. watch things multiple times, or is one time good enough for y'all? Uh, nowadays, at, at my age, I can do it because I forgot what happened when I watched <laughs> it the first time. So I used to not do that a lot, but I do it a lot now. <laughs> I do. I've got certain things I just I, I books to watch. Read books. Like I've I watched the episode of West Wing yesterday. Like I just like that show. I love it. A lot of people have been binging suits. Mm -hmm. That's you know, another good one that suits. I would watch again. I'm in on that. I tried it. But I tried I, one episode of that and it lost. Oh, me. stay I'm, with I need it. To give it. Stay with it. Time. It's good. Helmsy got me. Harvey Specter, baby. Yeah. I um, I, I suits. I'm taking my time on. I need to speed up a little bit, but. Yeah. It, it's just it has to hit me right on on jumping in, but uh, you can wait a little bit and and get right back into it. So, um, I guess that that one is probably my longest watched, but it's just taken me forever to watch it. Yeah, but no, I will. In fact, did I did I rewatch Breaking Bad? I don't think I did the whole series, but I did go back and start watching it, even though I'd already seen it. Mm -hmm. At one time. I'll do that sometimes to movies if I'm flipping the oh, channel. Movies, yeah, I will. If I'm flipping the channel and there's a movie that I kind of like, I'll I'll start watching it again. But I don't like search it out and go, all right, honey, let's watch something. And and I start watching something over. Well, I've again. told you if the Green Mile Zone, I always watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And Shawshank, I'll watch it. Yeah. I bet I've seen that. Yeah. Roadhouse, you know, the ones that run on heavy rotation yeah. on cable. Right. I mean, what you gonna do? Yeah, I know, I know. Well, those are some news. Uh, the, YouTube TV being the largest uh, streaming service is uh, is big news for them. Hulu coming in second. Yeah. But uh, you know that we we talked about that. I've got to do something. It seems like my 
my package that I have right now with internet and then and mm-hmm. then TV, it continues to climb. You're with me on that. We both have we got to do one. something. I, I mean, I, I keep I, wanting to to make that leap. I know, I know. I, my, my thing and Terry's about to call me on it after Sunday. Uh, for some reason, I got her to go with me on this, and I don't know why. I said, I know what we need to do. Let's can we get through football season okay. so we don't have anything weird and squirrely going on. So I know where the games are idea. and what I like. It's a good idea. And then if we can get through that, then I promise you we'll make a change. Because every time we pay the bill, she's like, so we're just going to keep doing this? I know. Oh, I'm in the, we're in the same boat. We got I mean, the same provider. Good night. It's up to a car payment. Oh, yeah, it's ridiculous. You know? And they slowly, oh, we'll give you, if you right. call and go to Kansas, we'll drop it down for so long. And right. And it climbs back up. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I know I've got to do that. i got to jump on board. Now, <laughs> Helmsy, you have the direct TV streaming, I right? Do. Yeah. Uh, and, and so um, – that's an option, the YouTube TV and then the Hulu TV. I think I think Adler has Hulu TV, if I remember correctly. But I, we've got to do something like that. Yeah, I don't know. How about I I'm on, there's a chance if the if the weather cooperates <clears> on <throat> Sunday, which I don't know if it will, I'm going to miss the Super Bowl. Mm. Didn't think about that until y'all brought it up this morning. But I changed. I got a call from a coach yesterday oh. because of the weather's bad mm. on Saturday. I wanted to know if we'll play on sun, Sunday. And I said, yeah, we'll play on Sunday. And it just occurred to me when y'all were talking a minute ago. I isn't that, isn't that be supposed clear to be th- Sunday? Oh, I really? Yeah. See, I, I had it as the worst of the week. Why'd I make days. it up? No, I, you I may know. be right. You may be I right. think it's I the worst looked, of the I three. I think you're right. I think yeah. you're right. It was Friday that's not going to be Is it going to be in Jack, Jack State or where at? North Alabama. Oh, Ugh. boy. Let me we're see. We're going to play the Lions. Oh, okay, Lions. cool. They said it was the Lions. Yeah, the Lions. Oh. All right, so Sunday up there, you have a 100% chance of rain. Rainfall around a half an inch. On Sunday. Is that indoor? No. Okay. Mm. Hey, you there you go. Don't have that. So you have Super Bowl Sunday off now. <laughs> it could be wrong. So maybe they're wrong. UAH changed all their stuff up. They were supposed to host somebody this weekend. They've moved everything up, up. It's hard to make to get that it call all done. We were going to try know. to do it early, but they they have another match on Friday, mm-hmm. and so what okay. they can't, you know. I don't know no if you're going to go up to play the Lions. They said it was a Lion. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba Adler all join us for the main show. Don't go anywhere. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And it's now past the hour. Rick and Bubba's show, we're back. We're reviewing the national championship game last night. The Sports Czar Trophy will stay uh, in my office. Uh, my prediction, 41-28. It was 42-25. Uh, uh, we all Congrats, were watching. Rick. Thank Good you, pick. Good Thank pick. you. Thank Good pick. you, buddy. Well done. How about we were all were, – oh, oh, uh, oh, Joey Burrow, he went, he <laughs> far exceeded anything we all thought. Uh, 463. Mm-hmm. Mm. Or is that 403? I can't see. 463 with five touchdowns. Wow, wow, wow. Have a night. Wow, wow, wow. That's, Have a pretty, year. Good. That's a pretty good national championship <laughs> <Joey> game. <laughs> uh, so, Bubba, you had some deep thoughts about the game. Well, oh. you know, when I'm sitting there, I'm always uh, – there, there's still a lot of topics we haven't covered on this. No, but, sure. Uh, like that – I worried about Speedy when the president, everybody started cheering, and he stopped. And I wondered if he was supposed to stop as the military represent, right. representatives yeah. kept moving forward and he got out of line. I wonder mm-hmm. if that bothered you. Yeah, when, when he stopped and turned around mm-hmm. and wanted to wave. Uh, and yeah, he, I was I was very uncomfortable. Yeah, I thought you might be. Yeah. <laughs> How about the cheers he got, though? Wow. Well, yeah. Sounded well, like a good good crowd for yeah. him. Well, yeah. you're you're in New Orleans with uh, with Cajuns. Yeah. Hey, it's really mm-hmm. funny, though, because mm-hmm. uh, I just wanted, just for my own entertainment, the first commercial or two, I, I, I just went on social media. And I just wanted to see what everybody was saying. Well, and the left, the left can't stand it. They they were accusing uh, the Mercedes Benz Superdome of piping in cheers that that, that wasn't everybody cheering. Uh, somebody said, "I think I heard booze in there," and 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 then then people started calling everybody hillbillies, and that's not America. Well, that's how it works. That, that, that's that they can't they cannot they can't just say, "Hey, you know what? That was a they're great. not hillbillies." No, I, that, of course they're not. That ain't right. But remember, they got to get their definitions if they're going to slam us correct. Right. right. You yeah. just like one hundred percent right, but yeah. you just laid out. That is the process they go through. Yeah. This is fake. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I think people were against him. And then when neither one of those stick, well, yes, the, of course they're cheering all a bunch of idiots. Yeah. Well, and we'll get, we'll get, <laughs> we'll get, and that's what they were doing. And that's the process they go through. Yeah. We'll get back ask to, Vin, to ask Vince Vaughn. To yeah. Vince Vaughn being hammered. I think that's I thought the whole they'd already, already ostracized him for being somewhat conservative anyway. Yeah. Uh, 
He, he claims he's a libertarian. Yeah. And yeah I mean, he has supported conservatives in the past. But, again, I mean, the man went in there and spoke to the president, shook his hand, and now we they canceled him is what they say. Yeah. I guess that means that you're well, not – I would have walked in the dressing room and shook Barack Obama's hand when he was president yes, if I was there. I would have to. I would have liked to. Yeah. Hello, Mr. President. Nice to meet yeah. you. Look, yeah. there, there's a point where you have to put politics and all aside. You, you're just people, okay? Right. Well, you can disagree. You sure. can have your nasty political battles. You can hate each other, all that. Right. But at, at some point, you're just two people sitting next to each other. I think you have to be pleasant with whoever you're next to, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I if, mean, I would even afford Hillary Clinton that. Uh-oh. Just now, to be, now, now just you're to asking, be nice. Now you're ultimately asking the question. Now. <laughs> we're gonna see if you. That is, we're gonna probably, see how you really feel. That's probably <laughs> as as far as I can go. Bubba, I'm afraid. I just realized. I think I draw the line at Obama. Okay. 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 Can I back up and say Obama's okay? I would do right. But to your I'll point, let me, but let me tell you what I would. I not, probably wouldn't be. I, people would not put me in the box with Hillary. To well, I'd be afraid if I went in and didn't act the way I was supposed to yeah. against Hillary, and she found me to be a threat. She'd kill me. Yeah. Yeah. But but but, 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 but nobody won't say it. It's just a ball game. Let's go back to this. But to your point, I promise you this. I, I want to believe this, and I think this is right. If I saw President Obama at the national championship game with his wife, yeah, and I went in and said, "Hey, Mr. President, nice to meet, nice to meet you." In that setting, I would not say, "Let me tell you something. I got a real problem with what you, your view, yeah, your view no, on your, time and place, your view on partial birth abortion." I disagree with that. I think that's immoral. I would not have done that at the national championship game when he's sitting no, with his wife. No, time yeah. and place. Yeah. Time and place. Not unless he asked me about it. No, he, yeah, he didn't need to ask me about it. Yeah, if he asked me about it, I'd probably answer. Well, that's when it's uh, free game because you asked me. Uh, mm-hmm. So so here were some deep thoughts I had just watching the game. Mm-hmm. And I know it's been deep brought thoughts up. with Bubba. Yeah. How, how do the people at Ole Miss and how do the people at USC feel seeing Coach O win a <laughs> national championship when they passed on him? Well, they, they had him. I mean, Ole Miss had him. They fired him. Well, I know that's what I'm you saying. You realize they let him go. Coach O said that – I saw an interview this week with him, and he claims that in 2007 there was a fourth down call that he went for it and didn't get it against Mississippi State, and he's fully convinced if he would have just punted the football, he would still be there today. Really? Yes. Wow, I've never heard that. Yeah, he said that that is what uh, got him fired. Well, One I would, single so call. He, well, I mean, I, he, <laughs> he, he was fired in, in Oxford, Mississippi, and you go over one state, and I don't mm. know how many miles it is. It's not a whole lot. Mm. Uh, and you win a national championship. So how do the people that let him go, do they go, well, time and place, he wasn't getting it done, we did the right thing, or do you think, wow, we should have given him a little more time? Well, here's what well, I, no, they here, would hope Joe Burrow would have transferred to Ole Miss. Well, I, you beat yeah. me to it. What I, would, what I would say is, I'll tell you what, I'll make a deal right now. Y'all can keep Coach O. Can I have y'all's players? Yeah. Right. Let me say yeah, that. But and then I'll just mind, put whatever coach I want to over those players. But yeah. keep in mind, he didn't go from Ole Miss to LSU as the head coach. You know, yeah, Les Miles, Miles got, got right. you know, and yeah, then right. he jumped in as an interim, and everybody couldn't believe it. Remember, we talked to LSU fans. He's an interim. I thought it was the wrong thing to do. I said it on air. We all, I they when a person in this room thought it was a right. No, I didn't. I well, did, he, he didn't I did. have a, a track record to support that. Right. I agree. I mean, and then he hired the right we'll assistants see. and got some yeah, good players. Yeah, I mean, the future's out there. We'll see. And that, that's we'll the, see. one of my other we'll questions. See. If you're if you're USC and your program is in shambles, how do you feel about it? Yeah. I don't know what to do with USC. When he I went just in, don't see him as a good hey, fit at USC. When he know. went in. They, he's a great they, fit here. Yeah, they yeah. Did, they admitted. Who was it admitted hey. that a lot of the problem is the way he communicates? When yeah, he went well, in he's as born, a, He was born on the bayou. When he. How about six minutes now past the hour? Rick and Bubba show. Thanks for being with us. A brand new hour on a brand new day. National Anthem gets us started.
Seven and a half minutes past the hour, the Rick and Bubba Show. Thank you for being with us. Brand new hour starting now. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, and Helmsy have given you the kickoff hour. So if you missed that today live, catch it on the Rick and Bubba archives, either on our YouTube channel or our podcast channel. Uh, thank you for being with us. Uh, all kinds of ways you can catch the show live. America's boldest radio stations make up the Rick and Bubba radio network. If you've got a radio station, good for you. That's always uh, the most enjoyable. Uh, but if you don't have a station, you can also uh, catch the show on our TuneIn app. That's a free download. The show is live there, and you get archives of uh, full shows there as well. Uh, so, uh, And then you've got YouTube. You can watch us. Eddie Van Adler takes that over right now. Hello to all of you watching on YouTube today. On the archive option, uh, you get the YouTube channel. There's also a video archive. There's an hour best of archive on uh, Blaze TV as part of your subscription. And then our podcast channel has audio archives every day uh, of the full show and also a best of hour as well. So there's all your options. If you ever are wondering about them, uh, you can always go to rickandbubba.com and, uh, and refresh there as well. We're missing one, uh, the silver tongue one. The man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters man of the year, the inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and the master at a Kang's English. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bill Bubba Bussey! Howdy, Bubba. How about it, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, associates everywhere, welcome in to the Rick and Bubba experience. Somebody get the mouth harp. Well, she was standing by the highway. That's uh, that's one of those. The reason why I love documentaries and I just love them so so much is I didn't even know Tom Petty had that song until I watched the documentary on Tom Petty and they were rehearsing, and I was like, I'm, "Whoa, what is that song?" And then I just went searching and found. Yeah, there it was. You know, unless you keep up with every album dandy. when they come out, yeah, and, and I'm yeah. not good about that. But no. uh, so yeah, you, you discover a lot of little, little nuggets. Rick, before we get started today, I'm looking for something, and I know the audience always helps us out. I need about 175, 200 foot of tower, if anybody's got it. <laughs> um, I'm kind of looking around. What's for the some, latest uh, on that? It's, it's just still missing. I saw a story on it. They were, they were still talking about if it. If you missed it yesterday, an AM station had its entire tower stolen yeah. in, in Jasper, Alabama. Yeah. I, I just wonder, you can't just walk up and grab a tower real quick and run off. The process of it happening at some point, somebody go, wait a minute now. That don't look right. Well, they're not I, supposed to be tearing it down. It's off down. behind. My, my, I think a chicken plant or my, something like you know, that. It would be noticeable if I look and well, people are taking a tower down. Yeah. Well, Rick, here's the thing: you had one taken down at your farm, I did. and it and it's job. a big project big during job. the day with multiple guys and trucks. And oh yeah, so big for job. it to disappear that way, uh, you know, I, my. I have to ask a question. Who was checking the meter readings? You know what I mean? I, need, I, I wonder how long it was going to take. I wonder how long it was going to take you to go there. It's automated a lot of mm -hmm. it, but you'd think, hey, beep, beep, how would you like to be? Wrong. How would you like to be yeah. Bill Bubba Bus? He'd have to come down to a studio where I was rocking on AM thirteen ninety, and he and I talk about meter readings. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, and do the EBS test. The EBS yeah. test. You'd be a little behind on your log. Oh, buddy. But if it's out <laughs> in some field and nobody knows that they're doing something wrong, because they don't probably know what's going on. 
you know, somebody had to see something. But you think that they just laid it down in the middle of a Wouldn't field, you lost and then you signal. Bubba explained this to me, and yeah, before well, the trans- they could clean it up, the transmitter would have cut off because of a high SWR. And you go, and, uh, you so know, let's mismatch. go see what's out there. Well, there's people tearing it down, yeah. but they go out there and it's gone. Sounds like an inside job to me. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> That's Greg. Well, Greg, don't say it, that. It's just I don't I don't I wouldn't want to do that at night, you know, because right. that's that's a dangerous process because you have to let yeah. it fall. Right? So everybody yeah. was sleeping yeah. and they didn't get a notification that that they went off. Guys, well, you know, could be a day timer. It could be a day timer. Tower and clean it up. <laughs> could be a day timer. But I, I just what I'm saying is to what you guys are. I understand that it's possible that you could look out in a pasture and say, well, look at there. They're, they must be getting a new tower. Mm-hmm. But when it came missing, you would then call and say, oh, by the way, I saw people carrying off pieces. Right. Of right. That's right. yes. Yeah. Yes. And uh, so I, I don't know. Uh, that's a, yeah, it's an odd I mean, story. Taking a tower down is different than a smash and grab. You know, I mean, I know. it's just a lot more moving parts. But yeah, anyway, so, uh, I well, just thought I'd throw that out there if there's any flow. Yeah, everybody's around, look, you know? looking for yeah. it. No, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I don't know. There's. Just think there's some show without a radio station now. <laughs> no, mm. no, he's, but he's still, on, he's still on translator, though, isn't he? Yeah, RC, yeah I, I saw where they'd applied to the FCC for emergency authorization right. for that because you're, you, the translators actually have to mm-hmm. relay an AM signal. Right. Uh, it doesn't have to be the off-air signal. Ooh. It can be the program. But, right. you know, I don't split hairs here, but you, you need that AM. So they had to apply to stay on, I guess, right. with, the, with the AM being off. But. Yeah. Uh, the good news is, and it's like when we were talking about AM radios, you know, when they were, some of the cars were wanting to do away with it, uh-huh. mm-hmm. uh, you can get that back on the air pretty quick. Yeah. They can put a wire up out there and get on the air at, at Bubba, reduced power. you are intelligent. And I, I know there's a good yeah. bunch of hams there in Jasper so, could probably get that going. I could probably have it by this weekend. Yeah. Going. Well, I, I, I'm... I'm kind of. I know tomorrow you're you're out tomorrow and Friday because you've got a hamtastic uh, journey. Yeah, hamcation. Yeah, hamcation. Mm-hmm. Uh, to but have this you, was have already you been, uh, pre-programmed. Yeah. Well, wow. Yeah. 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 Let, let me ask you this: Is anybody? Is this the time that? Is this the first time you've been around this many hams since I've let that tower go? Uh, is this when oh, I'll, yeah, this when well, I'll yeah, take the biggest yeah, yeah, beating? This will be this this. Well, I've already. I've, I've answered so many questions. I just started sending them <laughs> okay. to the guy. You know, okay. you remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, this. I mean, this is a biggie. It's it's the second largest one, I guess, in the in the U.S. Maybe the world. I don't know. Uh, Tokyo is pretty big, right. but I doubt I'll get to that one. Sure. So uh, so so Bubba will be gone tomorrow yeah. and Friday on a hamcation. Hamcation. Uh, and it's a road trip because they they got gear. Road trip. They got gear. Might be bringing road gear trip. back. That's right. What you got? The church van. What? Uh, we got a couple of vehicles to go. Uh, hey. Did you rent Adler's van? No, I. I oh, that would be a man. sweet one to ride in. Oh though. yeah, let me know if you need it. Because it is sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll have a little more room than we had last year because we were. Well, let's hope that, so. That I remember last van year. and yeah. uh, the wheels were rubbing on the on the you know on the. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Is anybody called that. Gun? Uh, you know I. I, I probably, you know, it, it was just tough in that back seat. Oh, for a I long, can't. Oh, for all the way. It's a long way. way. It's a long way. And, uh, it's a long way. You know, it. Uh, How long and, did and it was home? raining? It was raining, oh. so we couldn't stop. And we got, you know, we we went after the show, so that's one reason we're going earlier this year. Yeah, we got there, and it was uh, man. I, I mean, we couldn't stop to eat because of where we were. You know, the what? Wasn't, and raining so i mean it was it was pretty late when we got there i thought well hey hey i think gotta do this different i think you're good tomorrow friday it's gonna rain in in a lot of places but i think tomorrow's a good travel down there is is, uh it's a good bus yeah i just made that trip have fun you'll see speedy's tracks yep how far down did you go was it orlando or did you go further no orlando Winter Park and then over to Daytona. Yeah, that's I think that's where we're staying. It's uh boy, it's a big place. It, it sure is, is really, really sure crawling is. out, isn't it? We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up uh, right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Went in as an interim coach for USC. He was six and two, uh-huh. and they and they passed on. He him. said that that Who did was they get after he, him, when he was fired. He said uh, that was the worst. That was the second worst day right. in, his, in his life. He take second over? No, he to his over. father dying. Mm. Wow! When he got fired at USC, he, he took over. Yeah, he was Sarkey. very upset about that. But he's or did he take over for Kiffin? I, I didn't think he was either. I know it hurt him, but yeah. I'm talking about. I don't think he was ultimately going to be happy at USC either. That's no. not his. And culture. it's funny, his wife. He was. I mean, when I say he was distraught he's about his, being he's fired. In his, culture. his wife looked at him and said, "God has a bigger plan for you." And he said, "It better be a good one." 
<laughs> and 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 turns out it was. Yeah. So uh, the, is anything better than I was born on the Bayou and yeah. I just I just went undefeated yeah. Yeah, and I have what may be the greatest LSU team of all time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yes, good stuff. And I would say probably one of the, arguably one of the greatest college football teams of all time for one yeah. season. Well, yeah. Greg's brought the point up, and I don't know the answer to this. And then you know, because we were, <clears throat> I, I was, I didn't think Coach O was a great head football coach. I mean, I, I didn't. Now, does this mean he is now? Maybe because uh, uh, you know, maybe that he's he's got the right staff, he gets the right players, his recruiting's going well, all that counts. But or Greg, to your point, what was the coach that won the national championship at Miami and had that tremendous Coker. team? Will he be a coker? Be well, that, that, that's another one of my deep thoughts. Let me, I'll probably. come back to that. The other one was I thought Clemson handled the situation very well and with class like I knew they would with Davo Sweeney. I just thought they handled mm. it good at the end. Well, I, can I tell you what helps you? And I think they would have no matter what. I think, and, and I've been in this situation before, you know, just it doesn't hurt as bad. And you ha- when you realize, and it humbles you, we are just not as good as you are. Yeah, You, you are a better team than us. Yeah. Yep. We maxed, Today. We maxed Today. out. We probably finished as good as we were. Yeah. Could we have beat you? Yes, but should we have beat you? No. I have, I have two more <laughs> deep thoughts. Man, LSU's best team in the country. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I want to throw out to you when we get back. All right. Bottom of the hour, we'll be back. 866, we be big. Our website's Rick and Bubba. Spell out the word and.com. More of the Rick and Bubba show coming up next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rick and, Bubba. Uh, and then the president and his uh, his wife on the field. Oh, I mean, yeah. Out there, for, yeah, the oh, na- yeah. out there for, uh, for the national anthem. We um, And then, of course, funny, like Speedy said, watching the left try to figure out what's going on. <laughs> I think I heard some boos. Oh, they're popping in cheers. Yeah. Well, they're just a bunch of hillbillies. No wonder they're cheering for him. Why, why were they even watching the game? Wasn't there a good Democratic debate over there right, somewhere right. where Bernie and Elizabeth was going at each yeah. other? I mean, no, or, there going or, or isn't there a soccer match somewhere? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, go find some soccer or something. I mean, leave us alone. So, Rick, a couple of other deep thoughts I had, uh, and I'm going to throw out to the panel here to get y'all's opinion on it. What will this LSU team look like when they hit the field next year with whoever they have coming back, Coach O, but no Joe Burrows running the, the offense. You know, there's, good will they you be? look at some examples. Really, we're going to find out what kind of uh, coach Coach O is over the next three seasons. <laughs> and um, and I think here's, – here's the thing I think that may be different. Uh, I remember and have tremendous respect for Coach Gene Chizik as a man and as coach. And I was thankful that I had a son to be under his leadership for a few years and um, and he, he he was a great influence on my son. But you look at Auburn, you know, and, and I do not think that Auburn team in 2010 was as good top to bottom as this LSU team is. They had they had some great players, but they had some very average players. Yeah, as they well. were overachieving yeah, in a lot of ways. And uh, but those great players were really really good. Yeah. Uh, but they but it was like great player, average player. Mm-hmm. And they didn't have they didn't have a real strong built uh, team, and but if you look at it, it didn't appear. As, as history showed us, that Auburn took that moment in the limelight and that their marketing to world-class athletes out there produced much. Uh, either Auburn, which some people have said they aren't very good at assessing a real five-star versus a fake five-star like some of the other programs, that they don't vet them out real well or they don't coach them up or, or something. But you saw Auburn in two years, and I, I, I talk about this a lot because we're from Alabama, and like I say, had, had a son on the team, and it even got a big laugh in Missouri last weekend when I'm talking about when you make football a god. I said, here's how football works. I said, I, I literally watched a team go in two years to the slogan, all in, to it's a new day. In two years, meaning the coach was fired, that they were screaming all in about, and then they went to another coach and said, now it's a new day, in two years. So, uh, so that's how football works, and that's how the people work. If you win, they love you. If you lose, they hate you. And we know that. I mean, our dad taught us that. He said, just understand the line of work I'm in. Uh, and I got news for you. And he said this to me many times. The line. Here we go. Thank you, Ken Osborne. 22 minutes past the hour. Wednesday Bible study back today, noon central, 1 o'clock Eastern, on the Rick and Bubba YouTube channel. That's the live option for you. We're in 2 Corinthians chapter 7 today. It's been a rich book 
uh, and uh, we'll talk more about that today. If you missed the live option, uh, most of you catch it on the archive. The archive is soon after on our YouTube channel and also our podcast channel. Uh, and also Todd Jones. Talked to Todd yesterday. Todd is uh, tomorrow night, First Baptist Church, Opelika. Todd Jones speaking at Man Church tomorrow night. If you want to join him, we think that First Baptist Church, Opelika, was the very first church to dial into the men's discipleship strategy from the manchurch.com uh, now in our fourth year. Uh, Bubba, we have some uh, politics to talk about. Uh, yeah. Primaries. Primaries, baby. Election year, baby. So, uh, Bubba, what's going on with primaries? Well, we had the big Nevada primary, Rick. A lot going on in Nevada. A lot week. You got the on. Super Bowl coming up. You got mm -hmm. the primary. You know, Donald Trump was uh, taken off the ballot there. You remember in a They're controversial just move? Take him off. Um, although, although he was not on the ballot. Okay. Nikki Haley suffered an embarrassing defeat to the rival Donald Trump in the Republican primary, even though Trump was not on the ballot. So Trump won, even though he wasn't on the ballot. Yes, the South Carolina, the former South Carolina governor, lost by almost twenty-seven points to none of these candidates. An wow. option given to voters in the Silver State in the first two primary contests this week. I didn't know it was called the Silver State. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah. Um, so voters went to the poll to say none of the above, basically. Right. And that was like casting a vote for Donald Trump. Okay, what what was the why is Mike Pence people? I say over a thousand people, like seventeen hundred, voted for Mike Pence. I, I mean, he's not he, he's out of the race. I don't know. Right? Is that a ride in or something? Uh, is he, or was he just? Well, still he on was it? probably still already on, on the ballot yeah, from yeah, uh, right. previous. Uh, Tim Scott got you know one point three percent. He's yeah. already out and endorsing Trump. So yeah. Uh, but when you lose to none of these candidates, that's. Uh, that that you know well yeah somebody I, look you need to pull your candidate aside and say this is probably right I, I don't i this this thing that nikki haley somehow has a chance on, i don't know who i don't know where that comes from she she does not i mean it, yeah, it, 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 it is over. trump far and away yeah and uh it's uh as i said he's got one more term he can serve and, and you just have to let him finish i mean uh, it, if it, we right. can get there now, the if the, DC, the DC District Court right. ruled that he was not immune from prosecution for crimes committed, um, and uh, the way they frame that is like, well, if you agree with that, then the president can do anything he wants to, and he can commit murder and everything else, and that's right. that's really not the case. Um, but he will probably appeal this to the Supreme Court, and this is the one that could really uh, could really derail his campaign. Now, if you take someone who is the leading candidate of one of the parties, the presumed nominee, and you tell them they cannot run, mm -hmm. it is going to be, I mean, that is Banana Republic stuff, guys. I know. Uh, not that anybody's not above the law. No. But, again, um, you're, you're saying that, that he instigated that by what he said. And, again, free speech is protected. Free political speech is even protected to a whole nother level. Yep. Um, we're getting into some really, really uh, gray area. Honestly, if I was a Biden person, I would not be very happy with this ruling either because it means that they're going to prosecute me when I leave office, bottom line. Uh, good news, Biden wins Nevada. Yes. Uh, and uh, moves closer to a showdown with Trump. So it's, uh, you know, I, just... Betty and I were talking about it yesterday. We were looking at, at many of our politicians, Rick, across the spectrum. Oh, my goodness. And uh, it, really, it really does have a, a feel that we need a generational shift to, to this yes. just a little bit. Yes, yes, I don't yes. know if you saw all of the political things on TV yesterday. I did not. Uh, were they? But, uh, you know, uh, thank you for your service. Uh, right. Maybe it's time we get somebody oh, else no. a little more 
a little younger in there. Right. I don't want to be cruel, but but when we have people freezing up, and, you know, at, and on, on the Republican side uh, as well, Mitch yeah, McConnell. Oh, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah, all over the road. When, when it's we, all over the road. When you look at Mitch McConnell, Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, uh, and and you begin to look at these people, and there's others that I can't think of their names that just look like they can't even. I mean, we we had a. Who was the one we kept wheeling in there to vote, and she didn't even know she was voting? Oh, um, uh, no. oh, uh, Feinstein. Feinstein. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what are we doing? I mean, it's. Um, I think running the United States of America is a really big deal. Well, I mean, for the whole world. Sometimes wisdom uh, is is not a key thing with youth. I got that, but surely, no, you're right. surely we can land somewhere in the middle here. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I think we're going off the edge the other way right well, now. <laughs> as we said on on a, on a plethora of topics, we as human beings, we just cannot seem to find that balance. Can no. We? I mean, no. It, we're, it's we're swing, on one. We, swing, we, we, swing. We, we, you're, you're either old as dirt and don't know where you are, or you're young and stupid. I mean, I mean, surely there's an in-between. Okay. What, what about just grown-ups? <laughs> right. Uh, uh, how about seasoned people yeah, or, or they, something? They still yeah. have their Let's faculties. go salt and pepper or something. Yeah, so, yeah a little uh, bit of that. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, I, I don't know. this. I, I know none of us can truly believe it's true, but I, but it looks like, unless, and to your point, unless he doesn't, unless, unless he goes to jail, it's going to be Trump and Biden again. But I think some people say the Democrats have a surprise coming in May, but that's all rumor. I don't know if there's any truth to that. It would that makes me feel better that they're not as goofy as I think they are, or there is the keep the puppet in. We're running the we're running the mm-hmm. White House anyway. Rick, you he's get, he's just somebody we send out. But aren't right. you embarrassed by what he does when you send him out? No, that, is aren't you afraid he scares people? Yeah, Rick, you can't listen behind the scenes. People they have to they have to have a backup plan, right? Sure. I mean. Yeah. You can't just go forward and not be saying, "Well, let's just say worst case scenario, what right, we're gonna yeah, do," right? Uh, because that's just—I mean, it's just getting so bad every day. And we got more clips today. Um, I mean, uh, we we forgot the name of Hamas yesterday. Oh, hello. You know how you've got a loved one? We've been through it, and you start thinking we need to get a plan. To yeah, your, to, exactly. To exactly. your point, don't don't they? Think- don't they see that it's, you got to well, get a plan? They, they've got to have a plan. Right. I don't know what it is, but they got to have one. Now, will they pull the trigger on it? I don't know. Yeah. Bottom of the hour. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Work that we are now in uh, is the same thing. If we keep winning, we get to be on the air. If we can't win, then you won't be hearing us. You can come see us over at our fruit stand. But, I mean, you're not going to hear us <laughs> on the air. We have to produce what? Ratings and revenue. And if we don't, no, by the way, there's nobody out there that has us on the air just because they think we're chummy guys. I mean, you know, it's, it's like we got to produce, and rightfully so. I mean, they can't just say, hey, we're losing money, but I sure do like them. You know, so we, we got to produce. So um, what will this program look like? I think just from watching that it appears that LSU has done a really good job of taking their time in the limelight and marking their program. And it appears that the best players in the country want to go play for Coach O, and they want to go play for LSU. So all appearances are that they, they're they building a program. They just they, they don't really have a – we had some really good players one year and won it, and then we kind of faded away. Now, we'll, they, hey, we'll see. I mean, it, there's no way to know. But will this be a flash in the pan, or will they become the dominant program? You know, when you're going to become a dominant program, guess who you got to push away over in the West? you got to go push that tide away. you got to go over to Saban, who had his Affleck – uh, suit on last night. <laughs> he did, <laughs> and, and and you're going and you're going to have to tell Alabama that you're now the king of the SEC West and the king of the SEC. And now I don't think Alabama's just going to pack their stuff up and leave, but uh, but you you know you're going to be fighting them for players and for position and all that. That's the thing about being the SEC to become a dominant team in that conference. What Alabama's been able to accomplish has been unbelievable because. Every year, you got to stand up on that hill again and say, "We're going to try to win this thing again." It's not easy to do, so um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I tend to think that that LSU's got so many players. Now, of course, the quarterback—if you're going to run that kind of offense, that quarterback's important. I well, don't. I don't know who the next quarterback is. They changed their offense this year to fit what he does. Well, that's true. You know, so whoever the guy is, they'll just adjust to what he does. I mean, like it, last year, you look at what Burrow—they they tied his hands last year. If you look at it, what no, he's you're doing, right. They didn't use him like they needed to. And if the good ones do that, they look at the personnel and they don't try to ask them to do something they can't do and, you know, build it around them. Is yeah, that the mentality? But they're going to get players. And, but you're right, though. 
it ain't like Clemson that can sit there all year and then get ready for the playoffs. I mean, yeah. you in that SEC West, it's going to be a – And it's going to be – Look, and it's not Clemson's fault that Florida State's terrible, yeah. Miami's terrible, Virginia Tech's not what they used to be. I mean, that's not their fault. Yeah, I mean, they, hey, but I do. Yeah, those three programs usually produce really yeah. good teams. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but I think every or now in the and past then, they did. I yeah. think every now and then something special happens, and we saw it this year with LSU. Timing is everything, and then you get Burrow to to transfer over, and then you get the the passing coordinator come in and kind of you know wakes up their offense, and and it just seemed like everything worked this year, and it was a special year. But I think what makes the Sabins and and Dabo to the staying power to where every year they reload and they're right back. I think that's what makes them so special. Now, LSU, you know, if he can keep his staff together and and reload, I think that they could be in discussion again. But it seems like there's always the six teams every single year that we look up and we're talking about them. There's every now and then that one team that surprises everybody. But on the most part, it's the same yeah. programs no. every year. And that can we're LSU now about. become one of those programs? Exactly. Well, can and L- I think can up LSU until become an Ohio State, a Clemson, and Alabama. And up right. until November, LSU's in that conversation mm-hmm. every year. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I mean, and they then it fades away. And, and you never know what the transfer portal is going to bring you. That's what I was just about yeah. to say. Isn't that the new I thing? Mean, when we looked at the Final Four, it was full of transfer yeah. portals. Yeah. Full of them. So is the transfer portal, you know, when you sit down and go, hey, how many five stars and four stars did we get? <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you now going, who's available in the portal? Yeah. 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 By the way, Burrow was a two-star, in case y'all yeah. didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just for the record. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 he wanted to, and, and wanted to go to Nebraska, they wouldn't talk to yeah. him. Yeah. They said he, he didn't fit what they do. Mm. I just wish Ohio State could get some quarterbacks. <laughs> I'm telling you. You realize who all they had at one time? Because they've yeah. done that before. Oh, they, yeah. have, they have three or four. Well, and here's the thing Do you about just look at Ohio State and say, all right, who didn't start? Go get them. Yeah. 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 Uh, you, you can't play, as it's been pointed out on this show before, but one, and the rest of them are going to go somewhere else. Yeah. So. And then you kind of see what's happening with the SEC right now, where a lot of people say the SEC, besides one or two teams, have been subpar. No, they you have. Know, you know, no, but have. you got – you got Florida, who's waking up. Yep. Get ready for them. Yep. Tennessee, who had just an amazing year mm-hmm. with how they started. Up click. Yeah, you got uh, da- uh, or Jimbo Fisher at Texas A&M. They're yeah. they're going to be a beast. Mm-hmm. Then you got both. They need Miss- to come on. Then you got both Mississippi teams that went went out. The SEC and, West and got will be very interesting. Kiffin and Leach. Year, yeah. You know, it's just you. It's just interesting. you know Georgia pretty good too. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you for. <laughs> and you got Georgia, so. The SEC now could turn around to where back I know to it, we've worth. always been, we've always eat our own kind of thing, mm-hmm. where it could get back to that. Where, well, if you, you look know, at this year, the teams are getting so good now, we're all beating each other. I think what I love about LSU's victory this year is their body of work. I mean, yeah. they, they had to beat good teams, you know, the six perennial teams on their mm-hmm. schedule that they. Mm-hmm. Five minutes past the hour. Thanks for being with us today. Relief Factor, Relief Factor, been with us for a very long time. Uh, and uh, I'm hearing more and more, which I think is wise. Uh, but, you know, with this being the final year, if you have been remotely considering teaming up with Rick and Bubba, it's it's time to do it. The audience never larger. You can see it everywhere. Uh, so relieffactor.com. Some of you may be going, you know what? I've heard about this over the years, and uh, I think I'm going to make the move. I love hearing... Uh, how this unique formula of natural ingredients uh, have helped so many people, including uh, including me. Uh, so uh, if your body is struggling with aches and pains and, and you're thinking, I can't seem to find a solution or I, I can't just continue to take this over-the-counter stuff because it's not designed to take it the way I'm taking it and I'm overdoing it, you're worried about addictive properties and opioids and all you've done all the – uh, you know, the physical therapy or, or whatever, uh, try something all natural like Relief Factor. 70% of the people, and there's been over a million that have gotten the Quick Start Pack for 1995. 70% of those who order the Quick Start Pack, they order more because they see great results. You'll know inside those three weeks. So why don't you make the move now like the rest of us have by going to relieffactor.com or call one 800 4 relief Always you can find the link too at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. All right, so Bubba and I are jealous that what happened to this show did not happen to us because it would be Radio Gold. <laughs> and and I know, Speedy, it wouldn't have been any fun for you, <laughs> but we could have had a blast with it. Oh, but yeah. um, I know y'all talked about it in the kickoff hour, but mm. if uh, some of you missed that and we have more audio now too, uh, there's there's New York radio host, and they learn live. So it is, baby. 
Uh, yeah. th th they learn live on the air that their producer, which is what Speedy does here, booked the wrong Randy Moss. Mm -hmm. um, I did not know there were multiple Randy Mosses. When I first heard this story, I thought I was going to hear that they tried to book Randy Cross, who <laughs> right. was the center for the 49ers, uh -huh. and, and the guy got confused. And I thought to myself, no, that, I could it, see that. And he even did a little uh, broadcast. Yeah, you know, right. Yeah. Was done. Yeah. But, but a guy who's involved yeah. in horse racing? Broadcast. Yeah. Uh, I know he did some NFL stuff, so that's what kept it yeah, alive. Yeah. So, And they kind of go through that, but if Geo doesn't ask a question – they never figure this out, and the wrong Randy Moss shows up, the white one. In person? In person. <laughs> oh, and, my. And, and they go through this. Boomers even says, hey, this, you should have saw this because Randy Moss ain't coming in studio. Right. I mean, because Boomer knows all of them, whatever. Yeah. But just enjoy. This is courtesy of WFAN. Oh, right, here we go. Everybody's got something, and that's why I'm actually happy we are not at Radio Row. What is Randy Moss promoting, by the way, Al? Do you, do you know? It's something having to do with horse racing. Oh, really? He's very into horse racing. Are you, are you sure this is the right this the yeah not this the other Randy, Randy Moss, Moss wide receiver not is Randy. there another Randy yes Moss? there's a uh oh, oh there's an announcer Randy Moss Thanks. who is into horse who racing who is into horse racing please tell me that's fake that, I, no that would no be so awesome <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh no because they no. said I saw in the request that Randy would like to talk about blah 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 also anything NFL related I'm a I'm a double check that. <laughs> or maybe the Randy Moss, who is the sports announcer or the horse racing announcer. He also he used sport. to work for the NFL Network. Yeah. Come on, I swear to God. Yes. How's that possible? <laughs> oh. Oh. This is oh, Jesus. This is horrible. I, this Jesus. is what Mark Chernoff's talking about. <laughs> you know, lazy ass. Oh, you I mean, not I, following, doing any follow through. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining because we have a great setup and everything is great, but I can't catch a break when it comes to some of this stuff, right? Like Dua Leap is in New York when we're out here. I think we're getting Randy Moss. We're getting the white Randy Moss. <laughs> oh, Bubba. He says, he, I've even got my Vikings jersey on ready yeah. to go. Yeah. 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 Poor, poor Gio's a big Vikings Look at fan, his face. too. I, yeah. And, you know, oh, yeah. They, we they, all, we they, all know he's already had to suffer a lifetime of disappointment. Oh, right. They, uh, they continue to discuss Look, it. Look, he's even bald like Speedy. Yeah. Remember how confident he was when they first brought it up? It might be wrong. No, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no way. Yeah, yeah, he the starts, guy with the ponytail's great. He starts, yeah, reading, right. oh, no. he starts reading more and more, and then Boomer says, the entertaining part is I want to see is when you call him back and cancel. Oh, because yeah. we're not having him in. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's yeah. good. It's good. He is, he is, Boomer is down. He <laughs> loves it. <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. Way, by the way, I do like the broadcaster, Randy Moss. He's a very nice yes. guy. He loves horse racing. Yes. We love horse no, racing. We're not Lee doing that. Tyler. But I can't wait to have hear you call them back and say, you know, we're going to have to cancel. No, 100%. <laughs> I will have no problem because I'll say this is misleading. This is very Magma. misleading. And, and you can't say NFL <laughs> Network, talk about NFL, NFL, and then you're rolling out a horse racing, Randy Moss? <laughs> That's so fugazi. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've never had anything to that it's level. Like that. But we, we've had a close call or two, right? That makes Pete Van Weeren look like nothing. Not, not, well, not somebody with the right, right name, the right. same name we've never done. We, we had the, but we, you, we had you the charity had, mistake that yeah, time you, about diabetes. Which you was, had yeah, the initials yeah. wrong. Well, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I had that and wrong. And he almost went on air with it. The I mean, reason he was, he was on was right, but right. I had it wrong. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. But yeah. it was funny. You were setting yeah. it up. Sure. Yeah, I was setting it up uh, up incorrectly. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that's but, okay. So what, the, was the, what, the, what, what was their deal? Uh, the, the, the disability and diabetes. Yeah. I got and Speedy those thought it was and diabetes. And it was people with disabilities. Yeah. And you kept telling them diabetes stories. Uh, about yes. his family. Right. Finally, one of the guys said, by the way. I'm talking right before. He's sitting in the seat. He goes, and by the way. Tell Speedy, it's not diabetes. It's not disabilities. I went, oh. I said, hang on a minute. So good. And I think I even, your one pager had disabilities on it. I, for some reason, had diabetes in my mind. Right. I don't know, but I was telling him all about my mom and my sister. <laughs> yeah, you were. You really were. He didn't want to, he didn't want to tell you. Yeah, and right. the guy was so sheepish. He was oh, like, yeah. he was like yeah. I know what to do. I, I whispered to you I, when I left. Before, yeah. I said, I tell before we get on the air, I just want yeah. to tell you, it's, 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 it's one minor Are you not adjustment. relieved over 30 years you've never done that? Oh, hold on. we got some time here. we got 10 months left. <laughs> don't, I wish, don't, don't mojo me. Rick, I wish Speedy had said it. Man, I ain't young believers. I got Randy Miles for the podcast. And oh, all of a sudden he'd pop up on the screen oh, and it was something. Guy with different a horse rating hat on. God, yeah, are there any other? I'm jealous this didn't happen to us. I'm jealous. Oh, yeah. I know. That's Wouldn't a... that be something? I, <laughs> oh, be me, me messing up would be better than any, Ran any oh. Randy Moss interview with the real Randy Moss. Oh, of course it was. Right? It really was. Real Randy I can't Moss. get to it. What Nobody can get to it. This isn't the exact same thing, but 
Pat McAfee had a moment, oh, and many many people sent this to us. We never played it, but Pat McAfee had a moment on the air that was just a good night. Look at that moment, hundred percent. Okay, like Greg, like Greg. Okay, um, what this? Oh, uh, this is I know. What you're, okay. Yes, this is yeah. about Jalen Milrose, uh, kind of clothes brand. Yeah, we did play this already. Did. On I kickoff hour, or was it the big show? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if we talked about it or played it. I can't remember. I don't remember. I can't remember. Okay, well, uh, what, what's this guy's name again? Uh, Reese, Reese Davis. Reese Davis, Reese Davis cool. is going to be talking about Jalen Milrow's clothing brand. Yeah. Pat McAfee is going to interrupt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Jalen Milrow often wears his own branded apparel reading LANK across the front. It's an acronym that stands for Let a Naysayer Know. Being told by his former offensive coordinator, that Bill O'Brien. That is not O'Brien. what I thought. Is that not what you thought? Boy, let a naysayer know. Let a naysayer know. Of course. The professional's right in the middle of his lead. That's all right. I just keep I going. Thought you almost lost me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Real tight up here, as you were. I just want to let you know. Uh, Reese, you were too I thought it was going down. <laughs> so, uh, I've made the connection. Pat McAfee's Greg. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, yeah. It's, there it is. Oh, that God. is not what I thought. <laughs> Minus the muscle shirt. <laughs> right. yeah. And, yeah. and Reese led them into that perfectly he with really his serious did. face. He, oh, really he knew did. exactly what he was. You could tell <laughs> when he turned to look. He's like, you bit. I did not. <laughs> that is not say. what I thought you were going to say. But you know what? We, we, what you just said, and I don't even know why Woo. this is. It, it, it really says a lot about us. And Speedy just said it. You would think we would desire to have Randy Moss mm. eighty four on the show. We really would desire even more mm. to have the wrong Randy Moss booked and make fun of Speedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Eric, it's not even close. <laughs> more, more than even having Randy. Not even close. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> not even close. <laughs> it's not. I mean, the Randy Moss interview. I mean, that'd be all right. Yeah, but, yeah I mean, that's but, impressive. But, Again, but, the only but, show where bad is good. We wouldn't go. Well, yeah, we wouldn't get four segments on that. No, no. <laughs> we, it wouldn't be. Rick, it wouldn't be on the best of. <laughs> <laughs> and how many times have we said this video? I can't get to it. <laughs> no, I can't get to it. Straight uh, cash. How, how quickly would Adler put a picture of Randy Moss on a racehorse? Oh, yeah. 84 so Randy quick. Moss. Oh, so we, quick. We, we could do so memes. I'm so jealous. Memes, we, everyone. I'm jealous of I them. am too. I wish I was them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. 15 minutes to the top of the hour. 866 We Be Big is the number. And we'll get more of your phone calls in today when the show continues. Much to cover. Uh, We'll continue right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And they, and to me, that's good. I I don't like, I don't like when it's nobody's fault, but when you get there and you really, your schedule, you didn't really play anybody, so you really almost had to win one big game. LSU had to win a lot of big mm-hmm. games, and yeah. they did. Yeah, and they did. But will will they turn in to the Alabama, Clemson, Ohio State? Will, will, will they will they be that? Right. I don't think so, and I and and I don't fault them for it. I fault just the way the system's set up. It's right. so hard to mm-hmm. do this. Mm-hmm. It is week in week out. Yeah, and you had got to one of mine talking about Gene Chizik, who we have so much respect for. Um, he's sitting there holding up the trophy, and two years later, he's holding a box cleaning his office out. Mm-hmm. So it it happens quick. It does both ways. It does. Well, you, but back to the point. For some reason, and I don't know the reasons. Of course, you did have Gus Malzahn leave right. after they had recruited for his offense, and then he left. And then they tried to go do what Alabama and LSU do without the personnel to do it. Right. But so that you know, you got to look at everything Changed that happened. Both systems. But you can say that Auburn did not. They didn't get as much out of that national championship as some teams do. And right. will LSU be one of those teams that doesn't get a lot out of it? Right. Or it'll be the, the place where the thing starts churning. And mm-hmm. and two, even though Clemson does not play in as tough a league as LSU does, it, it's amazing to me that they play at that high level considering some of the teams that they beat week in, week out who oh, are you know, very just very weak. And the fact that they that they have done this now, they're a national power. They're up there. They're they're playing for it every year, and that they have beat that state curse that we've heard about. And it's been talked about with many coaches that no one thought you could be one of those national teams without a state name tied to you. And Clemson has proven that can be done. Yeah, I think what Dabo Sweeney has done at Clemson. I mean, no offense toward Clemson. I I, I like that program. I always have, but 
to be a, I know his conference is not as strong, but Greg just named off some programs that are supposed to be better than they are right now. Right. So that's really not their fault. But but he's got Clemson as a premier program, and that that's really impressive. It's one thing, and I, look, Coach Saban's maybe the greatest college football coach, certainly of this era, he is. Yeah. But to go get a dominant program at Alabama, at LSU, and Ohio State, that's one thing. Mm-hmm. To get a dominant program out of Clemson, that's impressive. Yeah, yeah. well, they're, yeah, you like know. I say, they don't have a state name. You're right. not uh, automatically tied to that level of competition. And right. he's changed that, uh, you know, the outlook. So now they expect to be there, Yeah, which is a good thing to have. Yeah. yeah. When Did you ever think if you were a Clemson fan, you would become one of those programs that you don't think you had a good year because you didn't win the national championship? Yeah. And where you're expected to that's be where, there and compete. And that's yeah. where you want to be. We'll be back. More Rick and Bubba next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. All right, we're back. Eight minutes to the top. Phone calls coming in. Let's talk. 866-WE-BE-BIG. I don't know why I'm asking for phone calls now because, unlike us, you don't have to be anywhere if you're listening live right now. So you're probably you're probably not moving yet if you watched the game last night. Uh, but phone calls are coming in uh, at 866-WE-BE-BIG. We'll also unpack something that's going to lead to a lot of one-liners. Apparently, Speedy's lost his wallet. Hey, we and got I a know mystery that, here. I know that sounds like a, Rick, Rick Speedy's wallet's been lost for 12 years. That's as long as I've been here. <laughs> Greg. He can't find it. Guys, y'all, y'all turned no, a bit one, into Rick. reality. Yeah. Yeah. That's Rick, Rick, you know, I got a this family. alleged wallet. <laughs> describe this alleged wallet. I know I got a family of five, and I use a lot of money a lot. Well, I mean, we're talking about our experience. If you asked us to describe it, we couldn't describe it. We've never seen it. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, and, yeah, and well, just, it just handle. feels like an, another day, does yeah. Right, right. And, well, plus, like yeah. Greg said, if you ask Speedy, it's it, usually so easy. You can't ask him when's the last time you had it because it's been so long ago. Yeah. <laughs> when's the last time you used it? Oh, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> it's before Christmas. <laughs> I, I used it last night, uh, but I'm, I didn't have to go to it. But I had to. We had to pay Tyler. He won the Wilburn family mm. uh, predictions. He uh, won the Czar Trophy for the house. He so did picked, he pick forty one twenty eight? He uh, he got close. Um, mm. uh, his y'all like support gambling? <laughs> he, uh, he, uh, that's not what it was. I was waiting on that. Um, <laughs> We had it. We had a good time. He picked. Um, let's see. You raised money his for pick was, His pick was forty five twenty eight. Yeah. So he was. Uh, yeah. He's really close. Mine was forty one th- twenty eight. Mm-hmm. So we were out there in the mix. Yeah. Y'all gonna load up and go get some lotto tickets? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I said uh, the wallet in that. You can't far. have it both ways. Yeah, that's too far. I mean, you can't. Yeah. Alan, I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. Alan in Birmingham. Alan, go ahead. <laughs> I apologize. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, buddy. I am upset that uh, we got rid of Coach O in Southern Cal. I'm a Southern Cal fan, and we went from having a coach that blamed the players for losing. Then we had Coach O. Then we go get drunk Sarkeesian, (laughs) and now we have everybody gets a trophy, Clay Hilton. calls right now the real greg burgess is there 866 we be big as mr ken osborne just told you dial us up and we'll chat with you all right so bubba got an email we got a caller that says uh, we had something uncomfortable happen involving interns yeah uh, patrick campbell dropped us an email and said do you guys remember when intern shake and bake ushered hispanic golden ticket seat guest into the green room because it was cinco de mayo Cinco de Mayo, and she thought they had been booked as guests on the show. Gosh, that's mm. And they sat in the green room for a while before someone, possibly Greg, figured out what was going on. Oh, oh. that's good stuff. So they had golden ticket seats, that's but they she good. thought they were guests. She because thought it was they Cinco were, de Mayo. Yeah, that's we're, good. We're guests or oh, performers or something. Good. Oh, my oh, goodness. Isn't that fantastic? Cinco de Mayo. Of course, I didn't feel as bad as Speedy. I mean, as when Adler thought somebody stole something from him. Oh just yeah, just because I, they were. That was bad. Just because. They, they, yeah, you know. this doesn't really. It's not the same kind of thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Very <laughs> story. Yeah. I think I'd rather be mistaken as a Cinco de Mayo celebration than a thief. Yeah, yeah. that's sure. 
I thought somebody waved at me the other day at Walmart. They were just saying hey to somebody behind me. Oh, that's that the was worst. awkward. I that's went, "Hey man, how you doing?" And I looked around. They were like <laughs> talking <laughs> yeah. to each other. I'm like, "Oh boy." You start stretching. <laughs> yeah, your head. I was like, I couldn't I've get up. So I think I times. left and didn't get what I needed. <laughs> I've I just, done that so many times. <laughs> when you do what we do for a living, because you're so paranoid, what somebody's gonna think that you're stuck up. Yeah, or, or stuck up, I should yeah. say, without yeah. a, a lozenge. Yeah, uh, I did a lozenge. <laughs> uh, but so I'm always real paranoid about yeah. that, yeah. and I, and then I'll over not over greet, but I will over respond respond thinking and then people so many times are talking to somebody behind yeah. me yeah, so embarrassing uh, uh steve in alabama if you <clears throat> want to join us you can too lines are available gray's got the phones hey steve welcome to rick and bubba go ahead hey man I'm, i've been listening to y'all my entire life Thank i you. mean a lot my, ent- my entire life and uh so when we started creeping up on 27 28 29 years i was like man i feel like i know these guys if they retire it's gonna be at 30 or 35 or something so when we topped the hill at 30, I was like, ooh, we made it. Of course, that's over. <laughs> of course. That's over. That's over. Oh, that's over. Uh, lines are available at 866-WE-BE-BIG. Uh, Robert is in South Carolina. Robert, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead. Well, good morning, Rick and Bubba. Hey, hey Robert. Hi, Pedro. <laughs> I, um, I wanted to just ask you a question about winning at game night last friday night well, right. when you were celebrating your victory oh yes um you were t- you were talking about the very moving speech that brought some of the wives to tears yeah. and then you you sang a song yeah. and i was thinking based on the the speech you were using and who did it wouldn't it have been more appropriate for you to sing looking for a river isn't that that guy's song that he just tore up and sounded so pitiful? Looking for a city. Looking, looking for a city. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because okay. yeah, I you gave the – yeah, you, you threw me just a little bit. I thought, looking I, for a river. I thought, <laughs> how did Granger Smith get into this? <laughs> uh, but no. no, no you it, know, I'm getting old. Like, you know, I'm old now. And yeah, you're 25 saying, miles from Santa, Santa Fe. Yeah, <laughs> since I gave the – I have a thought, and it's really good, and then I'll lose it. So, oh, wait, buddy, but you, I think um, – Preaching to the choir. Yeah, I do. I do have a request. Okay. Um, I would really love to hear some more of the car wash stuff. Okay. Bef- you know. Oh, well, you're probably that, you're probably was, a good speech in so December. Funny. <laughs> run me a so Z. If before if before we get to the end of the year, if you could run me a couple of Z's, I'd really Done. appreciate it. Count on it, sir. Well, Bubba's, oh, really? Bubba's birthday's coming up, and that's how it made it to air anyway. Count on so it. maybe on his birthday. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe well, do the whole story again. We won't be here that week, but maybe before or after. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, right. when we celebrate it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I really think that's the, the name of the best of. Uh, you know, run, run me a Z. Z. And we and need a big maybe old. A, maybe a subtitle, dot, dot, dot. Don't yeah. you think, and we get a big old cartoon of big old Joe in front of it, shutting oh, it down, calling gosh. for a Z. Ronnie Spector at the phone. Huh? So, uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, well, you're gonna get you'll get a lot of that, and I think uh, the week before Bubba's birthday, whatever's closest to it, we'll, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. Uh, Tammy, <clears throat> welcome to Rick and Bubba. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Good. Great. I just wanted to tell you, Rick, y'all. I mean, I've been to the Golden Ticket seats like twice, and well, thank you. both at the old studio. And I just wanted to say that y'all have always been so gracious. And I did see one of our local news celebrities out. Um, shopping for shoes one time, and he was very, you know, stuck up and rude and didn't want anyone around him, and I can't even imagine that y'all would do that to anyone. Um, He was a sports anchor on one of our local news shows. Well, there's no need to go um, there. Yeah. Tammy, no need. No Mm -hmm. need. Uh, (laughs) You know, but but Tammy, thanks. I, I really, I'm not trying to say this because it's the right thing to say first of all i don't know when when it became a notion that somehow if you were on the tv or on the radio that somehow you were supposed to be special um a lot of if you look at what we all went through our our families were kind of wondering were we ever going to get a real job right right. Uh, it was was never held with a whole lot of kind of asking that question again right Uh, and uh but uh, so i don't i honestly and i i I think i can speak for the whole staff because i know these guys we honestly are amazed anybody cares about uh, what we're doing shocked yeah and so to to be rude about it and i'm not saying that you know sometimes you know i'm if if we've ever been rude it was not intended yeah and i i'm not going to defend what she ran into because i don't know the the situation but anybody can get have a bad moment you know and and you know i don't want to be judged by all of my my low moments yeah exactly but we try 
and uh, and we we really do care. I, I you know I always the joke is people ask me said well does it bother you when somebody comes up to you when you're eating and says something? I said no, it bothers me when somebody does it. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, that explains the Rick and Bubba softball jersey you wore to lunch yes, yesterday. Yeah. Uh, the um, let's go to well we lost Lynn. Uh, let's go to Mike in Hartsell. Uh, Mike, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Hey, so long time listener. been listening since you were, guys were in Gaston. Thank uh, you. Thank when, you. Yeah. Pete, Pete the pot belly poker poker playing pig. pig and and, <laughs> and rub, a, rub a dub used to call in, if oh, I remember man. right. Uh, <sighs> yeah. So, but uh, funny story. I was just watching a video thing yesterday, Henry Cho, and he was telling a story where he was, he was going on to do a, uh, poetry society he was performing doing an act there and the and the late great glenn campbell was also booked so they were backstage talking and stuff so glenn campbell asked him said hey man you telling any you got you got some chicken jokes and he said no 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 chicken jokes yeah so he said i went on done my whole set and he said uh, and glenn told him well, i got a couple of chicken jokes he said okay so he said then it hit him oh Lynn Campbell thinks it's poultry, not poetry. Oh. And he got out and went. <laughs> so he said, so I didn't tell him, of course. So I let him go on. He, he went out and tells a couple of chicken jokes, and they just bombed. Nobody even cracks a smile. And Lynn Campbell's manager standing by Henry Cho, and Henry's cracking up backstage. And he said, you, you knew he thought it was poultry? And he said, oh, yeah, but I couldn't tell him. No, absolutely not. And we would not have either. Uh, Shane in Columbus, Mississippi, 96-1. Shane, go ahead. Hey, guys, I've been with you all since about the time Speedy came on. Thank you. I, I, I've enjoyed you. And I want to ask, do you all remember doing commercials, TV commercials for Marvin's building material? Of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. We do. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you one thing. The guy who yeah. used to run Marvin's will never forget it. No. <laughs> man, <laughs> big time. Man, guys, I, I, that was about the time I picked you all up, and I was like, these guys are nuts. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you've heard the story about Bubba jumping into the man's arms and, and the guy had to have knee surgery. I mean, the main guy yes. at Marvin. Yeah. The yeah. main guy. Yeah. yeah. But, well, we were, hey, we were doing a, everything y'all done. Thank you. Thank you. Shane, you're very kind. We were doing a TV commercial and it was Christmas time. And Ricky, I think you had a Santa outfit on. Yeah, I had an elf, elf or something. Elf. Yeah, you were. And, you know, we were supposed to be dancing around doing whatever. <laughs> and, uh, and I don't know if that was Les that was producing that commercial or not. We're no. gonna have Les on, by no. the way. He no. did several projects. Funny, funny. But they said, "Oh, you got to be more active. Be more active. Like go jump in his arms." Or, and so I did, and we all went down. He wasn't ready. No, no. had to have knee surgery. Blew his yeah. knee out. Blew yeah. his knee out. Yeah. The, house the, went the down. guy who writes the checks, <laughs> right? Bubba blew his knee out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Somebody help me. <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> I thought, you, look, I'm I'm coachable. I'm just doing what they told me to do. My first <laughs> thought was, well, we invest a lot of money in this tour, and now it's over. Of course, <laughs> that's over. <laughs> Top of the hour. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. <laughs> he's like, he's so like President Trump. Hey, he has a name yeah. for everybody. Hey, let me tell Alan, you this guy's down. Mm -hmm. Alan, let me ask you this. Coach O took over for Kiffin, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yep. We were yeah, trying we to remember where he tarmac. fit in there. Coach took over. He left him on the tarmac. <laughs> by, yeah. by, by the way, don't forget, do you remember when Sarkeesian, I'm, look, I'm not trying to make light of alcoholism, but do you remember when Sarkeesian lost and went nuts? At that? Speaking at the, <laughs> at the alumni deal. Oh, whatever. my goodness. Right. Let like, me ask you this. Yeah, and then we hired him after that. We saw that, and we still hired him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. I forgot no, about just, that. He just had a bad night. He was at Washington when that happened. Let me no, ask you're right. you this. You're right. Yeah. Let me ask you this. When Coach O, when he was interim, and then when he left, did you want him to stay? Or are you just saying I, now it would have been a good No, time? I did. I did. Uh, I've been talking about this for seven years. Okay. Southern Cal needs a coach that has a backbone. Right. It doesn't cl I mean, if your quarterback throws four interceptions, maybe you don't need to clap him off the field in that situation. I mean, you might want to <laughs> get him a little bit and tell him to stop throwing interceptions. People don't know what a bip that is to fans, by the way, oh. when you take that approach. <laughs> hey, it's all right. No, it's not. No, it's really not. Uh, all right, so you, you, your own record, you thought it was a mistake then, and it looks like you've been justified. Correct. Okay, Correct. Th thanks, Alan. See you, buddy. Uh, Christian in Birmingham. Christian, welcome to Rick and Bubba. How are you? Good, man. How y'all doing? This We're great. Fired up. I hope you are. There, I was saying that uh, last night, me and my family went to Buffalo Wild Wings to Thank watch you. the ball game. And, man, it wasn't just the Superdome that erupted when Trump walked out. 
Nope. Everybody in that restaurant went crazy when he walked out. It was a gorgeous thing. So I guess it left somehow. Thanks, Buffalo Wild Wings figured out how to pump cheers and. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was fake. Every bit of it. Look, you sound yep. as sleepy as we feel. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's it. I didn't know. I didn't. Man, know. I, I was so mad at myself. Morning, I tell you, I, I was just so mad at myself when I looked at the clock when I was sitting in the bed. I'm like, I just looked at it and I said, Rick, I really hmm. can't believe you didn't bail when I did. About eight to nine minutes in the fourth, it was over. Well, it's one of those things that I knew I needed to. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I don't but know you why. Just, you I, just I, it's almost like I felt happen. like I wasn't. It would be. A, it would be. I would betray. I know. Anything about me that's football. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? I agree. It was in my office yesterday. I ha- I, ha- I was holding my wallet. Before we went to BWW? Oh, that's right. You be the one of y'all have it. Hey, you put it in the No, door. I wouldn't do that. Uh, yeah. I don't play those I games. wouldn't do that yeah, either. Y'all don't mess with wallet. I don't get your keys. I will for I don't a minute, get your wallet, I, and I don't get your phone. And I, I accidentally took Houndsy's keys one time, and if I, I really literally forgot about it, I was going to give them back. Uh, all the way up and down, you didn't have those, and they were in your pocket then. time. That was my. That was the first sign I knew I slipped uh, Austin <laughs> and Southside. Austin, go ahead. Good morning, guys. Hey. I got, I got something to tell Speedy about his wallet. But first of all, I hadn't talked to y'all since last decade. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, I'm sorry, Greg. That's, That's a good as bad one, as it gets right there. That's a good one. A little stuffy in here. <laughs> Happy New Year, Greg. Um, hey, thank you, pal. But uh, Speedy losing his wallet. It's a good thing he bought that card of cigarettes yesterday morning. <laughs> there, I, I, look, I hope you have I, diarrhea look, today. <laughs> look, so I'm, I'm not clear. Jump Speedy, cigarette. Speedy does not smoke. He does not now. But now he is yeah. while he's yeah. driving yeah. and he can't. Especially pull over. during the week. Do you think? Sorry, think about Austin. yesterday when the sales manager and carpool line. You can't. Don't know what to do. <laughs> and nowhere to go. The sales with the sales manager yesterday. You know, it was a big day for you because somebody else was buying our lunch. Did you, were you hiding it from her, maybe, and it's where you hid it? Yeah, maybe you had it like under Guys, the menu so mm-hmm. nobody could see it. She bought everybody's lunch. Where do you right, normally put it when you lose it? But wouldn't you not take it in just in case you didn't? No, really. Mm-hmm. You don't carry your wallet with you? Most well, of the, I, I yeah, know most that, time, yeah. but I'm talking about. Buddy. Uh, no, I'm, I'm trying to narrow it down for yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate I'm you. I got the old combo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. Go to where it would be the furthest place away from you by paying for something. Mm-hmm. Did you, it's probably Do there. you remember at home seeing it? You. Last night, at home, he's trying to help you. He's not. No, I, 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 I know it's really hard to tell, really but he really, he really was I back really, to help. When was the last time you I used really, it straight? I, really I swear, I'm when y'all were gambling, was that the last time you took? We, it out? we <laughs> went out to we went out to eat uh, after church uh, Sunday. My make goodness, make fun of that. Sunday. You didn't, you didn't make have fun it last night. Else. Make fun of that. You didn't have it. It's only Tuesday. I don't know if you know this. Yeah, but still. But I'm just saying. Well, yesterday, yesterday we we came to the show. I didn't need gas. I didn't stop anything. After after we had uh, our little client lunch thing, we I went home, did work around the house or whatever. I didn't really need it, you know, and then checked this, this morning because I needed it and it wasn't there. So I'm just trying to go back. But yesterday I remember having to check the insurance card in my wallet in my office ah. before we went. And so it, it's got to be. One of y'all have my wallet. I went to your no, office. No. 20 minutes past the hour, you got the Rick and Bubba Show. Thanks for being with us. 866, we be big as the number. Excited to be on the road again this weekend. Uh, be at Olive Baptist Church, Pensacola, Florida. Uh, looking forward to seeing all of you there. 9.30 and 11 a.m. local time services. Um, I'll have the honor of speaking at both services. So uh, Sherry will be joining me for the weekend. Uh, as we'll spend some time there in Pensacola. Uh, we'll have her book available and also the How to Be a Man devotionals available there as well. And uh, don't forget that it's supposed to happen this weekend. If not, it'll certainly be the first few days of next week. Uh, Sherry, uh, my wife's book, uh, Bronner, A Journey to Understand, will be available in audio form with her reading the book uh, on audible.com, iTunes, and the other places you get uh, audio books. Should be there this weekend. Uh, if not, it will be the first few days of next week. It'll be there. Uh, there's only so much control you have over that once it's out there you're kind of at their mercy when it actually publishes and is ready but they say it should be this weekend uh so let's go to uh pete in alabama oh pistol pete standing by bubs how about it pete hey pete how you doing buddy welcome hey, to the program i'm thank you i'm just here to confirm to all the non-believers 35 years of living in lily in alabama i cross over into pensacola across burrito bay <laughs> Six minutes now past the hour, Rick and Bubba Show. Thanks for being with us today.
Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here and ready for a brand new hour. Amnesia wise. Somebody say I'm bad. Yeah, I'm bad. Amnesia wise. Welcome back, Bill Bubba Bussy. Rick, glad to be here. Thank all of you for joining us, and thanks for your support over three decades. Good night. That even sounds strange to say. <laughs> I'm about to step on some uncomfortable ground here, uh, and I think you guys probably keep a better record on this than I do. Okay, I'm going to say this, and if y'all say, Rick, you've got them backwards, stop me. Happy birthday, Brooks Burgess, today. Not happy anniversary, Sherry, right? Yeah, uh, I have I have oh, Brooks' I birthday. On, okay, because Brooks was born on the seventh, and Sherry and I were married on the tenth. Sounds it's not, good. It's not the other way around, right? No, I have right. that right because I've even put a happy birthday to him. Then I realized yeah, yeah. you remember the time I got Sherry the ring that had yes. Brooks', Brooks birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and she was that. like, "Why is well, Bro tried, Why is Brooks' birthday on my ring?" I said, mm -hmm. "That's not his birthday. That's our anniversary." She goes, "No, oh, really? no, it isn't." Mm -hmm. Um, but anyway, so, uh, today, uh, Brooks, Big Love Burgess turns 25, Two five. 25. 25 years old. How about That's that? Crazy. And, uh, Two man, five. you know, just, uh, so proud of him. I mean, uh, you know, we talked about it before he, his nickname was earned when he hugged, uh, uh <laughs> remember that Caitlin, now? Caitlin Bussey, Bubba's daughter, right through a table and broke it while we were visiting some, uh, some friends who invited. Luckily him. no one was hurt. Both families <laughs> over. He was. A, he he was came a big, in hard on his hug. He was a big toddler, yeah. but he went on to be. You know, the thing that I, I love the most about him, and I remember. You know, we think about all the compliments, and you know, as parents, we love to hear good things. But I, I remember uh, a teacher with with tears in her eyes uh, when he was in school, telling me. She said, "You know, we had a we had a student come here that uh, nobody knew and nobody would sit with at the lunchroom and, and Brooks got up, got his stuff and went over and sat down with that student and just know that's, that's the kind of kid he is. Mm -hmm. He's, he always looks for those that maybe feel like they're on the outside or, 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 you know, if he sees somebody that, you know, he's always had that and that awareness. And even what he does for a living now is a behavior specialist for special needs kids and always felt a call to that and always volunteered for that at our church. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, you know, I, sometimes you look and you go, "Gosh, I, I, I see that 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 has to be a call in your life, no doubt." But uh, that's always been who he is, and and we're very proud of that, and proud of you, son. Yep. So happy birthday today! Happy birthday, Brooke! I'll see you. We're actually going to a wedding this weekend. Uh, his uh, college roommate and uh, what's eating Scott Garofsky's son, Drew Garofsky, gets married this weekend in Meridian, Mississippi. How home, about that? Home in ninety-seven nine. So, uh, like so we'll, we'll all be headed to that this weekend. So, happy birthday, son. Happy now, birthday, 25. Yeah, and Brooks becoming an expert on moving apartments because of some, yes, uh, yes, cold weather. Yes, he yes. knows how to deal he with water in an apartment. If you, yeah. want, if you want anybody, as, as the guys have just said, to be an expert on uh, the apartment complex, t pipes burst, <laughs> yeah. you're in an Arctic blast, and you have to move. Yeah. He he can he can do he, he's, he's he has already moved twice. Uh, so anyway, I don't even know where he lives. It's now. gonna be a yearly <laughs> thing. He's moved he's moved again. I have yeah. never seen this before. Yeah, Rick, it's a bunch where he lives at. They can't handle this this they, water pipe. They thing. cannot yeah. handle the water pipe stuff. I mean, you kind of know generally where he lives, right? Yeah. I mean, you know the apartment complex. Yeah, I just don't, not, just to know which one. Yeah. 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 Which one's not not yeah. flooded? About the time I get accustomed to where to park and where the apartment is, and we're visiting, he moves to another. <laughs> yeah. um, so I, I do have another update. So I've got that right. So birthday today, anniversary Saturday. Um, so I got a text yesterday that I want all of you to know there's no need to panic. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to handle this right. Got an unprompted text yesterday from David Pollock. Oh, oh Rick. Oh, Rick. Easy. Hey, uh, easy. Hey. Unprompted. You got, go Rick. you got a, <laughs> you got a governor on this? <sighs> And, Pull back, uh, Biscuit. Don't go for the sprint. <laughs> I thought I may have <laughs> trashed the budding friendship when I spilt coffee all over him. Oh, I'll, yeah, that's not a great way to start it. At the men's conference and on the leather couch. You talking about why you're being animated? Yeah. And uh, <laughs> why, why, you're talking about why I'm trying to own the room? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. so, so David Pollock will lock me. Uh, so maybe we do have plenty of awkward moments for people. Uh, sure. But anyway, so um, I will just um, – I, the text came unprompted. I don't even recall giving him my number. I'm sure I did because I'll be eager. Uh, so um, he said, um, 
awesome to meet you. Uh, enjoyed being at the conference. I even am okay with you knocking coffee all over me. He oh, literally said, he said okay, that. He said okay, that. Okay. okay, that helps. Yeah, it does help. He said, I can't thank you enough for those stains. Are you making this up or no, are you reading it? There is okay. You're trying to make yourself feel better. <laughs> you've you've developed an it. alter ego. Yeah. So the, the bottom line is, and this is where we have danger. Uh-oh. The bottom line is he does a podcast. That's what he does. Yes, sir. Right. And I, he has honored me with a request to be on it to talk about, you know, the, the, the man church and all that because it's about, you know, your family and, and uh, uh, life and, you know, it's, it's, got a, it's got a spiritual element to it. And um, so I just said that would be great. And maybe I was a little quick. I quickly pivoted for mm-hmm. you, Speedy, yeah. and you, Bubba, to him being on with us. Right. Because I thought, well, the door's open now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Quick, but yeah. yeah. And um, I don't think he really understands when the show's on. Uh, and he says, so see if I have this right. He, he puts in, like I'm in, exclamation point, after the show, shoot me a text, and we'll set a time and date. At this point, I don't, is he responding to me wanting to be on? Uh, so I said. It sounds like he's in. So I said, <clears throat> let me know when you guys record, and I'll try to work it out. Could you do our podcast? And then I give him the day and the time, mm-hmm. and I told him when we record. Mm-hmm. And he put on the calendar, exclamation point, let's do it, exclamation point. But then this is where it kind of goes. Which which calendar are we talking, his or yours? Well, listen, mm-hmm. then he says, what about tomorrow morning for yours? You open? What does that mean? Like, you, you, could you come on with, I, like with your interview with me, could you come on tomorrow morning? Oh, I think you're right. So and, then I put back, we're on the air from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Central Time, Monday through Friday live. And I told him I have the Bible study noon to one on Wednesdays. And then I, I throw out an option of what times would work for me and nothing. Oh. So. Oh, he's done with you, Rick. Yeah. Oh, um, no, that was he it. He said, well, if you had your chance. I didn't, I didn't, that coffee, I gave you a chance. You put. <laughs> I don't feel like I came in too hot right no, now. No, 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 no. That's Maybe back and forth. Enough. That's yeah. back and forth. Here's what I'll but do. But this doesn't help. Look, an unprompted text. I mean, that's <laughs> like throwing the corn on the ground and there's a bunch of hens. <laughs> I mean, a bunch of chickens around. I mean, an unprompted text. That I feel like I now have just yeah. wide open. <clears throat> I mean, did you do the this, Central Eastern Time thing? Yeah, I did. Okay, this is where I literally. Where's he at? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I have him over in Eastern Time for some reason. Yep. Well, well, probably um, to, me, from Georgia. To, to me, he's always in Athens. Right. But I mean, I know, right. that, that doesn't necessarily. I mean, people right. do move away from where they went to college. They do. Yeah. yeah. So my question <laughs> to you is: you Notice right now, I haven't pivoted to. Do you like to fish? I haven't pivoted to try to make a friendship. Right. I'm keeping it pretty business right now. Yep. But. He didn't respond to, to – do I need to – do I text him today? Ooh. Here's what I would like. Is that like. too quick? Do I look too eager? I would say, hey, hey, I got you down for the 15th at 1030 Central, 1130 Eastern. Here's the Zoom link. We look forward to having you on. I mean, you're going to give me the Zoom link? Yeah. And, I'm, and then I'm going to shoot it. Yes. Should and, I put and then, and then you just copy and what paste it. What do you think it. about here, Speedy? Oh, now you can do that. Right. But I'm just trying to solidify that. I, I just feels like that's a little forward for me to send the Zoom link. I okay. mean, is that, is that, is maybe you say, hey, do you mind? You know I mean? Do you we, mind we, if we, my we producer reaches had, out? We haven't even had lunch or anything. You don't want to be, a, you know, you don't want to assume. Yeah, and also, I'm throwing some Zoom link. Does that seem a little forward? Yeah, I, I mean, well, well, I mean, it's we just show well, you did booking right. for the 15. Well, I know, but all right. So, uh, tell how about this? To, tell him to clarify. Are you going to go throw coffee on? <laughs> <laughs> Get it right, or are you doused? Hey, my hey, my producer will 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 send you the Zoom link. You mind if I share his info? Your info. How about that? And I need to focus on the. We need to get him on here, not establishing a friendship and hanging out. Yes. Right, because getting him on here is establishing a friendship. Because that'll be another step. And then he becomes more in the loop. Right. Family Goals Podcast is the the name of it, it looks like. And it looks like he's with uh, his pastor on the podcast of Greystone Church, which is in in the Athens area. He puts a lot of that, um, some snippets on his Instagram post a lot from that podcast. The fact that he, I shouldn't read Podcast this is where I don't want to get hurt. And y'all know I've been hurt in the past. <laughs> it's possible that he's like us and is constantly looking for ideas for the podcast. Yeah. And it really isn't, hey, I dig. He thought to himself. Rick, that, you that, don't that, have to go this day. He'd be like, hey, that, that, that'd be a good guest. Uh, you know, and see, I'm thinking it's more like, man, he really, he really liked me. <laughs> And I need to be careful here because I, I, I could get hurt. It's I could, close. Rick, I, I would say both. our assumption in the past that somebody really likes us <laughs> has been, you know, if we just if proceed we just, with caution, <laughs> if we just score the outcomes of that, right? We're not doing real well. I know. Uh, and I don't want to make that mistake again, Bubba. I'm glad it's not a driving test because we'd all be walking. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I think I'm just going I'm I, I think I I think I'm going to connect you with him. So I just want to solidify next. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to stop even talking about me being on the win. Okay, yeah. yeah. Cuz we need closure on that. All right, we'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. There's a big foot out there. Three sightings in 35 years. Prince Cole area from Bower Road was one. Down there by the state park, the second and the third, all the woods way to back to first sighting, close to Mobile Highway when it was more wooded. He's very elusive. All the sightings were very violent. He has got a nope. blood-curdling growl. Right, okay. Let me let me ask you this. Hams gave you a timeout. We're, uh, we're not trolling. Though. Pete, okay. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, you so. scared me because Bubba looked yeah. at me like, are you going to throw uh, it? And sure. I saw your hand on <laughs> no, a button, so I was, thought, oh, God. It was just a normal phone segment. Trust <laughs> me, when I saw Pete's topic, I wasn't trolling. <laughs> so, <laughs> Pete, you, you said you said all three, all three episodes were violent. Was that the term you used? Absolutely. Now, what do you mean by that? Uh... The, the blood curdling – okay, the, the, I ran out of fuel once on Bower Road, me and my wife. I had a broken leg. My wife was at that time, who I had three of my children, when she was 350 pounds. Ooh. And I no was wonder big folks coming in. Years. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, the, she had a crutch and I had a crutch, and we kept swinging at it. That was a young male, I'm sure. He was the wait a minute. of them all. Time so uh, you, <laughs> wait a minute. you and your wife had a, a wow. physical altercation with a young Bigfoot. A young male? Yes, on Bower Road. Yeah, we ran out of fuel in a 77 Olds Delta 88. And we lived on Viking at the time, which is details, down there. Details, off. details, details. All right, Pete, let, yeah, me, yeah. let me walk with you again. Stay with me, okay, because it's our problem. I'm you're you're not the problem. We yeah, are. we're trying to follow all and right. digest all this information. You're telling us that in an incident, you and your wife, you had a broken leg. Your wife was at the time three fifty. She also had a crutch, uh, and that then when you ran out of fuel, you were trying to do something about the fuel, and then you encountered more than one Bigfoot, but one of them, no, the one, one, one big, no, only one Bigfoot, and and this Bigfoot, Bigfoot we w- encountered on. Bower Road was a young male. And you think it's a young male because? He was young. Okay, he didn't have the the, the last Bigfoot I've seen had had tits like a dog. It was a female. There was no doubt about it. <laughs> you okay. got me. Unbelievable. I don't think and, uh, you can say that. No, but yeah, who cares? Yeah. Okay, had, 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 well, had breasts like a dog. How about that? Yeah, that's better. That's better. I don't know why okay. it's better, but it is. And, what it, size, it, it came all the way up to us. She took one of my crutches, my wife did, and helped me swinging the crutch, both of us, at the male, the juvenile Bigfoot. Stop again. Who was helping you swing at the young juvenile? A female Bigfoot was helping? No, his wife. No, Big Mom. No, my wife. Who's I had a broken you? leg. My wife, she was swinging one of the crutches. I got you. I okay, I so had, the female Bigfoot a, was a, a completely different day, different encounter. Yeah, I had three encounters in 35 years. Okay, I like, I'd that like to stick on, on y'all slinging this crutch. All right, so yeah. when you, Let's, when you, when is you this swung, encounter one? This, in, this is young male. Okay. Okay. All right, this is this not is female who, who has breasts like a dog. All right, let, let's talk about this. <laughs> so the male, when you started swinging the crutches, his reaction was what? Just to back up and to keep coming back. And screaming at us. Screaming. Can you describe the scream? Thank you. You you were on the side of the road because you ran out of gas. I have never in my life heard anything like this. This screaming. It was a horrible screech. Can you can you try to the most blood curdling growl I've ever heard? Well, isn't that the case? All right, let's let's go back to this. Can you try to give us something that sounds like it, and then I'll give you some (laughs) choice. Say it again. (laughs) Do it again. One more time. Wow. Okay, yes. so there's a little bit of a little bit of mule in there. It sounds like <laughs> right, but 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 much more severe. One more time, I want to listen. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I think you got attacked by a jackass. Well, they said you ever know Listen, when you when you were on, Can anybody find you me ran that out of gas. The hunter you you ran out of gas. Oh yeah, oh, Rick. Geez. And you we were on the side of the road, and he came we, and he came out of the bushes, or what? Well, we we were on ninety eight and Lily, and she Here lived in Cole over there, pretty Key. Okay. She's not, not important. It. So we, we turned that. right. We turned right at Tom Thumb, and we was going to try to make it to the next one. We ran out. We didn't get far <laughs> past the first one, mm-hmm. so we started walking down Bower Road. We got about 
a third of the way down. So you're and walking. Then that's when he came out. Okay, I got you. Yeah, we're walking, and I got a broken foot. I'm walking on crutches. Understood. Right, right, right. She's big. We got the crutch thing. Comes, so you've got crutches, and comes your wife out has of the crutches. Right hand side, and begins to try to come towards wow. from the out of the woods. From the woods. Yeah, first he like kind of stays out in the woods and walks mm-hmm. along with us and lets us know he's there, and then he says, "Heck with it, I'm coming in." Twenty-two minutes past the hour of the Rick and Bubba show. Grew up tall and she grew up right with them Indiana boys on them Indiana nights, yeah. All right. It's got to be wacky world here. Uh, Look around the wacky. Bubba, 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 I think the kickoff hour skimmed this story, no pun intended, uh, but we uh, we will now um, jump, um, well, uh, we're going to go deeper in the story. Uh, we have an eyewitness. Really hard to describe. Yeah, well, we have an eyewitness on this one. Uh, yesterday when I kept scrolling my text to see if David Pollock could text me back, um, <laughs> I, I noticed that I got a text from an unnamed friend that sent me an eyewitness to this event. Mm-hmm. Rick, I don't know what it is with the naked people on the loose in our area. Lately. A lot of naked people. Uh, I mean, we've had, uh, seems like a lot of these lately. Yeah. We've had them jumping in tanks at uh, Bass Pro. We've yep. had this, that. Yep. So we had a, a Mountain Brook man right. hospitalized yep. after he was spotted running naked in the Crestline community and then apparently hit by a car. Now, Bubba, I have exactly how it went. Mm, that's by, a bad from, because you, you have an eyewitness to this. An right? eyewitness to this. Now, the if if you if you're not in the loop, what makes this story even <clears throat> even wackier is there's parts of town where a naked man standing on the side of the road might not surprise you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good point. And then there's parts of town where you're like, well, we would never see a naked man on the side of the road here. Mm-hmm. And Mountain Brook is the latter. Yeah, yes. uh, it's a wealthy part of town. It's old money. You've heard us reference it oh, before. Yeah. The people that live there are called brookies. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're you know probably they're, they're famous for their drive-by snubbings. Yeah, that's the only <laughs> crime they ever ever commit. Um, it's usually if you're working in law enforcement, being in Mountain Brook is there's not a lot going on. Right. But apparently, <clears throat> uh, drugs have made their way to Mountain Brook because this is the eyewitness. Now, this doesn't mean that's what's going to be the case. This is just what he describes. This person encountered the naked man in Mountain Brook, a very bougie part of town. Mm-hmm. Okay, completely naked. Completely naked. Here it is. This is the actual guy giving the play-by-play to my friend, who must be his friend. Okay, I'm not friends with this guy. I'm <clears throat> friends with the guy he sent it to. Got it. Who then you know, sent like it to me, guy? and he sent it to me with the text titled "Radio Go." Oh. Okay. All right. He said, I was driving down, I can't pronounce the street there in Mount Brook, and as I approached right before the intersection of the street I can't pronounce in Fairmont, I slowed down because I saw a man, and he was standing on the sidewalk naked, like a statue. Naked. And then he started dancing and slow jog. I tooted my horn and rolled my window down and said, sir, are you okay? He started screaming. how you're naked. Right. He started <laughs> screaming and running toward my passenger door oh. trying to get in the car. Oh, oh no. You really? were trying to help and look what happened. I kept driving and he kind of rolled into my car, but I didn't hit him head on. Then I stopped to call 911. So he bounced off his car. Yeah, get out of my car and he was laid out on the sidewalk slash road. I was looking for something in my car to cover his privates. Oh, mm. wow. That's nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Details. Yeah. It's not every day you say that. Uh, yeah. It makes me think now I got a towel. this may have been a female. What is a crib skirt? That's, isn't that the uh, the thing that hangs down around a the crib? crib? Yeah, yeah, it goes around it, the crib. like a little yeah. drape. Like a, like okay. a bed skirt. Yeah. Oh, but a crib yeah. version. The, the person said all they had was a crib skirt. Well, Interesting. Don't ruin your crib skirt. A man behind me stopped and he draped it over him. I was still on the phone with 911 describing him and injuries. He gets up and starts screaming at me and chasing me. 
And the and the person Where'd says, the skirt go? And then the person puts that. Well, it's it's down now. Says full sprint. Full sprint. Full sprint after me. So apparently he's no, okay. He's been laid out yeah. up to this point. Yeah. I thought he was going to tackle me, steal my car. I ran screaming with 911 on the phone. He looked like he had meth eyes. Ooh. Oh, no. Or realtor eyes. Yeah. Greg. Crazy eyes. He, thank God, <laughs> ran around me, but unfortunately for him, straight into an incoming car. Ooh. And was hit. Oh. Flew into the air. Oh, wow. Naked. All this naked. Uh, all, naked. All mm-hmm. naked. Mm-hmm. 911 mm-hmm. remained on the phone with me just until it seemed like every cop in the area arrived on the scene. They want me to pot, to consider pressing harassment charges or something else. Did not know him, but oddly looked, pr- looked completely normal other than those meth eyes. Good oh, gracious. No. What a detail. Speedy, you know how you love to come up on scenes <laughs> like that and yeah. rescue. You love some strong word. Yeah, I know. Right. Uh, Laying there and naked, just got piled up by a car. Do you assist or you step back? Great question. Boy, I, I don't know about that one. I, I mean. Maybe you just stand by and like speed. wave. Maybe, maybe, from, maybe from a distance. Yeah. You all right, keep, man? Keep the other track yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. You good? I just yeah. can't picture you on a knee beside him. No, no. Because, I mean, you think yeah, about yeah. there's a naked man. Would you put the crib skirt on him? If, yeah, if, I, I would. If, if, he's bleeding, if he's bleeding, you try to stop the bleeding. Of course. Mm. Yeah, you know. Of course. Nah. The kind of where is I just don't. Where is he bleeding? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like just, on his arm. I just got to. Yeah, you, you, just... you take the crib skirt and apply pressure. Because I got to tell you something. If he's injured, Kilroy, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You right. Got, you got to wait on the medical team. Really need that skirt because uh, I can't uh, focus if it's not. not. Well, <clears throat> I, and I got uh, this is a you know what question, I mean? but we're oh, all yes. this is a question, but we're all thinking it. Do you buy a new crib skirt? No way you. Use oh it. yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Child. Yeah, go ahead and keep that. Yeah, yeah that, that, that that's going, his now. He can either keep it or we're throwing it away. That There's belongs no, to him. Make now. a right, right. out of it. Yeah. There's fine. no washing machine. That's Do you go that. as far as to deal with filing charges? No. Oh, nah. nah. Did so? It was the attempt was to get in the car, but he was not successful. Correct. correct. Okay. Well, usually though, obviously something needs to be done with this. Someone will have to probably file charges. Well, he'll get charged for being just naked running around. Yeah, that's a charge right there. Hey, I'm naked running around, and obviously it looks but, like he's on drugs. Of but some you kind. know, nowadays naked running around—that's they're not well, even going to keep you twenty oh, minutes. No, on that. no, that's true. he's out that's in an hour. Shocking, is that's true? To be. They won't even get a good picture. No, now you're right. Right. Yeah. especially in New York. Yep. Yeah. I wonder if he was headed to like Saw's Juke Joint or something in that hey, area. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey that. Taylor doesn't want that. I wonder if Taylor Hicks saw him. He's playing his <laughs> harmonica at Saw's Juke Joint. Got naked guy ran by. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you look when you when, when you if he ends up being on drugs and obviously his eyes look wild, hmm. you open yourself up to these demonic forces and for and for some reason they've been doing it all throughout since the fall of mankind. They'll strip you naked in a second. Naked's usually part of it. The uh, demonic forces, you'll, you'll yeah, be naked. What's yeah. their deal with clothes? Uh, it kind of goes back to the original shame of the garden. Really? Yeah, it does. Remember, as soon as sin entered, they 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 didn't they noticed they were naked and began to cover themselves. This is ripping you right back before God in that shameful state. Mm. Bottom mm. of the hour, phone calls are next. 866-WE-BE-BIG. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Did he come hey, out with a with, the Did he come out with a roar or did he come out silent? Silently. Just being real silent out there was pacing us. I got you. And when and, he attacked what, what time of day was this, Pete? Late at night, like three in the morning. Mm, okay. No pardon. So Pete, would you ever consider yourself a master herbalist? I don't consider myself anything but an honest Christian. Amen. Has, All right, listen to this. Just trying to tell people the truth. Well, you are. Pete, listen to this sound wow. and tell me if this sounds familiar or no, this is something different. Okay, listen closely to your phone. I take that as a no. Can you hear that, Pete? I can't hear anything. Listen, listen right here. Oh, it's louder. It is hard to hear. Ooh, that's scary. You that's going to that? be hard it's down too, the phone to hear. It's, it's, it's too faint. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, we, I thought we had one that was louder. One I time. did. I thought yeah. the one we did was yeah. louder. Sorry, Pete. We, we just have enough volume there. But it was it was a hunter that said he recorded some sounds <clears> in the woods, and I was wondering if you could tie it to the same Bigfoot sound. Then we would know maybe that's what he's experiencing as well. Um, so you saw – we're almost out of time. You saw this young – and he that finally – first encounter. He finally mm-hmm. went away. Why? Just got tired of fighting y'all in the crutch? The crutch just was too much. Okay. 
We were swinging that thing. We were trying to take his head off. Understood. Female? We, what, we what? were scared to death. The female attacked you or, or just watched you? Okay, the female, I was in a 71 Lincoln Continental Mark III Park. Me and my wife got into a fight. She kicked me out. I went to sleep in the back seat, and that's when she approached with the growls and having a fit. Try, she actually tried to get into the vehicle. Wow. I jumped out of the back seat from underneath my sheet. I looked to the right, saw the breast. It was definitely a Bigfoot shaking a 71 Lincoln like it was a toy, mm -hmm. growling, this blood-curdling growl. I backed it up, snapped seven pine trees with that coach of a car, mm -hmm. flattened them, got out of there. I never went back. All right, do you, was, and there's a third uh, encounter, and we're we're up against the break. Can you tell us about it when we come back? I can. All right, so third encounter, third encounter, male or female? The big male. Oh, good. Okay. Don't okay. tell us how you know. Yeah, that. we don't know. We don't need too many details. <laughs> yeah. 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 Try not to make any animal connotations with that one. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. All right, we're back. Pete, I think we got to call him. I know we had a podcast about Bigfoot, but could this be Bigfoot Pete? Uh, to update you, if you just joined us, Pete said in, his, in 35 years, he's had not one, not two, but three encounters with a live Bigfoot one, he was. Uh, they ran out of gas. He and his wife were trying to get to where fuel was located, and what he describes as a young male uh, followed them in the wood line, stepped out, went after them. They were able to fend him off with crutches. Then, secondly, another encounter where he and his wife uh, had an argument that led to him sleeping in the back seat of their 71 uh, large automobile, and a female came up on the car, shook it violently, uh, and he hightailed it out of there, knocking over saplings with the large automobile. And then he said the third one would involve a large male, and that's where we are now. Does anybody disagree that I've updated no, us? I think you got it. All right, so, um, so Pete, so tell us, uh, do you like the term primate Pete versus Bigfoot Pete? Uh, no, I like no, Bigfoot. This, I think I like you got to go Bigfoot. Okay. Definitely Bigfoot. Okay, so now the third encounter, what happened? My mother went juking with a friend of hers, and I got stuck babysitting. I get to this house. I notice all the windows are open. Thank goodness I had an unction, just a feeling. Lock all the windows. Mm -hmm. And it just kept over and over with me. Lock the windows. It just kept bothering me. And sure enough, every window in that house was unlocked. The kids were even going in and out the windows while I was locking them. Mm -hmm. So I lock all the windows. And after a while, I went ahead and got the – the woman had three little girls. I mm -hmm. put all the little girls to sleep. Later, I'm in the master bedroom. There's nothing – I'm so bored to death. I'm playing with the old kit of the build a log cabin out of the wooden blocks. <laughs> when suddenly I feel Making like logs. something is wrong, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. there's something's looking at me or just something weird. So I turn around and I look, and there at the window, staring in the window – is the big male, the humongous gorilla head with the big square chiclet horse teeth, the gargantual eyes, the biggest head I have ever seen. And here he was staring in there into the room, this Godzilla-sized gorilla head. God All right, so uh, it's phone troll time. You, you hear the phone troll music. Phone troll, a little different, a little different operation. Uh, Going to get a lot of people in here in a short amount of time. 866-WE-BE-BIG is the number. At the end of 30 seconds, the buzzer will sound. Your time on the program will be uh, done. Uh, Bubba's got a couple of timeouts he can use, a speedy screening call, so he'll take Speedy's timeout as well. So he has two, uh, but uh, don't count on that because he's only got a couple and he's got to use those sparingly. If you want to get in right now, you can. Uh, speaking of Speedy, we did find out uh, in the break uh, that Speedy has spilled his breakfast all over the floor. Wow. Uh, an ugly scene uh, out there in the common area. Bubba, please look at that. Wow. That's, an, that's an ugly oh, scene. Oh, it looks worse in person. Right. Is that his office? Oh, yeah. that looks, no, it looks way worse. It's a lot of person. eggs on the ground. I, I, I don't like my first thought. When eggs you, when you told ground, me that's in his office, I, I just kind of went, eh. 
I mean, if it's I if know, it's, and I feel I feel bad. You don't have to deal with. Yeah, I feel bad for him, but it really doesn't affect us. But I mean, the it's, picture uh, doesn't. Rick, do we could even shut the door and not have to deal with it. <laughs> Never even see yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, and now, I, this yeah. does bring up something that is really to How me much to even, eat it off floor? even I would, funnier. I would eat it off floor. Speedy goes to his office to eat his breakfast every day. I didn't know that. Yeah, I've never and, really understood and that. He, either. And he has a little stand here, you see, and he eats on that stand. I didn't know this. Standing up during breakfast. I don't eat. I eat my breakfast right there. I cut it up. Okay, well, that's why, why you, you prepare cut it. it up where you eat it. Why do you cut it up on that table? Well, because there's a lot of trash you have a mic in there. Well, I, I, hey, I tell you what, I bet you won't do it no more. Yeah, so so tell us, this is your routine. That, that, that doesn't look like the most stable place to cut. No, it really does. Can you hear me? In yeah. fact, this may okay. be the least. I can't hear you. Um, I, I thought that so was. Yeah, a- I just I, I cut it up in there because there's a lot of trash from. Uh, like where the eggs come in and then the wrapper and stuff, the garbage cans right there. So I normally just cut it in, up, throw it all away, and then come in here and eat. That's and then what happened is well, when right. I was cutting it up, the little styrofoam plate they have, it got top. I guess it, it, it turned over on me somehow, <laughs> and it just all well, got Well, you're eating on a grate. Mm. I have no issue, none whatsoever, of scooping those eggs up and eating them. Rick. I would. Uh, Adler, do you have an extra if, light if, I can run in there and shine to help brighten Speedy up for TV? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Have you got a portable one? I'll go hold it if you want me to. Like, he, he, who's the guy that used to, when Deal or No Deal, they go to the banker on Deal or No Deal. He's That's who he the looks, banker. He looks like the banker. <laughs> the they're banker. trying to decide what kind of yeah. deal they're going to offer him. You know, now what's funny is I love because they can't you can't hear what we're saying in there. What's all you can do is respond back. Uh, and what's funny is like that Speedy didn't know why he was on camera. And he went. Little <laughs> <laughs> wave. Oh, hey, hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> it's good to hear from the banker. Yeah. Uh, hey, what kind of deal are we doing but now, it, banker? It's one of those messes where you don't even know where to start to clean up. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm gonna have to just I guess. Here, watch this. Um, we're gonna we're gonna back, we're gonna some stuff up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. Thank there you. he is. Hey, buddy. Eggs on the ground. Eggs on the ground. Oh, <laughs> look, look, look man. at the banker. Oh, that's, just that's so good. bad. That's just man, so bad. Man, that's good. Dad, go, you can't have anything. Hey, I mean, you can't even have eggs. Uh, it, when it happened, I, it was, I, I, sometimes I'll, I'll talk to my, like, Calvin, what are you doing? You idiot. I gave Slow down. I still don't know why you cut it up in there. I mean, that, that's well, I mean, so I mean, even a bit more. But well, I don't want to make a mess on the counter. I mean, I know that well, y'all kind of do the same thing too on the big table in there. Y'all kind of speedy. I thought it was a good idea. You went to your office and you had your own little I table, it and it great. wasn't in anybody. I, I thought that was a yeah. Cut it up on your I thought dance. that was a yeah, revolutionary I, idea. I, in I agree. Eating. Yeah, I don't eat it in there. I just didn't want to make a mess on the studio counter with cutting everything up. Well, good news, you made a mess in your office. Yeah, I guess so. A real good mess. And you know, and 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 scrambled eggs and carpet it's yeah. awesome yeah yeah that good yeah because yeah. by the time you try to yeah. scoop them it'll smear yeah, yeah. that's great and even like... when you get the vacuum cleaner the wheels oh, grind it in yeah. before oh, it sucks yeah. it up i mean oh, hey you aren't helping uh to the phones this we go a good house dog comes throw, in handy. throw a rug over they'll get rid of it jr in alabama trolling 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 Keep them phone to trolling. here we come phone trolling phone troll jr you got 30 seconds go ahead all right good morning guys uh, Rick, I want to try to help you uh, dissolve, resolve this little dilemma you have with David Pollock. Yes. Just call the man and say, can we sit down to discuss this over a cup of coffee? Oh, uh, that's yeah. oh, oh, say JR. By the way, I have, do you remember the indirect story of David Pollock, that guy that left us and got in his plane and got mad and left us that time down at Dawson's thing? Do you remember that story? They, uh, they, I remember somebody getting mad, and yeah. and what, what was that? What kind of event? I'll tell you. That? I'll tell you more about it. I think I think that may get its own segment today uh, because I, I'd forgotten he was tied to that. He didn't have anything to do with it, but his name got involved in it. I'll tell you about that. One of the weirdest experiences I've had involving people. <laughs> and, I'll take my plane and leave. And you know, people are odd, but that was one of the oddest. It was down to beach somewhere. Right? Yes, correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Patrick Indicator, one hundred point three, the river. Patrick, go ahead. Y'all were talking about ice cream yesterday, and uh, I was going to see if any of y'all had tried the Little Debbie ice cream. Uh, the Little Debbie ice like cream. What, like what Little Debbie's in it? Is it oatmeal pie? Is it uh, or is somebody man, they else? Got, ice they got cream. oatmeal cream pie. They got Nutty Bar. They got Christmas tree cake. And I've tried every one of them, and they're all put them on top of your head. And your tongue will slap your brains out to get to it. Oh now, my God. <laughs> is this a little Debbie product or yeah, is this somebody is. else's no, ice cream? There you go. This is, is little Debbie's. Okay. Wow. They got it all. I think we had some of them. Oh, here so they at have time. their own ice cream. It's not one of the other I ice cream brands cos- using their product? No. I think that cosmic brownie'd be good. 
Okay, thanks, Greg. Nutty Bar. Bubba, of, of those, Ooh, which one would you go cake. for? Nutty all, Bar? Oh, Nutty Bar. No, all day long. Smoke, yeah. Oh, yeah. All day long. Didn't know that existed. Had no idea that existed. That zebra cake might be pretty good. We continue. Uh, let's go to Jack in Tuscaloosa. Jack, go ahead. 30 seconds. Yeah, hey, you guys are so hilarious, and you're very funny. You crack me up so much. I've been a fan for you guys for a very long time. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you very that. Much. That's kind of you to say that. Glenn in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Glenn, go ahead. Hey, going back to your earlier residence about the tower being stolen, we're actually clearing some land for Blake to communication for a new radio tower, and they stole the gate off our entrance the other day. So really? That, I don't know what's going on with the radio tower, stage people, but they're out to get y'all. Now y'all retiring, you can't have nothing. Well, you know what? Since that's their tower, these people might be the ones that stole the show <laughs> off their radio station. Might be. It uh, might be coming over I, here. Look, I, y'all see your resume. I know a guy, so yeah. we can get y'all on over here. How are the Blakeneys doing? Doing very well. Good, Mr. Larry's good. doing well. Uh, to you know. What a great man. Yep. Uh, uh, and uh, and I, I, I still think that when we broke that chandelier that's what caused them to cancel oh yeah they never got past it i don't think i think larry was okay with it i think his wife got upset (laughs) very embarrassed him a little bit (laughs) well we didn't mean to we did we were almost done the show was almost over we um serious business we played southern miss in the fall and we're down there and i ran into somebody in a starbucks and that's the first thing they brought up i know well, you know, well, we wanted to. You can't go back. It was our mean, goal to. I wrote give an article her, about it to give everybody yeah. a memory they never forget. And right. They got it. You talking about Greg? Boy, Davis, did they. Greg, you talking about a gift from Germany? Yeah, yeah to, okay. to that town. Imagine the trip to get it from Germany to Mississippi. Are y'all like me? I want to ask you, Hams, if you experienced it because I get it brought up a lot too. I actually met a guy. I thought it would eventually come up. I didn't know it'd be the first thing they. Right. It was. Mm-hmm. Hey, so you're Helmsy. You're down here with tennis. That's yeah. great. Love the show. Boom. I was like, wow, okay. Remember that so time y'all cut that audience member up with that uh, glass? Memory. Yeah, we remember. Yeah. It was the first boy, thing they went boy, to, Rick. Boy, boy, boy. Had a guy at the men's thing up in Nashville. He he, he nearly got hit by glass. He brought it up. But then, of course, oh, no. I was like, tell me the story. No, uh, was, well, that was another thing. The graduate assistant was with me, and I had to explain the whole thing to her after, and, <laughs> and she couldn't really believe what. Yeah. was going on. Do you like sometimes she, expect it was laughter? Work of art. I was. Expect, I was, and more, they don't give you laughter. Right. They, they give you a little. Like, when I got wrong? to the part about the glass falling there in the is. audience and ripping people's clothes off, because it did, it yeah, ripped yeah, that right guy's, guy's yeah. shirt. If I would have hit um, him like an thanks, I thought don't, almost killed multiple people. It don't really say did. this. It That's really the did. guy that left with more merchandise than anybody there. We gave him all kinds of free stuff. Rick, she never smiled during the entire story. Wow, and it's a tragic tale. And I thought, well, it's supposed to be funny, but I guess hey, it's man, not. Hey, man, crank that thing up a little bit. Famous last words. Yeah. Wonder, yeah. Who, <laughs> wonder who crank said that. Talk about that. Wonder who said that. Wonder who I threw that know. out there. Rick, I didn't like your first shot the way it looked. I'm sorry. It was kind of uneventful. There yeah, it was. I, there I was, well, twisting the knob. Yeah, if y'all wanted eventful, we got it. <laughs> Bubba, when yeah. you twisted those knobs, did <laughs> you think did you think you had twisted it that much? I didn't think did you, you think shoot it, that. I didn't think no, shoot that far I, and that hard. No, you know we tested it before. But the it velocity did, uh, it had. On. Yeah, it didn't even it, it have an very, arc like a Randy Johnson it, fastball. Yeah, it was uh, how it would shoot things out was very dependent on how you packed it in there to okay. begin with. Yeah, because you could kind of have a dud or you could have a rocket. You know, and uh, that that one happened to be a rocket. I'll be yeah. honest, got that one right. The first couple he shot were embarrassing. They were. Greg, you don't have to. Keep was, but Greg goes they back were. to what we, we said earlier. Greg, you know, goes back to what we said earlier. There was a nice in between. There was. We didn't have to go from we from zero to. 100. We didn't have to go to. To <laughs> and, and let me say this: glass missile, I, I know, glass just falling everywhere. I know, maybe I'm, I'm in my mind this, but in my opinion, now y'all can say no, nah, maybe not. I think it was still rising. Ah, uh, yeah, when, I when, it, it went away there. There. when it hit that hit that chandelier, it still had some. There's nuclear subs that were like, "Wow, <laughs> that's well done." <laughs> and when that glass started falling, I thought your body this, language on the video. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just wanted to be and somewhere I jumped, else. I, I don't know why I reacted, but I jumped and ran in because I really did. Well, I thought somebody. Was, well, I was expecting. I was expecting yeah, one of these. I was too. My guys, gut, guys. my gut feeling was to run, and I took a few steps and then realized that I was several hours from home. Right, and it wouldn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, about so, four blocks, yeah. you'd be going. Well, I yeah. had, I remember vividly. I had to go to a lacrosse tournament in Huntsville the next morning, and everybody gathered around asking how the tour start, how, how it went. Well, hey, how was the tour last night in Hattiesburg? And I and and Sherry was like, you might want to give him some time on that one. Yeah. It yeah. didn't go very well for the chandelier. But and you know what I did? That? I just pulled up the story and did my phone like this and showed it to everybody. And everybody said, oh, wow. When well, they wrote an article about it, 
Yeah. You know, on the front page. You're talking about the it, gift from Germany? Yeah, mm-hmm. it was oh, yeah. the it was the first show of the tour. <laughs> it was. And Boy. you know, we hadn't done it before mm-hmm. and it and it all worked out and it was so it was a very good show. And then to have that horrific moment right at the end yeah. and then the relief nobody was hurt and Boy. then the, uh, it was just such a range of emotions. The range of emotions. Yeah, I think the the most uncomfortable part was after when everybody was meeting about it while we were Signing hamming it up with the audience. Signing Signing autographs, including people with cut shirts and blood on them. Y'all, the pieces of glass were so large that fell down. They were. And that antique glass is so thick. I know. Thanks, Adler. Came over on the ship. It was an emotional workout. It was an emotional workout. (laughs) We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Godzilla size. Wow, that's big. Well, I well, I would say Godzilla size. To me, at that time, it it was very enormous. It was as big as a basketball almost. It big. was not quite as big as a basketball, but it was a big have old you, head. Have you ever seen Bubba's head? <laughs> no. Okay. But it I was, was just going to be big. I just doing a comparison. Mm-hmm. It was definitely like a gorilla. Have you ever seen Neil black. Cavuto? Neil Cavuto. Have you ever seen him? Mm-hmm. No, I haven't. No, okay. I'm just looking for a reference point. Me. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm just looking for a reference That's point. That's a big head. It is. Yeah. This, uh, this, I knew this was a – compared to the others, this is definitely a big male. And this, by the way, was the first encounter I ever had. Okay. And start, it just, started with big male, then it went to little male, then to female. What was the order of the appearances? The big male I just told you about in the window. Mm-hmm. The second one was the juvenile, and the third one, the last one, was the female in the car. And you, what did Big Mel do? Did he make a move for you? Did he try to tear the house down? What happened? He didn't do anything but peek it out and saw that the windows were shut and game over, nothing for dinner. Yeah, but he couldn't, couldn't he have just knocked the window Big off as he of, was? Yeah. Yeah. No. As well, strong I mean, they're as a bear? Very, they're, they're, I'm telling you, I don't – They they're, they're sneaky. I'm telling you, they they creep up on you. If, the, if it's good, they'll go. If not, it's a no-go. All right, so That's how I'm feeling them. do you think, because there's there's people that would dream of these encounters that go out and spend their life like Bigfoot Bob no, that, we, that we talked about, do you think there's something about you that draws them to you? No, not at all. Well, you I have to admit that, that I have been fortunate enough to just see what I have seen. You say fortunate? Sometimes, didn't it terrify you? Well, I'm fortunate enough to let the others know the truth. And that's the fortunate part is that somebody can tell you, look, they're real. They're out there, and watch yourself. So that's your message today. They're real. They're out there. So watch, watch yourself. yourself. Yeah, they ain't friendly. They're not. They ain't there. They're not friendly. No, I think they're hungry. And if you ain't careful, you're going to be snack time. Do you? Th- well, we, we've heard, we've heard that. The, so you 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 confirm you think they eat meat? I think they I think they'll eat humans. Now, now Pete. There's, you think one they were trying to, to attack eat? me and my wife? Right. One tried to get in my car, and the other one was coming in for the kids in the window. Add it up. Well, Pete, you, you make a you make a compelling point. <laughs> add it up, Rick. I add it up, and you know what it equals? Mm-hmm. Somebody's hungry, right? Somebody's hungry. Uh, let, me ask, let me ask. Let me ask, Pete. Pete, do you think more have encountered similar situations and just aren't telling anyone? Absolutely, because nobody will believe them. Mm-hmm. I would be crazy. <laughs> To even, I mean, it's kind of stupid for me to even say anything, except I care about people. They need to know the truth. Mm-hmm. Was there a stench? Did you notice a smell on the ones that were that were close enough to you? I, I, I never smelt anything, and I got a pretty good nose. No, <laughs> I think they're a clean animal. I think they're smart. They take care of themselves. Okay, that, we've I think heard smarter we, than we give them credit for. We've heard that they are that they stink. So you disagree with they're that? Definitely elusive. Because no. you think some of these people that are smelling something, it's not Bigfoot, because you were you had three encounters and you had no smell. Unless they're smelling a dead body that rubbed off on them the wrong way. Good Pete, Lord. Pete, let me ask you this. Have you – They're real. Hey, they're it's real. So good. Hey, they're real. Be careful and watch it. And what watch is it? it? Pete, have you have you told people about these encounters before? I'm sure. I have. I try to tell some people about it. I was Not just curious many, as, as to why today you decided to call yeah, and share all yeah, this. Yeah, what prompted today? Well, I've been actually trying to get through to y'all for a while because people need to know. I got you. They're not in Baldwin County. They're in Scambia County. What'd, you, what'd your wife I live for Lillian. Has she been telling anybody about it? 
No. She won't even talk about it anymore. It was one of the most horrific nights of her life. Are y'all both still are y'all still married? We're still friends, very good friends. Is her no, name Peggy? We were together for 14 years. I understood. <laughs> Greg Burgess. Yeah, Greg was wondering if her name was Peggy because he thinks he, he may know y'all. No, her name was Michelle. Oh, okay. oh okay. I know you. Yeah. Wow. All right, well, the grain. but she don't want to talk about it. And some people don't, to Bubba's point. Some people just say, look, I had an encounter, but I'm not bringing it up. Yeah. And uh, Scambia you County. just leave some things alone, you know? Yeah, so what county, county? I need to stay out of what county because I'm going to Pensacola this sun, this weekend. Well, I'll tell you what. This thing can travel anywhere it wants to, all the way from Perito Key, where Publix and Burger King is, mm. is under that big high bridge right there. No. All those woods, all the way to Mobile Highway, and he doesn't have to be on the highway to do it. You just cross over the highways and keep digging through the woods, keep hiking. <laughs> That's what he does. Do you think... Th- Eight minutes to the top of the hour, the Rick and Bubba show celebrating our 30th anniversary. So that has uh, spawned a lot of people, sending us a lot of stuff, and we just did a recap on a story that I think we'd rather forget, but <laughs> um, there, there's a lot of things that have happened. So I think, Bubba, help me with the years. I believe it was 1997. Uh, when uh, the Hammer Mark Bass, uh, you know, Greg and I played in bands um, you know, through, all throughout uh, the 80s. As, uh, as a matter of fact, um, uh, I, you know, we even have analogies of the various bands we were in. You know, uh, of course, you know, it was Mystique, uh, Silent Rain, the only ones Greg participated in. I went on, of course, to sing for Betty's Fear favorite band, the Betty's favorite band, Vindicator. Right. Uh, yeah. uh, and uh, I was with them. And then, of course, Mr. Lucky. Um, and so, um, and then a brief run, just a very brief run with the, of course, uh, band heads up, but anyway, the, um, um, so, so the, the Mr. Lucky thing, you know, the hammer was a master, you know, promoter. He, he was a gorilla promoter. one of the godfathers of gorilla promotion. Mm-hmm. So it had kind of spilled, Love him for that. it had kind of spilled over. I had come from K98 in Oxford, Alabama, where, a club owner there said, hey, didn't you used to be in a band? And I was like, sure. And and they gathered some musicians, John Chevalier, who you saw the other day, got yep. involved in it. Yep. And they kind of built kind of a house band, which was Mr. Lucky. And, hey, you can promote on your show, and then your band can play, hey, win-win, all right. that kind of stuff. Right. Well, so that, that you know, when, when I went to Q104, when you got me there and we were starting to build the show, you know, Hammer got wind that there was some band thing that had taken place, and he, too, <laughs> you know, the promotional wheels begin to turn. And he discovered that we had some original songs uh, back when Greg and I were in Silent Rain and, of course, Mystique. Um, and um, so, and then Ryan Greenwood had some original songs. And, um, and and then this idea came, what if y'all released a CD of original songs? Mm-hmm. And then when y'all, when y'all get in the studio, have Bubba come in and sing, Speedy, y'all, uh, Which y'all, is y'all, y'all, y'all turn it into some Rick and Bubba slash rock and roll thing. Well, we did, and I remember there was a deal. This is going to really harken back to how long ago it was. Blockbuster was still a thing. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Blockbuster at one time did, did movies and CDs, and they said, we will carry it at all Blockbusters in the Rick and Bubba listening area. And that was all of our different markets and stuff. And then y'all go on tour, just like a band, and promote the CD. And so somebody has found an article Mm-hmm. From uh, from uh, and they sent it to us, and in this article, I'm not sure what's up with my hair called Lucky Strikes, and this is the release of the album. Fat they like Chance. to play off Lucky Strikes. Yeah. remember the cigarette? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, everybody's granddaddy smoked up. And so look, here's a picture from backstage at one of the stops on the tour. Uh, there's the late Mark Phillips, Ryan Greenwood, Speedy is holding Taylor Burgess. By the way, it. yeah, that's Taylor good. Burgess in Speedy's arms. <laughs> yeah, I can't even tell. I see yep. him, right. little Lud. Right, and then there's Bubba and me, and then Greg. I don't know what's going on with you. I there. think the shadow, because mm-hmm. my hair didn't look like. Is that your hands Greg. in a socket, man? Yeah, because yeah, I think it's a shadow. I don't remember that hair, dude. I don't either. That's what I'm saying. Look at Bob Ricks. It says it's a shadow. Let me try to find a higher res picture of that uh, of that picture <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want it. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. But but what's <laughs> what's really gold on Stand what this by. on what this listener sent us is the article. 
Yeah. That's funny. Guys, I read the article and I couldn't believe what I was reading. <laughs> oh, Do you realize that the title of the article article was asking us, yes, yes is going to own you, how we're handling our success. Yeah. <laughs> we're going, well, that's hard of, of the album sales and the tour. <laughs> <laughs> And blockbuster, <laughs> and and um, and 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 apparently in this article, Greg, it's when you have finally made the decision that you will join the yeah, band. Yeah, I remember that. And because Sam McDonald, who was the first bass player, said this thing's getting more I, than I want. I, yeah. I got a business to run, <clears throat> and it's that's actually in the article. But um, do but, members yeah. of Mr. Lucky take their success for granted? <laughs> bad, <laughs> chance. bad chance. Uh. It, this is that. hilarious to read the yes. article. Yes. And uh, so I thank you. I, I can't remember the listener's name that sent that to us. I mean, it, it looks Patrick like it's Campbell. right out Patrick of Radio Campbell. and Records. Yeah. yeah. Patrick hilarious. Campbell. Thank you, Patrick. Yeah. But um, but I wow. want you. It, it's, look at Look that. where it says Greg uh, is it's about is replacing Sam McDonald. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he, he will now join the rest of the tour. That's what I love. And yeah. we did play uh, a number of markets. Now, there's one. Can, can we just throw out to the audience because they know more about our history than we do? By the way, um, so one of the lineups was that we played the varsity in Tuscaloosa, and none of us can remember that. Did we get canceled? Now, if that would have been the 80s and we played somewhere, we wouldn't remember it. That's not shocking. That's different. But in this particular yeah. situation, because we, we should remember. Yeah, we were, everybody was sober. Varsity. You know, we, we weren't we, playing bars. Yeah, we were playing theaters and places, but I don't remember playing Tuscaloosa at the varsity. Do you? Mm -mm. Did that happen? I don't remember. Maybe it was maybe it was booked. We, we, did, on we did a lot of things in Tuscaloosa. Yeah, because right. one of our first affiliates were there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I, I remember, I remember hosting. Uh, was it Molly Hatchet? The, yes. Oh, is that nice. where that was? Molly, was that where that was? And I remember that. after it was over, me and you were watching them from up top, like where yes. the spotlight. Now that I were. remember. Uh, did we do something before that? I don't know. Hmm. But anyway, uh, I can remember most of the stuff. It's on the list, but I don't remember that. Yeah. But I don't we, think you know what? If it's in the paper, it happened. Yeah. I'm good with it. Uh, uh, but so. but that, you know, I was, when I first saw that, I was just going to say, well, here's another picture I can give Adler and I can post because Bubba and I both are posting a lot of your old memories and stuff. And I thought, well, that'd be a good one to post. And then all of a sudden I realized, wait a minute, I can see the article. Mm -hmm. And I started reading the article and I, I was laughing yeah, my head off. Yeah, it was. It's funny. Yeah. So, uh, so I anyway. Can't, I can't find the high res picture of everybody, but here's, here's Greg. Oh, okay. See, it's, it's a shadow. Yeah. Still ain't great. At least <laughs> Greg, I have you're on top. Baby. Greg, you got, Greg, you yeah. got one eye kind of kicked off. Yeah. There. A little, baby, a little rusty. Huh? I have no facial hair. Bubba still has the uh, New That's Jersey young, housewife man, mustache. mustache. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it must have been early CPAP days or before the CPAP. We look like little kids. Yeah. yeah. My hair was actually <laughs> thick on top at that yeah. point. I, I, yeah. think that, I think that was 97. I had no idea. You got the boy leave. band hair going. Yeah, there, I had so. no idea. Well, you know, I had a real job. I couldn't have co hair. <laughs> right. yeah. I can't believe Speedy's holding Taylor in there. Yeah, I know. I just wild. now see if you got to remind him. That, I'm going to remind him of that next time I see So I think I recognize. Let's see if I can pick him back up. I think that's Oxford Civic Center. So with Fast 97, Taylor would have been six. Yeah. Six years old. Yeah. Uh, was that what it was? Mm -hmm. How about that month? It was. Wow. It's crazy. So here's, my, here's my little buddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're, buddy. we're loving y'all sitting in all this. Yeah. Stuff. Keep it yeah, coming. That was good funny. stuff. Y'all kept up with some of this better than we I have. I think I have that original article uh, and laminated. Really? In a box. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, we did handle our success. You know, it was kind of, wasn't easy. There's Sam. <laughs> yep. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's oh, been oh, the no, game. Not there, the trench coat. Hey, watch that guy, Greg. Oh, oh no. Watch that guy. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Some people think supernatural. Some people think these are maybe time travelers or aliens. You just think it's an animal, a, a very sophisticated animal. I think it's a Bigfoot. That's what they are. Well, I got that. But I but mean, what do you, do you, what category do you think that falls into? Just a, just a rather large, elusive animal, or what? I think a very large, elusive man eater. Oh, okay, wow. got it. So what is his next move, Pete? Yeah, Pete, do you th just that he wants to be a town crier? Yeah, I mean, I, I need to let the it? world know, or will you continue to try to encounter them? Are you trying to avoid them? I don't want nothing to do with it, but I do believe I could actually probably capture him. I think I know the lurking areas. The big one? I think he's. I think I, I know that area. If I mean, you were it's not it, that big of an area, if we went where to he's at. if we went to catch one of the three, which one would you be more likely to try to go after? Which one are you most that afraid of? That female or the male or the were the closest together in that vicinity. Which one was most aggressive? Yeah, 
the the mail. The, big the mail one? on Bower Road. Oh, that that was the one that, that walked next to you and your wife and went after y'all. Now the female that sounded pretty actually, loud. That one actually. Uh, she wasn't nothing to mess with. Thank God I locked my door. She tried to get in. They're smart. I'm telling you, the door knobs were clicking and the car was shaking. Pete, will you, Lincoln. will you try to kill it or capture it? What's your plan? Capture it. Okay. A living dog is better than a dead lion, baby. Okay, I got to know where were you gonna where are you welcome. gonna where are you gonna take Bigfoot when you <laughs> catch another it? Bumper sticker. Are you gonna take it to the Humane Society? Where are you taking it? <laughs> I'm gonna take it to a zoo with one heck of a cage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Needs to be took care of, fed, well fed, and then if they can find a female to catch as well, Whoa. put in there and breed them, and then they can have babies, and then maybe who knows we can find out what. We can do with them. The world. All right, so you're all in for capturing and studying and learning more at the zoo. Okay. Well, Pete, Absolutely. thanks. Absolutely. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. We need to. We need to domesticate it. Pete. Well, what? <laughs> Let it pass, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> How'd Let you get to work today, Rick? Well, I rode on the shoulders of my Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. All right, Pete. Thanks, buddy. Be careful out there, Pete. We'll come back. We'll get more of your phone calls, any headlines we miss, and say hello to our golden ticket seat guests. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba.
six minutes past. From the Big Boy Studio, out on the bleeding edge of technology from Sweet Home Alabama to the rest of the world. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, and Eddie Van Adler. I'll make up Team Rick and Bubba. Welcome back, Bill Bubba Bussy. Rick, glad to be here, and thank all of you for joining us. It is the little adventure we call Rick and Bubba, 30 years in the making, the last dance. Uh, yes, and getting to hear things from the audience, uh, I, I don't know whether to be excited when they remind me of something that I didn't remember or be troubled by. I, I, I don't know. Uh, but thank you for all this. This has been a lot of fun. And we mentioned Tuscaloosa, and you said uh, that Tuscaloosa welcomed one of the Jenner family. Yeah, Kendall, Kendall Jenner was there bartending yesterday, right, according so, to publish reports. Let me see if I have this right, because I, I know this bunch here. Now, this is the Kardashians slash yes. Jenners, right? Yes. Yeah. All yeah. right, so Jen, if, if you got Jenner behind your name, then you, that, you were produced by, uh, you know, the— Bruce. 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 Bruce, Bruce when he was a man. Right. Yes. No doubt. Okay. Rick, I know. Right. Need, That's a fact. And Bruce right. got about you, you, six kids. You yeah. need a you need a baseball scorebook to keep up mm -hmm. with this. So Bruce Jenner is your dad and now your mom? Uh, really confusing on what card you send to who on what day. Because the, the Mama Kardashian, I know that's not her name anymore, right? She did, right. what what does she go by? Uh, Jenner? I don't know, Chris Jenner. Chris, yeah, she does. I think it's Chris. Yeah. yeah, she. Okay, it's Chris. Yeah. So, so your 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 biological mom is her, and she became impregnated by the male Bruce Jenner, correct? Yeah. Who's now yeah. Caitlyn Former Jenner? Former girl medalist. Yeah. Right. So Caitlyn Jenner is now your dad in drag, or is he your other mom? Has he transitioned, yeah. or is he just? I don't. I don't. Know, I don't, I don't, I don't they, they they gave they call him like he's supposed to be a transgendered he, woman, he, right? He won Woman of the Year. He did. He did. I forgot about so, that. So, you know, now, now he didn't transition uh, his political views. No, he didn't. No, no, because he goes. He doesn't fit. I mean, it's almost like is he serious? Is he kidding? And, <laughs> like, and no one can confirm, Greg, whether he has actually transitioned his anatomy either. Right. I don't know about it. Yeah, right so no, I, no. I'm curious if anybody was in the uh, the pub yesterday that she was serving uh, at. No. She was there promoting uh, tequila, right? Doesn't she well, have she, a brand? Is that I, what it I is? don't know. All celebrities yeah. have a brand of alcohol, yeah, oh, and they yeah. usually get oh, bought yeah. out for tons of money. Yeah, so yeah. she has some alcohol, so she brought it for college kids to drink, and she would serve it. Yeah, yeah. And that's what it looks like. Please yeah. show me your ID. We do check ID. <laughs> yeah. How about keeping that. up with the Kardashians has been on for 20 seasons. That's amazing. That explains a lot. <laughs> it really does. She, uh, yeah. it now, it, the state it, of the world. Isn't she a billionaire now? Didn't she? Sure. One, one of them. Oh, really so, yeah. yeah. Her, her sure. sister, yeah. one of them. Yeah. I'm sure. I saw Mama Jenner uh, and uh, Chris Jenner. And uh, a, a what is an Oreo commercial? I think. Oh wow! Or now Chris Jenner is still a well, woman, well, right? Well, yes, that's a whole yes. different deal. I yeah. have an answer on that, Rick. Okay. Uh, so in 2021, Kylie says people get confused sometimes when Kendall and I still call Bruce Jenner call call Bruce Jenner dad. They had a talk a few years ago, and Caitlyn Jenner is okay with them still calling him her dad. Okay. All yeah. makes perfect sense. Yeah, that's All makes clear. It feels as, weird looking at clear it. as now, class. I'm sure these are stable right, people. Right. Rick, think about this. In decades gone by, the people who would have been at the top of the Forbes list were leaders in the industry, maybe performers, uh, movie stars, uh, athletes. You know, the, these people who had these tremendous businesses. And now the people who are at the top of the list are the Jenners mm -mm. and and uh, and. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> the rapper. That's oh, Kanye. 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 Oh, hey, well, he's showing uh, Yeezy, off. I tried to say Yeezy. Hey, hey Bill Maher and, won't even publish and, his interview with him. Yeah. Just the people who our society, our free enterprise system is pushing to the top of the heap. It oh, yeah. just looks a lot different than it used and, to. And Bubba, and coming in fast, guy who eats raw chicken every yeah. day. Yeah, yeah don't forget yeah. about raw yeah. chicken, man. That's good. How's he doing? Any update on him? Uh, I'd like uh, to keep a running uh, I think he's got that. slight diarrhea, but he <laughs> hasn't thrown up yet. What is wrong with our society? We are a bunch of birds. We got naked hey. people running around. Hey. Now, you I ain't got nothing to say. You you were dialed into a thousand pound sister last night. Yeah, I was. Did sad. you watch that? Well, I want to say it. Rick Caleb went on in. I want to hear about it. So hold. Uh, I, th I think that deserves yeah, that's a little more. Attention. I'm gonna be honest. And me and an email were talking about now, it. I, uh, 
it kind of ruined them being the last. I mean, I, I'm sorry, Dad, but Greg, it was somber. Can you just hold that thought? Just hold somber. Just hold, 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 hold that, hold please. Sorry, it wrecked your, let, near your night, let, Greg. Let's, <laughs> yeah. let's get back to Tuscaloosa and, and Kendall And drinking. Jenner. Okay. Um, I, being Baptist, I'm not up on my tequilas. All right. But she, is it... Uh, 818, is that what she's involved in? I think in? it's 818, but I have or no idea. Or 818? I, I don't know no how idea. you say it. I have no idea. 818? I have, I have, I have no idea. But it's, again, it's she's going to sell it for billions. Oh, you they guys, do. Like these, these, yeah. Yeah. Clooney and his bunch made billions. Mm-hmm. And then you, Sammy um, Hagar, everybody knows about him. Barkley's got his own uh, Oh, yeah. Now, I sure do. Yeah. Bubba, oh, what, thanks, oh, Bubba, for mentioning The Breaking that. Bad guys, they've got one. Yep. Dos I noticed hombres. you didn't hold it when you got your picture, mate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, how come you don't get Bubba? He's non-denominational. Hey, He's, he can drink my can alcohol Greg, now. Yeah, Bubba, to hold that. Nobody's <laughs> mentioned 818 in your non-denominational gatherings? Uh, not, no, not really. Right. right the, uh, speaking of We're not very exciting. No, we're back speaking of the- transitioning, when you show <laughs> Bruce, how shocking. Hey. And I've been ignoring it because they've been running a lot of articles. Have y'all seen that former wrestler? Now, that's impressive. I've never seen yeah. a transformation from what one to the other like that. It's no. unbelievable. No. What he was saying, a WWE Greg? wrestler, all steroided up. Yeah. Huge. Are you saying he's good looking? No, I said, but he looks like a woman. Greg. I mean, what do you do with all them muscles? Where did they go? So you're saying he's fine? No, I'm not. Daddy like. Oh, he, no, he's daddy like. Nope. Y'all look. <laughs> not look, look, me. Get daddy your look. I'm out. Daddy that's like. the same person. That's, that's the same person. Same person. Yeah. No, same it's person. Yes, it is. Not. Yes, it is. See, there's Gosh, just all kinds mighty. of problems out there. I bet wow. you have. He has to shave a lot. Isn't that weird? Ooh. That is very yeah, weird. Yeah, it's weird, Greg. Man. Yeah, you can call did, that weird, buddy. Did did his I mean, now sad. her tattoos shrink up? Because her arm's not as big. It looks like the same tattoo. May have to get them removed. Yeah, no, same tattoos. They're still there. But they had to shrink together. It's Probably touched them up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And they've shown pictures when he was in the ring wrestling. When he was in the ring wrestling, and this son of a gun was gigantic. Got your look. That was a picture of a man wrestling there, Speedy. I'm not talking you. I'm going to give you a pass on that one, Greg. <laughs> oh whoa! Hold on now. now. That's a whole different deal. Hey, that's there. that's a little different. That looks different. But yeah, that's yeah, Adam pictures. Apple. You can take pictures. Yeah. Um, but look, uh, so this guy here now is his it, kids was okay miserable. to call him dad? I he was know. WWE because he was trapped in the wrong body. But I, I'm back. To, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm still back here on because because all these that have. Uh, multiple kids. Members? I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, how do you make tequila? How does that work? I have no idea. Wow, what's it all made out of? Yeah. Yeah. So I, 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 what's the plant? I don't uh, remember that Walmart being any concern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, <laughs> is that the one with the worm in it? No, <laughs> no, agave. That? That's what it is. Agave plant. That's what it is. That's what. Not a way to weigh in. Trying. There you go. That right there, Bob. That's where it comes from. Cactus. Yeah. They chop it up and let it ferment, and there it goes. There it goes. But I don't know what makes. One better than the other, or different than the other. Well, you know how I, mean, how I don't it know. Is. I, I don't know. In well, the whole world, that's how it is. Yeah, I, I, mm-hmm. you know, when when I was still in that world, I don't recall being concerned about that whatsoever. Yeah, no, um, it, it served one purpose. Well, did anybody in our audience were you there? Did you see her? Did you see part of this going on? I just wonder how all this went down. I mean, it's did she just show up? Did they yeah. know ahead of time? What did kind they, of security did they have to have? Did they did they say, "Hey, I'm gonna be there"? What's up? I don't know. The bar you, looked pretty full to did me. Did you see yeah. Saban? Was Saban there? He, <laughs> yeah, he's got him a brand coming out too. Does he really? It's, it's called, called Ite Process. <laughs> Ite whiskey. Ite. 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 So yeah, so that uh, so I guess I they come to college campuses and get college kids drunk on their new alcohol and then sell it for a lot of money. Yeah, that's, that's what they do. Right? <laughs> well, how about that? Here's a, here's a video. There's it one plan. packed out. It yeah. is. I mean, you, there's it's no room. There's no room. Yeah, that is. It's a lot oh, of folks. Yeah. It's a little Irish pub, isn't it? Yeah, yep. and it's free. Yeah, which. What makes it an Irish pub over just a hey, regular pub? Irish, pub. I, the leprechaun in the fighting. Oh, is that it? <laughs> we'll be back. Your phone calls are next. 866 We Be Big. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't explain it. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's dimensions. I don't know. I don't know if it's time travel. I don't know what it is. It, it, it's it, it's not a deja deja vu. Those are weird enough. Yeah, yeah. But have you ever like like I'll just tell you what happened. 
and this is an example. So I'm kicking around the TV last night. Once my day finally ended, I just kind of went to veg and started just mindlessly flipping around the TV, okay? Mm-hmm. You know that Greg and I love, 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 love uh, the TV channel Axis. I mean, we just we just love it. Mm-hmm. And so I went by. I have bad news. I, oh, no. Are we losing go it? Go ahead. All right. But I go by, and I knew, I knew based on the shows we had done that I needed to be extremely careful but meatloaf was in concert, mm-hmm. and I said, oh, "I said, okay, if it's if it's old meatloaf, I'm gonna stay <laughs> because he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna be large, but he's gonna do a good job." And I knew I was in trouble when he was sitting on a stool. Okay, <laughs> now meatloaf has a band on whatever tour this was. It was I can't remember the name of the tour. That was phenomenal. Matter of fact, at one point I'm just watching his band in concert and enjoying them because he's ruining it. Yeah, okay. didn't we okay. did we play a clip of that one time? We played his I know new, we, he CD. tried to, he tried to do the new album and remember, remember it was awful and then we found out he really had problems. So I had not spoke of Meatloaf. Hmm. We had not talked of Meatloaf. And last night I said, "How odd is it that I'm watching Meatloaf and I sit down today, I had not thought of Meatloaf and I don't know when. I pick up the stories of the day and Meatloaf is in the news." Mm-hmm. Is that weird when those things happen? How is meat? That's the concert. No, that's not it. It's not that one. But uh, I thought that was the same out. Greg, hey, 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 Greg, you ruined the songs. Hey, have you ever heard a band like they're singing the background part so good and they're musically so good, which means he must still have some budget to get a really good band. And all of a sudden, the song sounds like you want it to sound when others are singing it. Yeah. But yeah. then when he comes in, he ruins it. I mean, Greg, he's a, he, he he he. This is now. This has been before it got as bad as it got. This was must have been the. Greg, he's on a stool, sweating like he's going to die. He's just sitting on a stool. And at one time, and, he was considered a really, really good voice. Yeah. You know, he was considered one so, of the better But singers. how can I see Meatloaf randomly <laughs> last night and then come in today and he's in the news over some kind of injury that he suffered at a Texas hotel? It, how can that be like in the last? It, it's kind of like the deal we do now I, where you have a conversation with somebody about a product yeah. or a type of product, yeah. and all of a sudden that's all your ads you yes. get on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> but this is, it's this weird. is a little different no, I've, I've, had, I've had that happen before. Like, Have you ever like clicked around the channels on the cable channels and the same actor or actress is in like four different movies? Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. you're like, are they just showing everything yeah, this person's in today on these various channels? Yeah. Now tell me the bad news on Axis. Uh, it's been sold, and uh, Cuban doesn't own it anymore. Mark Cuban got rid and, of it? Uh-oh. Right now, the programming is kind of the same, but I bet it's going to change. And the company that bought it is big into some kind of wrestling or something. Well, they do that impact. <laughs> they wrestling. do it anyway, but you're going to see a little more. Probably. No, they do. It. They do more wrestling than I want. I don't want to see but, that wrestling. But it has been sold, and this it was oh, uh, what's his name that had a show on there, Eddie Trunk, because mm-hmm. he said his show's been canceled, and he said. Well, the, basically, it's been bought by somebody else, and they're uh, you're gonna well, see. We're, the we're familiar change. with that. We're familiar with so that. So this cable life. channel, what is really gonna turn into, is a wrestling channel. Probably. Oh, mm. no. I hate that because I, I don't, don't know like. why they have the Japanese wrestling on there and the Impact wrestling. I don't even know why it's on there. And their their mm-hmm. original now programming's really good. You know, it's over. Oh, God, I love that channel. I did too. That's over now. <laughs> so uh, also, uh, we co- we'll come back and talk about it. Big news: uh, Speedy found his wallet. <laughs> yeah. You sure did, and if a place none of us would have ever thought it would have been. <laughs> well, I kind of, I wanted to kind of say, didn't yeah. I say go back to everything? Yeah, that yeah you, you got to go back to and, all and locations and, and check on yeah. every place you ever been. Mm-hmm. That, and I did, I did, and that worked, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Also, Rick, I'm I an absent-minded a, person. I, Listen I, to another absent-minded person. <laughs> a couple of topics we got to cover today: this Mylar balloon thing and the Girl Scouts. I got an email try, trying to explain it, and I and now I'm even more confused. I, and uh, also, this uh, th- this thing. Every time I, I turn around, I hear of somebody else is being fired or looked into over this baseball uh, stealing of signals. Yeah. And I have to admit, I think I'm I'm just a bad person because I don't. I've never really thought that was that big a deal. So I okay. I'm a bad person, but I won't admit it. To I, know, I know I know Trump had a rally last night. Yeah. You, you told me that Nancy Pelosi once again is showing us what our life would be like if the. Twenty-one minutes past the hour. Here we go. It's starting to shine. Okay, so Tax Nation USA right now. TNUSA.com. I'm sorry. 
I really am. If this tax problem that you keep thinking is going to go away, you're in a new year and it's still there. Uh, it's only going to get worse. It's not going to go away. The IRS is sending pay up now letters, millions of them. Got 20,000 new agents ready to come get you. They're not going to go after the multimillionaire because uh, he's got he's got lawyers. They ain't going to come after you, okay? They're coming after you. And they, you know why? Because they know you're likely to pay up and you're going to pay with, with, with penalties and, and all kinds of fines. And so, but here's the deal. TNUSA.com slash Bubba. They have war room proven strategies. They have a direct line to the IRS. They know which agents to stay away from, which ones that are willing to work with you. And right now, if you qualify, the IRS actually has a program that may help you out of this problem. Okay, and, and and this is an IRS penalty canceling offer. Uh, they're willing to cancel billion dollars worth of penalties, uh, so you can make 2024 a positive year. But you need somebody to navigate this for you. TNUSA.com/bub or call one eight hundred two four five six thousand. They're ready to talk to you. It's it's a free consultation. Okay, uh, you can also find the link at rickandbubba.com under sponsors. Let's let's get that tax problem out of the way. Get that off of you. You don't want that hanging over you. Uh, all right, so Greg, we'll do two things that ha- on TV to discuss. One of them, the finale mm-hmm. of Thousand Pound Sisters, is yeah, that what it's called? Yeah, that's it. Yep. And, and as Adler pointed out, you wanted it to be f- more fun and well, somebody had to go and die? Well, yeah, I didn't mean it quite like that, but he, it was more of a uh, somber tone, you mm-hmm. know. Now, there were still moments. We, we followed up on the big fight in, in Pensacola between two of the sisters. Okay. Got physical, and that was funny. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, and then the rest we had to – Caleb went on in. Uh, who's Caleb? No, yeah, who's uh, Tammy's husband? Tammy's one of the no, big sisters. Caleb. There they are. Point him out. He's point the one right, the there right there on the right there holding her hand. They got married. With oxygen? Oh, yes, Rick. That's okay. a trait. Cool. And, uh, and Tammy had since, she's lost a lot of weight since then, so she's not like that anymore. Now, is Caleb the one you told me that was not being as successful with his, with his yeah, weight Yeah, he, he wasn't doing very good on losing his weight. Didn't they weigh him and he put on 57? Yeah. Didn't you say that? Yeah. Can, yeah. I, can I ask a question? I don't mean to be. He's losing weight so he could have had the operation. Now, what, why okay. the trach, though? I don't know. I guess you get to a certain point, you can't breathe. you got to be on oxygen. I guess. Because yeah. uh, Tammy, is, is, she's no longer on it. She's lost weight. But I can promise you by the end of this segment, you won't have to worry about being insensitive. Right, yeah. Because he's yeah. going. No, to, I'm he's not. Going I, was, I gave him front. Rick, once, you, again, but, once again, I'm going to look like the nice guy. But, but, <laughs> but, again, and, and don't think the producers don't know what they're doing. Uh, and it was a serious subject, but they tried to like at the, they had a memorial sor- service for him. Of course, he he sent a song that he rapped. It sounded good, but boy, did you get to hear it? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. And, and he tried to he rapped okay, but then he tried to sing. It was bad. Tammy even called him out. She goes, he couldn't sing. She but said she that. She said, but he could rap good. Oh my god. But anyway, they had this box of they were opening butterflies were supposed to fly out of it, and I didn't know that was a thing. You can order them. Anyway, they opened it up, and all the they're all stuck to the side, and they won't come out. Oh my! You know they tried to. Are they? Are, are you they saying they're too? They're fat still to alive, but they finally. Yeah, Bubba. But, but they were supposed to, you know. But they were like stuck to the side, and they were having to hit them and shoe them and get them up. So it didn't work. Great. It didn't, and then they also the sisters tried to light one of them things that float up in the air, you know, in memory, and they couldn't get it lit. And they did a speech and let it go, and it actually went to the ground. I, then they'd have to get. They finally got it up. Though. I'm gonna now weigh in like Bubba and say I don't mean to be insensitive. I don't know why. If you say that somehow, that cancels it. I, I don't, we just try, don't we? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I got to know this. I'm sorry, I have to know this, but I have to. And I think anybody who's honest has to know too. Did we try to bury Caleb? No, Caleb no. Was, he was. We, we had his ashes. Okay, so I mean, with that kind of size, he might have burned for days. Rick, uh, I mean, Rick, I mean, this is Rick. I, no, I, not. No, I mean. You remember right. that time we had that you crematorium? Would have needed, hey, you would have needed a few urns, I'll do, tell you that. Do you remember, well, they you remember the time, urn. the crematorium, they had a yeah, guy that was real score, overweight, yeah. and, and because of yeah. all the fat, I don't mean to be gross, yeah, yeah. but yeah. All, it, it, it nearly burned, burned the place the building down. down. Yeah, 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 yeah. It burned the place the down. grease fire. Yeah, thank you. I, there it is. Thank you. Like so I didn't like, want to say that. Instead of an urn, do they go with like a 50-gallon drum, and you forklift it? What do you do? I'm just asking, what do you do? He's just asking. explaining that the urn that she got, so you can spread it, and her sister goes, oh, you mean like a salt shaker? And, oh, she, they got, and they both got tickled at that. Okay. So. All right. Uh, I mean, it was. I, well, I, I hate there was so much gloom. We're all just Adam's stars. Did Greg just say he hated there was so much gloom in the final he episode? Well, he I'm wanted just saying, I wish that had been a separate show. I'm sorry, I wrecked your TV night, Greg. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Caleb's dead. I mean, I couldn't, Rick, I, Rick, I, couldn't, I couldn't take joy in laughing. What, I mean, what did he pass away from? I don't know. Didn't just say. Uh, you can kind of look at him there. It's high risk. 
He just probably just, I don't know. High what risk situation. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. Come on. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, but that, anyway. That's like, that's like, you know, having somebody that, you know, is a, a daredevil and you go, well, what, what broke their leg? Yeah, what got them? But know? here's the good news is I've only really started watching it this year. And I haven't seen it. Well, they run these marathons all the time, and there's about four seasons. So I can, I'll get to enjoy it until the next updated version comes back. Right, and Caleb's death won't ruin those. No, I didn't say it right. ruined it. I'm saying it, it, the mood was different. Okay. I mean, we went from – we're at Pensacola, and we were fighting. Right. Hitting each other. One of them says she's going to beat her A. I mean, okay. <laughs> the way – you're saying transition was a little rough. It was. It okay. was hard to go from that to, I got you. to, to the s- memorial to service sadness. where butterflies won't come out of the box. I got you. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, Bubba, this other show? What? Well, Betty got me started oh, on Lisa loves Farmer show. Wants a Wife. Now, what is and, this? Uh, this is where they take four farmers from across the country, okay. and they basically, these girls sign up to be on the show, and it's kind of like The Bachelor. You is know, it just Farmer but, Bachelor? Yeah. It, but it, they do it a little different format. They they divided them up so each farmer had I don't know. They started what about six seven girls maybe. Yeah. And and they each one kick them off. It's like four bachelors going on at one time. Oh wow! So you get to see all, and then they come together for some events. Tell me they do the song. A farmer takes a wife. A farmer <laughs> takes a wife. Well, they have Hi ho the dairy oh, the farmer takes a wife. And it's probably one of these that's going to come out. These guys weren't really farmers. They just did it. Great, for don't the show. do this. Yet. Well, they Let, they, they had farmers and they, the, the they would narrative. carry them. You know, they would yeah. carry them out and and uh, you know put them through farm activities to see if that's something they would want to do. And, you know, a lot of them did not have experience with, you know, slopping the hogs and feeding the chickens. And that's and, kind of yeah, the fun part. And, 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 and birthing cows and all that See, stuff. Do those really look like farmers? Well, that's not, that's the second, uh, that's not the ones that are on that we're watching. We're oh, watching sorry. season one. So I think season two oh, just started. We're, we're a little behind. Oh. Oh, we, we watched season one last year. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah I, I've never seen behind. This. We're catching up. If they, could, if they could merge Thousand Pound Sisters with no, this show. No, Greg. <laughs> but it, it it is funny a how pound, farmer. Pound farmer, you, yeah. I will say this: the farmers are they could use the scales. They, they're no they nonsense. You, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? They're and they're the they're fairly straightforward guys because I mean they got to get up, they got to do their thing every day. And some of these girls bring in these emotional things that they you know are used to living with and talking. Mm-hmm. And, and they're then like then they're, they're madly in love. Yeah, they'll just they'll they'll put them on the road. You're like you're too emotional. You know. Oh, really? You, yeah. Well, there, so we can't we have saw that one last farm. night. We can't have that at the farm. He put he sent one that was too emotional home, and then one of the girls who was a psychology major who thought he handled it bad, he put her on the road too. Uh-uh. I mean, it's like, hey, I got to get up and feed cows in the morning. I ain't got time uh, for this. So we've got pack your it, bags, you're out. It's you know? no nonsense bachelor. It really is. I, I the ones I watched on the first one are good, and we were trying to catch up so we could yeah. watch season two. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. season two just started, and that's who these cowboys quote. Uh, Cowboys are that you just showed out of that season two, guys. But you have the same drama you have in the back oh, where sure. the girls get to fussing and somebody has to go home for this. But, and but the dynamic that. is they don't know farm life. No, right. And most right. most of them have no idea. And, okay. And the farmers are kind of looking for the ones that can deal with it. I got you. Because that's a, what they're doing. Is there a chicken? Is there a female farmer that wants a wife? <laughs> or the LBG? All right, Greg. Uh, that must be season two or something. I don't know. Phone calls are next. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Has to get control. Mm-hmm. I'm glad they're doing that because it makes me. You know, it makes it no, easy. This, to was, make a this was Elizabeth Warren. I meant Elizabeth Warren. Warren. I meant yeah. to say she that. refused to, to shake uh, Sanders' hand last night. They're mad. I couldn't they're believe mad at each it. Other. Yeah, they had a little. They had a little debate last night, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. But when, uh, as I'll long you, as they'll you, keep telling us who they are clearly, it really yeah. makes the decision easy. It, it does. does. That those debates just disturb me <laughs> when I go by. I can't watch it for long. It's so disturbing. Elizabeth Warren is going to tell you you cannot build a house as president while criticizing Donald Trump as, of acting of him acting like a dictator. Keep that in mind. 16 minutes. We're here right of our own mouth. Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. All right, Bubba, so you, I know this thing in baseball. Hey, I'm stealing signs. I, I'm stealing signs. Uh, and we have, uh, is it the Astros that are in, uh, in a well, lot of trouble today? Rick, he, here's the thing, and I, I know this is People not getting factually fired. correct, but just the way it, it seemed to me, you know, I heard a news story, hey, somebody's in trouble for stealing signals. Mm-hmm. And then it seemed like for two or three days, it was somebody was in trouble for stealing <laughs> signals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I know. I know the baseball people are going to be on me about it. Right. Why, why are you, but, why, what are you worried about? But uh, And maybe I'm just not a good person. But, um, you know, in, in baseball, 
stealing signals was always just kind of part of the game, I thought. And I really didn't see the big deal about it. Now, Speedy was trying to explain it to me in the break. Mm -hmm. And I know they're they're using some more technology now, and some people are just all tore up about it. But, I mean, I remember being a little baseball player on second base holding my number two up when I saw the catcher flashing a curveball coming to my teammate. It's kind of something you've always done. It, it really in all sports. I mean, look on the NFL sideline on Sunday or Saturday, whichever game you're watching, and you're going to see five to six people giving hand signals, cards being held up, coaches with their with their call sheet over their their. I mean, there's just all kind of people trying to pick off what you're doing, and and it's not that it's that easy. Even if you know what they're going to do, trying to get it to your team in a in a timely manner is also very difficult, but I just, I don't know. I thought, man, are they, and this is where I'm probably a bad person. I just didn't think stealing signals was that big a deal. Well, I, Am I, I a bad person? Well, I, I think, uh, I, you know, I don't know. It's I don't, okay. Yeah. I don't think you're a bad person, yeah. Bubba, but I think you can't compare it to football. No. You have to stay in the baseball world and understand no, what we'll you stay, just said. We'll stay in baseball. What you just said and explained when you were a child playing and being on second base is perfectly fine to do by the rules of baseball. Mm -hmm. But what the Astros and what the Boston Red Sox were doing using video technology is against the rules. There's written rules, and it's illegal to do. And they crossed that line knowing that they could get in trouble. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they didn't do this thinking, hey, we're not doing anything wrong here. Now, where? They, let me ask you this. Where is the line? Technology. You, you said, yeah, the technology. Now, using te a, is technology <clears throat> binoculars? Or is it a camera? I is it, well, uh, people have gotten where, in trouble for using binoculars. You can't use – you're not supposed to use mechanical devices at all. Right. So if I can steal the signal with my naked eye, Human eye. Okay. Human Correct. eye is yeah. perfectly yeah. fine. So what yeah. they're doing is they're saying, look, we do know this is part of baseball, but we, we're going to take that part of baseball and we're going to manage it and we're going to clearly lay out how far you can go and can't go. And these two teams went further than the rules. Well, I think allowed. it was the same yeah. guy, but different teams. Well, different and, teams. and the one guy he got went further good, than the rules. He, he allows, had a pretty right? good system. Yeah. Working well, out. and the one guy you're talking about is Alex Cora. He was the bench coach for the Astros when they won their 2017 World Series championship. Mm -hmm. Okay, then he went on the next year to be hired as the Boston Red Sox manager, where they won the 2018 World Series. So that's back to back World Series he was involved with, and. What is alleged is that they used a center field camera to decode the catcher's signals to the pitcher and then banged on a trash can mm -hmm. with a bat or a massage gun near the dugout to let the hitters know what pitch is coming. And, so they and were, depending they were, on the bangs, it meant this right. pitch is coming, that pitch right. is coming, <laughs> the number of bangs or whatever. So they, and, were, they were using a camera to get a better look at it. And then they were signaling to get it in, basically with Morse code. Yeah, yeah but, but actually, <laughs> on a hey, trash can. they thought they tried clapping, they mm -hmm. tried whistling, and the garbage can was their method that they'd rather use. It seems like that would become obvious when somebody kept banging on the trash can. Now, to understand how who was some empty skimp told on them. I yeah, mean, to understand how this is played out, uh, an empty skimp will always burn. I, I will say this though: being during my limited baseball playing. Um, when you were tipped off about what you thought was coming, you that also gave you a problem because you had to decide how accurate that was. And then you got to worrying about that as opposed to just trying to hit the ball. And, you know, then you had your own judgment based on the situation. Are they going to, you know, we're sitting here at a 0 and 2. I know they're going to try to give me a ball outside the strike zone to strike me out, but I'm getting a signal of a fastball. So, you know, then you got that. Lines are available. Helmsy's got the controls. So as we work our way back, Wednesday Bible Study is back today. Uh, Wednesday Bible Study, noon central, 1 o'clock Eastern on the Rick and Bubba YouTube channel. If you want to catch it live, we're in 2 Corinthians. We'll be in Chapter 7 today. And we'll probably finish Chapter 7. Uh, and then the archive will be available soon after on the YouTube channel or the Rick and Bubba podcast channel, whichever you prefer, if you so desire. Uh, phone calls now. Let's start uh, with Anonymous out of Huntsville listening to us on uh, 100.3 The River. Uh, Anonymous, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go right ahead. 
Hey, guys, Green Acres. Uh, love you, the show. Going to miss y'all. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I actually used to work for a HVAC refrigeration company. I ran a call to a crematory in Birmingham, Alabama. Oh, boy. And got to talking to the guy, and they had somebody 700-plus pounds he had to cremate, and it took over 18 hours to cremate him fully. Oh, my. Oh, my. TMI. Yeah. And he told me a story about one that was so big that the uh, crematory caught fire. Yeah. Because of all the fat that was on the van. Oh, we did that story. We we actually did that story. That that was a national story, and, and it burned the whole thing down. Absolutely true. What a hard thought. Uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, let's go to Heather, 1077 Andalusia, Alabama. Heather, go ahead. Good morning, Rick and Bubba. Hey. Hey, I wanted to ask two things. One was, whatever happened to JT, your lovable old friend? Yes. I just You always had some good stories about him. What happened to him? Well, you know, anytime you hear something like Rick and Bubba's retirement, you'll hear from JT real quick. Well, a lot of people don't know he was uh, taken hostage by Somali pirates. <laughs> and, uh, he was down around the Horn of Africa. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you are anywhere in the country listening to some hot rocking station, you're likely to hear JT. He, oh, yeah. He voice tracks for multiple stations yeah. all over the country. Uh, he does a morning uh, news talk type show on one of the local stations uh, in Birmingham. Uh, and he does okay. keep in, and he does keep in touch. He's doing fine. You know, to me, him okay. him doing news talk was one of the funniest things. Oh, that, that just you know, but he's done a good job with it. Yeah, good for him. I, you know what I would say we though. Love I, you know, he's on the same time we are, so I don't hear him that much. Right. But the things I've heard, little clips they put out, they need to turn him loose. I think they're holding him back. They need to turn him loose. I just I remember you saying about him wearing his uh, his shirt was always open and yeah. he wore polo or oh, yeah. fruit or something like that. Oh yeah, he, he had a, he had a collection of gold chains. I was jealous. Oh, of. Let me tell you something, I mean, JT. He's gonna let you see that chest hair. That <laughs> chain's gonna be perfect, and you're gonna smell his cologne about yeah. two or three minutes before he gets there. <laughs> think, of, think of Tom Jones. And the other- Yes. Oh Tom no. Jo- no, he he reminds me of Tom Jones. Yeah, he, 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 he could he could be Tom Jones's little brother. Yes, he does. Yeah. She's a lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She's a lady. <laughs> Talking about. And the other thing I have to ask is whatever happened to your what did you do with your dick your truck that sang Dixie? Yeah, you're talking about the one JT sold me uh, yeah. and didn't tell me how to do yeah. it. Yeah, car selling too for a while. Yeah. 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 Once yeah. once I was nearly run out of town because I, mm-hmm. I didn't know that was on there. Uh, I actually ended up trading it in on something. I, I don't remember what happened, yeah. but but we traded it in. Oh, on okay. Something. Yeah, yeah. I don't have I it thought- anymore. It's a, somebody else got that surprise. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. That was funny. Uh, yeah, let's continue. Uh, let, let's go to Bobby. Alexander City. Bobby, how you doing? Fine, guys. Hey, let me make this quick for y'all. Uh, I was just going to kind of reminisce. I've been with y'all probably around 2000, somewhere in there. Thank you. Just some some quick high points. I don't know. I was with you with 9 11. I was putting up a tree stand out in the woods when that happened, listening to y'all. Wow. Uh, I was late for work when Speedy drug old big boy in with a smoke in the bandit. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. I wanted to hear that. Uh, I was at the turkey toss when Zach Brown was on the old flatbed trailer. How about that? Yeah, mm-hmm. At Auburn. Love it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Y'all done a kid prediction, and you were right. I got a beautiful seven-year-old baby girl. How about that? And I always called in and loved the old Gobble Gobble song. Oh, oh Bobby, you were on such a roll. You were on such a roll just yeah. then. Yeah. Thank you very much, buddy. That's very kind. Uh, we continue. Uh, let's go to Robert in Coleman, listening on ZZK. Robert, go ahead. Good morning, Biggins. Hey, buddy. Hey, I got a question about this uh, mishap in Mississippi mm. from a while back. Yes, a long oh, time ago, 10 years I'm, ago. Uh, after hearing uh, several of your testimonies, it sounds like a lot of you are unaware how similar you are to the famous George Costanza mm. Wow. in a crisis situation. We do live sort of a Costanza type life. You are right. Yeah. You really are. If, yeah. if, if something awkward is going to happen, it happens to us. Yeah, so you are right. Yeah. yeah. We, we do. Find, we find ourselves in some very odd situations. It never just goes normal. Yeah, just like Costanza. That that really is a pretty good analogy. Uh, Robert in Startville, ninety six one, the Man Church Conference coming March eighth and ninth. Uh, go ahead, Robert. Meh, meh, meh. Meh, meh, meh. <clears throat> Hey, guys, I was listening to your flashback about with uh, Bigfoot Pete. Oh, yes. Now, I think it would be 
interesting to if y'all could track him down and see if he's had any more encounters with the big feet, big foots. Yeah, can I tell you what was interesting? And I actually talked to the guy that had us over for dinner in the last couple of weeks. The guy whose land he was on, that the guy was leasing, and you know when when he finds this and he's wondering what somebody's doing on his land, only to discover the guy's telling him, "You have a lot of Bigfoot sign. Uh, there's a lot of Bigfoot mm-hmm. sign around here." He's like, "Really?" Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's how we end up getting Bigfoot, Pete, if you remember. Uh, so I haven't had any updates. You know, has has a Bigfoot <clears throat> person ever? Ever, 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 other than that one film, has anybody ever got a, a, a true sighting of Bigfoot that we've documented or brought one in or anything? Do they ever? I mean, the, I, not I've never I even seen a show where they ever see one. The Patterson film is still just that's the it. Walking. That's oh, yeah. the Walking yeah. Dog. Well, like we said, if that's real, then there is a Bigfoot. But if it's not, then. If okay. it's not, it's one of the best fakes ever, considering the time it was oh, done it was the 60s. and the the quality of the disguise and all of that stuff. The Amazing. reason why I'm thinking that they don't that that was a fake, okay, is if we could get that once, you think we'd get it again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially nowadays. If yeah. that's a real, we're all if if that's walking real around shot. with cameras now. Right. I mean, how, how do you miss it? Almost looking at it, and the fact they were to capture such a good documentation. That alone, now since there haven't been any others, yeah, it's, it's makes me think it's fake. Yeah, because shouldn't shouldn't there be other people who got it, it? Should be, unless they're time travelers. Well, yeah, there's always that, and and we know that's <clears throat> likely not true. But uh, Clark in Huntsville, one hundred point three, the river as well. Clark, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, see how you guys were coming to the fact that Trump and the Republicans are the one that is going to block this immigration bill that you guys have been crying about for all year. Well, how you, do you come to terms with that? Well, I'll tell you how. It's but, in the GOP's hands uh, now, and they're blocking it to use it as a November voting. Bill. It's a bad bill. Yeah. So I, what do you really care about? Do you really care about the border? Uh, I do, but I'm not. I'm, sound I'm like it, I, Clark. I, I thought you asked us a question. What is this thing when people who disagree with us ask a question and, and we then, can't answer it because they keep saying things? Yeah. Uh, and Clark, we, it's a poison pill yeah. bill. It's got a bunch of stuff in it that they knew the Republicans wouldn't go along with. It's all a stunt. Yeah. It's not yeah. real. Yeah, and I would ask you the same thing. Why doesn't Biden use the power that he already has? Yeah. He's not doing that. So they're playing games. The Democrats don't want the border secure, and they'll act like they do because it's election year, and they'll put things in the bill they know the Republicans won't go for. Well, the polling is showing that it's going to be one of the two major issues in this election, Mm -hmm. and they're on the wrong side of it, so they're trying to flip it. And the Democrats Mm -hmm. didn't get people like you to call up and say, why won't y'all do it? I thought y'all said y'all want to do this, and and that's why they've done it. So they've been successful with you, but they've it's... it's it's, Hey, give us a clean bill, and we will close. Yeah, thank, thanks, Chuck. You idiot! <laughs> you you coward! You idiot! You fool! I, uh, people like us will save you from yourself. I hope, because mm-hmm. that's all you are. You're a fool. So again, instead of just debating it and going, well, guys, no, I think they're doing this or doing that. That's what he goes to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's the same old emotional yeah. garbage y'all always yeah. shovel. You don't get your way and you pitch hissy fits, but you can't logically walk out a narrative if your life depended on it. Nope. And, uh, and all you know to do is cuss and, and go after people and want them to be canceled and, and scream and holler like a small child. And you ought to be embarrassed of yourself. And I, I'm thankful that there's people that might be able to save us from people like you. Give us a clean bill. We'll pass it. No problem. Right. Uh, we'll be back 15 minutes to the top of the hour. And those of you that didn't hear what he said, you would understand our response if you did. Uh, I know on YouTube, y'all heard it loud and clear. Uh, we'll be mm-hmm. back. Uh, 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. More of the Rick and Bubba show coming up. Also, if you're trying to figure out all the different ways to catch archives on things you might have missed, go to rickandbubba.com. we got, got them on the podcast channel and the YouTube channel. We'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. going on so well, at it, times being tipped off to me was not necessarily a good thing yeah to, to, for, for me too there's always the which makes baseball such a difficult game thank you for the heads up that a fastball is coming but i still can't hit it <laughs> <You're right>. <laughs> <laughs> he still throws it harder than i can right. get yeah. i can't quite get on i it. still can't see it <laughs> And it hits the catcher's mitt about the time I'm swinging. Yeah. Yeah. Look, the pitcher could look at me and go, here it is. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to throw. You, you I know, still got to hit it. I think it, it, what I, the original article that I read on it when it came out way back, 
I think the the main one they wanted to get was the changeup. Mm-hmm. And they yeah. would still it that yeah. they really got an yeah, advantage. Yeah, because there by are certain the pitches that it really helps. Right, yeah. right. Well, the Astros have fired the general manager and the manager, AJ Hinch. Yeah, and uh, Jeff uh, L- Lunau, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Alex Cora has uh, stepped down as the Red Sox manager. And they part ways, and he's made a statement saying that he doesn't want to be a distraction. Spring training's about to start, and so he's well, just stepping away. Well, the away. good news is they can all get a job with the Patriots. If they understand this, mm-hmm. A.J. Hinch <laughs> and the GM that he just – I can't say his last name, yeah. Jeff, whatever. They were suspended by Major League Baseball for one year prior to being fired. Right. So they were going to have to sit out either way, and then the Astros fired him. Now, Alex Cora and, and Boston has mutually agreed to separate, and his suspension is still coming. So he mm-hmm. hasn't got his punishment. Now, the Astros got $5 million fine, which is not unprecedented. That's, uh, they'll write that check and move on. Mm-hmm. But they did lose the 2020 and 2021 first and second round picks. That's big. Yeah, that's, 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 pretty, big. that's pretty big. That's too. big. Yeah. So, so tell me this, though. How, what camera were they using in center field? Did they have their own camera, or were they just taking a, a, a – uh, network feed of the game. I, th- I think they were. I think it, in certain situations it was both. Mm-hmm. Um, the, um, the here's what's so they weird. Had is they down. estimated they had the Astros. Are, I know that they've estimated <laughs> estimated the Astros <laughs> earned sixty million dollars in 2017, winning the the championship. So if they're on, if they're only fined five million, then they've won on that one. They're not taking the championship back, which a lot of people say that they they need to. Uh, so they they everybody keeps their rings and they win their championship. Um, uh, for, so a lot of people are like going, you know, look, this is this is a slap on the wrist. Yes, you've got some people that have lost their job, but still the Astros get to hang the banner and still say they won. Oh yeah, and you all this, you know, you just you just worth it. You, you, you know what really how far it'll go. what really gave it away, Rick, was when the batter. I don't know if you saw it. He stepped out of the batter's box and he asked the umpire, "Was that two or three hits on the trash can?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what was? Did you hear this, two or three? Is, is this the football equivalent back into that world of we know that everybody scouts. We know that everybody <laughs> does it, but there's limits to this. Like Patriots, you can't be doing this. You yeah. can't be doing yeah. that. Yeah, You've over you that. sure inside the game. There's certain things that are understood, yeah. but we clearly drew the line. If you're going to steal signs, you can't do this, this, and this, and you did it. I, yes, absolutely. Is that right. it? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. And I think what Major League Baseball is saying ultimately with the suspensions, and and the, some people think it's unprecedented the the what they're doing here, that you have. Um, yeah. You have a you have an organization like the Houston and Boston who's being made an example of this, but ultimately Major League Baseball wants to keep the stealing of the signs on the field. Mm-hmm. That's ultimately yeah, that's what, what I'm saying. asking. That's what I'm asking. Hey, we want if the second baseman can I mean keep if the guy pure. on second can figure out what's going on while the shortstop and second baseman are trying to move in and maybe get mm-hmm. him picked off, then we're okay with that. Just if don't you, cheat electronically. If you can steal yeah, that's exactly See, what they're saying. Yeah. And we're wrong. And that's why I don't think you're a bad person, Bubba, because I'm I Someone started sending emails oh, about this funny. yesterday. Where, where you at on this, Helms? And I'll be honest, I, I, I really don't know because I, I'm like Bubba. I always want to go cheating is cheating, but at the same time, there's unwritten rules in baseball that nobody really wants to discuss and talk about, and this is one of them. Well, it, to me, stealing signs is not cheating. It's just part of the game. If you don't want me to know, have a better signal. Hey, how about the first – uh, recorded instant goes back to 1876 with the Hartford dark, dark Blues, and they had a guy sitting out in the shack stealing signs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's using his eyepiece. We'll come back. It we'll was. take we'll yeah. take your phone calls next. Eight six six. We be big. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. to the top of the hour the rick and bubba show as we work our way back chatting with you running down the stories of the day so thankful that you are with us today 
I want to point you to MyPillow.com slash Bubba. MyPillow.com slash Bubba right now. Uh, over 200 items, perfect for Valentine's, an anniversary, a birthday, uh, whatever you need. The new MyPillow flannel sheets, twenty nine ninety eight, perfect, perfect gift. Men's or women's pajama sets uh, in an array of styles and fabrics, thirty nine ninety nine. Lightweight men's or women bathrobes, forty eight ninety eight. Uh, my pillow hoodies are twenty nine ninety nine. My slippers fifty nine ninety eight. Bubba and I both have those. Love them. Mm. Down comforters are sixty percent off, and my pillow two point are fifty percent off. So you can make the move now to mypillow.com slash Bubba. Great American company. Wonderful deals. Quality products. It's the best of all worlds. Uh, so go now to mypillow.com slash Bubba or rickandbubba.com under the sponsors button. Bubba, do you remember when you and I were on the Jenny Jones show? I do. <laughs> Do you remember when we were uh, judging a talent show? Yes, Rick, and we met a young talent that was going to take America by storm. Yep, we were on the Jenny Jones show when he walked out, the Naked Cowboy. Yep. Now a fixture at Times Square. Uh, and and he, American culture. And has and is on the phone. Cowboy, welcome back to Rick and Bubba. Well, I'm the Naked Cowboy keeping it real for you. What's up, guys? How you doing? Well, What's up, naked? Uh, cowboy, uh, we're, we're loving it. How's Times Square today? I'm actually uh, about an mi- uh, hour outside of Birmingham. It's my 26th time driving down the Mardi Gras. So I'll do Mobile, Alabama today. I did Nashville yesterday, and I'll go to Mardi Gras from Wednesday or Thursday till about Tuesday on the 13th. You know, that's a good seasonal change yes, for you, I Yes, it really yes, is. Yes, I, I thought you yes. might have been making your way to Las Vegas, mm-hmm. be out there for the Super Bowl and all that hype. <laughs> well, that is another option, you know, during the uh, – if it if it falls at the right time. But I, Mardi Gras, like I said, I've been there literally every single year for 26 <laughs> years doing seven days, pan in old place. And, I mean, uh, hey, I don't want to say I'm the king of Mardi Gras, but, I mean, it wouldn't be the same without me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not, bra- I'm not bragging. That's just the way it is. That's just the way, way it is. That's just the way it is. <laughs> I mean, that's, uh, I mean there's a, usually a few other people run around naked. It kind of dilutes it a little bit. But, right. uh, you know, I, yeah. try but your, your boots, I try to keep it classy. Yeah, your boots stand out above everybody. That's right. <laughs> uh, we get pictures all the time yeah. of people with you at mainly Times Square, but other places too, and they get you to sing the Rick and Bubba theme. And, and I mean, we get them all the time. It's amazing how many people that listen to this show or watch this show uh, find you. It really is. I can tell you, I literally every single day, somebody says they're from Birmingham, and I say, Rick, and they're like, you know, Rick and Bubba. And I tell them the whole story. You gonged me on a Jenny Jones show. I knew my career would never take off then. <laughs> and, uh, been in the basement ever since. <laughs> uh, well, congratulations uh, on the ongoing success. So how long have you been doing this now? I just had a 25-year anniversary in Times Square. Reuters covered it, so they showed me running for president, mayor, out in the snow, the rain, the wind. And uh, so it was on August 30th, so I'm at 25 years, what, seven months? And, wow. But that's that's just New York, you know. I mean, I went around the country. We did. You remember the Rick and Bubba, that softball game? Oh, I think yeah. the national. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. My, my mother, yeah. Moody, my yeah. mother will never forget it. Yeah, she was on the front row. Yeah. Right. Unfortunately, the way the bleachers were set up, you sang the national anthem standing right in front of her. And <laughs> looking back, she wished she could have got to that top row. <laughs> <laughs> I also sang your breakfast order a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Around and, town, and, being speedy. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Naked. We appreciate you being so nice to people who uh, <laughs> who come up and and visit you in New York, and we really appreciate the love you show, so to speak. Well, thank you. You're to my two favorite guys in the world, Speedy as well, and I love all again. I brag about you guys every single, and I'll, I guarantee I'll be a Mardi Gras. It would be the same thing. I say, I say, ask every single person, where are you from? That's a little conversation piece. Mm-hmm. Like they say Birmingham, Huntsville, anywhere down here, I say Rick and Bubba, and tell them the whole story, and they're always enamored by it. And we say, I always get them to sing the Rick and Bubba song and video it, tell them to sing it to, send it to you. And That's awesome. I love you guys. I, and I heard you guys were going away this year, so I heard that my dad's a deacon, believe it or not, at a church. That is hard and to believe. And he said somebody at, somebody at his... Uh, 
you know, at the congregation or something, just said the other day, he said, I heard Rick and Bubba were going to some. My dad just told me that maybe two days ago in Cincinnati. That's why I immediately wanted to yeah, Tim, wish you well. But you've had a whole year. Yeah, we got a whole year to, to land it, and we're just going to celebrate the whole year. And it's been already uh, great. And, uh, you know, I can just imagine when your dad was going before the, uh, the church leaders for him to be approved as a deacon. <laughs> And they said, is there any reason we should not approve this man? I wonder if somebody just didn't hold up a picture of you. <laughs> uh, no, no, I, I vouch for him. <laughs> I vouch for him. That's great. Hey, good to hear from you, man. And yeah. uh, and hope Mardi Gras goes Thank well. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thanks. Love you guys. Have a great day. Thank, thank you. Thanks for being Bye-bye. such a good PR agent for this show. That's thank right. you very much. Yeah. Wow. Well, I remember when we would ride around together, and uh, this was after Jenny Jones, and he came to town, and he mentioned some of that, but. We'd be in the station van, and he okay. he gave me a prediction. He said, "I'm going to be the greatest entertainer." Do you remember that? And, oh and, yeah. And well, he I, had this I, vision, and we I'll never forget. We went around to car dealerships, and he would get out and sing and stuff. And next thing you knew, he was in Times Square, and he's been there ever since. Yeah, and celebrities will mention him and yeah. bring him up, and he, you'll he, see him on stuff on television, yeah, movies, B rolls, movies. And movies. Oh yeah. 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 I mean, if you're identifying the spot and they're trying to get you the spirit of New York, you always see. Yeah. Him. Yeah. yeah. So um, I remember the softball game. I really do I do the oh gosh! Yeah. Like I say, your mom will never forget it. I, you know, there, sometimes there? when you get older, there's memories you want to forget. You right. can't quite let that one go. <laughs> right. well, what was the incident at Fat Fest? Did he? Yeah, he oh, remember I had to. You were oh. like, I don't know how we're gonna go get him, but we well, got him. yeah, he got, he got a freelance. <laughs> it. it was the first. It was the first Fat Fest. He opened the first Fat Fest. That's right. Mm-hmm. And, and what a way to open! And, and we thought we knew his entire set list, and we did not. Apparently, yeah. no. Some of it was a little, little more out there <clears throat> yeah. than what yeah. we were familiar with. Well, Rick, he was early our, in his career. It wasn't Derryberry coming on behind him. Yeah. No, what happened was, <laughs> and Three on the String puts this on their resume is some of the things they've accomplished. <laughs> is uh, Derryberry was supposed to be next, yeah. and he came back and told us how much he loved Jesus, but. <laughs> He would rather not go on after the guy in the underwear that's cussing. And uh, and we thought, okay, well, that that's understandable. And Three on a String said, we'll be the wedge. Remember uh, yeah. they said we can handle uh, it. that we will transition mm-hmm. Fat Fest and save it. <laughs> Three on a String really saved Fat Fest. Yeah. They, they really did. Yeah. And, um, and it, you know, it's it, he didn't have a lot of songs. Uh, I thought I'd heard them all, but I had not. Yeah. And Rick, he was early in his run. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, he was. It, it, was, it wasn't the radio edit we had heard. No, uh, and uh, now I will tell you this: in in recent years, the first uh, you know Trump uh, attempt to be reelected uh, sounds like a good idea to me. Great, yeah, song. What, good. What was good, and I, I bet play it, that on the best of. Yeah, I bet he's singing that a lot right yeah, now. Yeah, uh, if you know Trump won't get put in jail, oh, right? Uh, so, so yeah, it's a naked cowboy. I mean, if you're going to celebrate the 30 years, he's got to be in it. He does. You know, that was I don't know if it's last year. When he, and Adler showed the picture when he was at Mardi Gras. There was one where the police made him leave. Oh, that's I right. Do remember I that. remember that. And then you're he right. got attacked somewhere, and people were like yanking his underwear down. Remember that? Uh, I, I don't remember that. Yeah, they, yeah, he yeah, got he attacked had, somewhere. He had Israel on his. Like go Israel or something well, that like that. I think, yeah. or maybe it was go Trump. Maybe that's what it was. But, but he I had a guy ripped, his, ripped yeah. his underwear off. And, and didn't he was the naked cowboy. He really was didn't naked. Didn't the officer he had to put some clothes on or he had to leave or yeah, something? Said, yeah, yeah, put some pants on right. or something. Oh, that, yeah, we, that was like last year. Was that, it? Was, yeah. that may have been Mobile. It was Mobile. Remember. It was Mobile last was it? year. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, good to hear from him. And I just can never. It's always humorous when Bubba refers to him as first name Naked. Naked. I mean, you know what, Naked, so, I was thinking. So, Naked, how's your daddy doing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> top of the hour. If you leave us, have a great day. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And I would just tell all Americans to watch these if you can stomach them uh, because um, – if the Democrats right now, they're they're so maniacal and they're so far off the page. If you're an American and you and you love a constitutional republic, you you really just can't be for them right now because they're they're openly socialist. And I I think our country says gives a big stiff arm to socialism and says I don't care which party's doing it, we just can't. And so if anybody a party d- declares they're now the socialist party, we we gotta we got all that. Surely we can all come together on that. And, yeah, history history yeah, shows right. that works really good. Well, mm-hmm. if you believe we're exaggerating, uh, Elizabeth Warren got a chance last night to take the old microphone, and I'll just let uh, you hear her in her own words. Here she is. You know, climate change threatens every living thing on this planet. 
And what scares me is every time you go back to the scientists, they tell you two things. It's worse than we thought, and we have less time. That means we've got to be willing to do things, for example, like regulation. Uh, by 2028, no new buildings, no new houses, zero car without a zero carbon footprint. By 2030, uh, trucks, new, uh, light duty trucks and cars, zero carbon footprint. By 2035, all production of electricity, zero carbon footprint. We do three regulations. We can cut our carbon footprint by 70%. You know what scares me? People like Elizabeth Warren, uh, who thinks all that is possible. Uh, bless her heart. Uh, One, I'd like to really hear her definition of carbon neutral on some of this mm, stuff. Mm, mm, um, mm, mm, she, you know, I don't know how many tens of thousands of people she just unemployed with, with that little move. And she went on. I don't know if she said it right at the end of that or it was later on where she said uh, we want to be 70%. Uh, carbon neutral by so and so date, but they'll throw a date at you. Well, mm -hmm. if you you could be one hundred percent carbon neutral, and as long as China, India, and some of the other big uh, industrialized countries, if they don't buy onto it, you haven't solved anything. So you know that sounds great, and I know it really you, sounds bad. You hmm. you you, 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 I know what you mean. You know you wonder why the little kids are all tore up and and needing medications because y'all are scaring them to death over something that uh, is not proven. It, it's something we need to study, we need to look at. But I'm just from the school that the, the environment is bigger than anything we can do, and it's going to do its own thing, and we have very little effect on it. So, And I haven't changed my mind on that. So, um, But when she's saying carbon neutral, I mean, what is she saying by that in a house? What does she mean exactly? Does she mean that you have to generate your own power? But so, here's what I heard. I heard the, let me tell you what I do know. I heard the word regulation, yeah. the, the R word. And, and you know what? That is the mm -hmm. one. The R that word. is the one. People have talked about why the economy is going so good right now, and I've talked to several business leaders about it. I said, "What exactly do you think is the key to the to the economy churning like it is right now?" And they said, "It is the reduction in just everyday headache." regulation and more and more is falling every day so that gives us freedom and we feel better we go out and we invest we buy new equipment we hire new people to run that equipment and we make more of what we have and other people are buying more so you know it's kind of a process that she gave you a formula right there to absolutely run the economy into the ditch so i'm I, my my business is new home construction that's my business right and now Elizabeth Warren said, well, now if I'm president, the government is going to regulate heavily to the point you can't even build a house unless we approve it. And we, and the way you build it will make it on this definition that we don't even know what it means, right. to your point, carbon neutral. Yeah, give me exactly right. what you mean by that. We don't that. even know what that, that means. That, that, that sounds good, but what, do you, what does that exactly mean? And does that mean we're going to start with government buildings? Let's start with those. Now, usually when they say that, that means that we're not going to let you do it, but we'll keep doing it. Of course. Because we can't afford to do it another way, and we must have the bill. You're talking about government-run health care that the yeah. government themselves do, will not be part of? Yeah. I uh, just, but anyway, uh, you know, it just it just doesn't make sense, some of this stuff. It's just crazy. Well, I tell you, you need to listen, though. What this is is socialism, and what this is is a tyrannical, giant central <clears throat> government that has always, throughout history— what did you say, Bubba, the other day? The only thing that we have that is 100% accurate is history. Yeah. What yeah. happened last time? And what happened last time and every time is when a government becomes tyrannical, they always say that they're saving you from something. That's throughout history. We're here to make your life better and make you safe. We're, when they terrify you, so you'll give up freedom because you think, well, good, the central government, they're good, they're good. They'll help me, they'll help me. They're here, they're here. And, and, and Ronald Reagan said, no, it's just the opposite. The, the most terrifying thing you could ever hear is I'm from the government and I'm here to help. That's the most <laughs> terrifying thing you could ever hear. And, and government regulation is a nightmare. Ask anybody trying to, to, to exercise their capitalistic freedom in the free market. As Bubba just said, what, stop, what stymies an economy is when people trying to do business have to continue to deal with overreaching, tyrannical government regulation. And she has just said as clear as she could say it, if I'm president, I'm bringing government regulation to new home construction, 
and we're going to come up with some fantasy definition that you must meet or we will not let you build a house on your own you property. You really need to listen to that. That you've bought, she is going to deny you the opportunity to build a house on it unless it meets her specifications. Now, this is the same bunch. Six minutes past Big Boy Studio, bleeding edge of technology from Sweet Home Alabama to the world. On all sorts of platforms, uh, whether they be live or archived, uh, it's available uh, every day, uh, Monday through Friday, and then you can go catch archives really anytime. Wednesday Bible study back today, uh, noon Central, 1 o'clock Eastern on the YouTube channel. Todd Jones tomorrow night with themanchurch.com. He'll be in Opelika, First Baptist Church. Uh, he'll be doing uh, the latest man church for them. They've been at it four years through the men's discipleship strategy, but first time for Todd to be there. Talked and to him yesterday. Todd, Todd Aruski's fired up. Got a good message. What about it? That, that. Todd asked a good question. He goes, so this church has been doing it for four years. What can I possibly say that hasn't already been said? <laughs> and I said, well, Todd, that's uh, that's your problem. Uh, so uh, so anyway, that uh, that's coming up tomorrow night. But Todd does a great job, and uh, no one can be Todd. So go enjoy that. Uh, Bubba, now, I know that you tried to send something to Adler. Is This this is going to be under the can't have nothing. Well, I mean, Rick, this sounds like something we would do. Oh, sure. Uh, Back get, to Costanza. Get right in the middle of it yep. again. A Frenchman, Rick, spent eight years of his life, eight years, building a 23-foot-tall replica of the Eiffel Tower out of matchsticks. Oh, wow. But apparently his dream may be going up in smoke because he <laughs> used a brand that could not be bought from stores over the counter. Look at that. That is the, amazing. The Good people gracious. who at, at is it Guinness? I never Guinness. Guinness. Their word, yeah, right? Guinness. I get it. In the, that beer confused. Guinness, <clears throat> same thing. It, but it, it looks different, though, or is it spelled the same? I don't know, I'm it's not spelled sure. the same. Uh, okay, they they came uh, in out. and in their category, it has to be matches you can buy over the counter. Oh, I did not. What? Know. So you, he used you, some you, kind of special match. Oh, to but give him this. give him something. Took eight nope. years. Um, they, he used in this over 700,000 matches and the 47 year old looks like he is going to be denied the world's record. Well, how do you sit back and go, I okay, know. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going for the record on matchsticks building the Eiffel tower. Golly. What, he, what drives you to that? I wonder what they gave him. Cause they, they were standing there with some certificates. Do you think they, maybe he made his own category? Or they got around it some way? Well, they should. That's ridiculous. I mean, you can't give him have some. He, he, is, he is unhappy. I bet. Um, he is married. He raged against the decision, horrified that his patriotic project had met its match, so to speak, <laughs> against the record-breaking bureaucracy. Uh, it's disappointing, frustrating, incomprehensible, and not very fair play, he told the time he's thinking i did all this work i mean i mean y'all let the guy with the long fingernails in yeah he didn't do nothing but just let his fingernails grow right. i did all did this skill with him and if, know, you would real. think that if yeah. i'm gonna do this yeah you better have you you better yeah, you really have your details hey, is this together. okay can i have use documentation kind of something like print i mean so, mm -hmm. did those matches give him some huge advantage or something so yeah. what he was doing was he was buying the matches from the supermarket and he was ha having to manually remove the sulfur heads little striking part of each matchstick. So he struck a deal with a, a match manufacturer to sell him a 30-pound box of headless matches. Well, how? What, but if evidently you're taking you're not it off anyway, what's it matter? Evidently, you're not allowed to do that. I would like to say That's the technicality. I'm uh, sorry. That ought to be. Put a little that, asterisk beside it. Well, really what he did is he, he built the Alpha, Alpha Tower out of a bunch of little small sticks. Yeah, those are not no. matches. Don't have the head on them. Well, mm -hmm. you, you know the 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 head on the match would keep it probably from lying. You know, <clears throat> right? Firm against yeah. other ones. Mm -hmm. So I don't see how you could ever build it out of that no. to begin with. Right. Well, they want you to build it with sticks. Well, he was well, removing it. What, what's the category? Is it yeah. match sticks? Yeah, it I has guess to have a match, match head on it. But if you take the Evidently. match head off, it ceases then to be a match. Headless Think about match this sticks. too. You got well, that many match. Right. Matches in that room, oh, just you bro. bump up against it, the yeah. whole thing can go oh. up. You know, it's incredible the way it looks. Though. Yeah, if you've not seen a picture of this, and we'll try to post it or put on something, uh, it, it's the detail in it is unbelievable. Now, where is it displayed at? Because that's a, it looked like big. a gym or pretty something. Yeah. It was pretty high ceiling. Can I tell you the shocking, most shocking fact of this entire story, based on what he did and the Look time that, that must have taken? You know what the most shocking fact was? He's married. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, that's, that's shocking. Yeah, that's a good point. Can you imagine? Where have you been? I'm mm -hmm. still building my Eiffel Tower out of sticks. 
And, what? And, and, yeah. You're not getting yeah. compensated where, for where it, are you right? going, Where are you going after dinner tonight? Yeah. You, you know, I, I, you think he got to the point he wouldn't even say. Oh, he wouldn't even mention He would it. just go, you know. Out all right, there. All right silly it. question here. All right, so you see the pushback bleachers. He's obviously in some type of gym or something. Yeah. He hadn't been there for eight years. Before, no, that's right? what I was thinking to say. So, so they, I guess it has to be like in pieces. And they and, brought and, him and in. They, or in sections. Uh, and you bring him in to put them together. You can't shut a gym down for eight years. No. Do you think his With his own screen? They're estimating that he – took 4,200 hours of his life for this project, which <laughs> started in 2015. Worth it. I'll let him in. He'll Worth never it. get it back. And then they shut him down. God. He can't get it back, you know. I mean, I guess he's still the Eiffel Tower little stick builder guy, but... And what if you're I the mean, place that whoever's in charge of that venue? All right, let's get this thing out of here. Uh, his, yeah. his wife. Eight is, years of your We life. got a basketball game scheduled. Eight <laughs> years. His wife is named Sandra, and she spoke of her hope that after more than 20 years of dreaming, he would finally be successful. <laughs> she says, by the way, uh, I'm glad I will get my living room back now. She laughed. Oh, so wow. he's been putting it together in the living okay. room. Okay. How sick and tired. Yeah, he's putting travel. together pieces. Yeah, yeah, how that's sick and tired is. of this. Can you imagine? How many times she get to vacuum out and bump something? <laughs> so, you know yeah. so she says 20 years. But think about it. Does anybody <laughs> say, oh, say, tell me your dreams. Um, I'd rather not. Tell no, me your no, hopes. I, tell no, me your really. dreams. I want to know your dreams. I, I'm, I would like, I'm dreaming that one day I can build a giant awful tower mm-hmm. out of like matchsticks. For the world to see. You know what I would say to my kids? Can we set our sights a little higher? Can we shoot for maybe something bigger? There it is. Mm. The um, hmm. you're, that's not exactly Elon Musk. Okay, okay. I mean no, it's, it's uh, I mean I understand it takes a lot of time and and all that, but yeah, I just um. Tell me what you've done with Lots your life. Skill. Hey, tell me what you've done with your life. Well, I'll tell you what I did for eight years. <laughs> and I, over 4,000 hours. I, I built a giant <laughs> awful tower out of matchsticks. I hope I never send another so match. Unfortunately, go. the wrong matchsticks. So I don't even get a ribbon. I don't yeah. even I don't even give a certificate. I don't get in the mm. book. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Surely so, that but, skill he has, he can turn it into something. I mean, shouldn't uh, yeah. shouldn't the the French government, uh, whoever runs the Eiffel Tower, shouldn't they get that like put it in the lobby yeah. or something? Yeah, it has and, to do. And more. we're supposed to believe they need a shorter work week. Yeah, and then and then some protesters will come along and throw paint on it. Don't you know, know that's happening. Let me tell you, he wants to burn that thing to the ground. That's his wife. <laughs> yeah, she's so sick she of can't wait to knock it down. <laughs> she cannot wait. Every if time I hear about that something. tower again, I do it, but I got to work on the tower. Don't you know? Every time she vacuums, match heads come up everywhere. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Why don't we ever Think go anywhere? That. Why don't we ever go anywhere? We don't ever do anything with our friends. Well, you know, I got to work on the tower. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, going for the record. Oh, where goodness. do you put your Christmas tree when you got that baby in the den, honey? When they, well, I'll be forever in the Guinness Book of World Records. And who currently holds it? The record. I don't know. And how big is it? I'm Just saying for eight Christmases to to, <laughs> to Bubba's point. Forget the Christmas tree. We've had that in the living room. Right. <laughs> I tell you what award he can get wasting eight years. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a that's wow. a good point. He might that may be a whole new category. Right. right. Like, yeah, boom, so, boom. I mean, does anybody ever come up to you and go, "I was on the wrong track, <laughs> and I I just couldn't find any hope to live." And then I saw you building that Eiffel Tower with matchsticks, <laughs> and that just turned my whole life around. Even though everything technically changed. matches, but yes, <laughs> right. And then, Still and, look, and just when I was using you as like something that would give me help, I found out you were cheating. And you know, it's the current owner, the holder of the record that probably pointed it out. Of no, uh, 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 I had to get scrape the heads off mine. Yeah, they yeah. don't have the heads off. Yeah, on. if there is another person, I, I don't even know. Yeah, uh, what held the record before this? Right, yeah. the money on the money on glue and, and, and headless sticks alone. I can't imagine. What mm. I was doing. Mm. Wonder what kind of glue he used. Wood sure enough, Gooden. I mean, do you use money. Old, do you use old Elmers or do you Good go with something? Time. Uh, when you was a kid, you squirt Elmers on your hand, let it dry. Yeah, and no. yeah. Oh. snake skin. Yeah. <laughs> Are you the? Oh, you're the Roll guy. It up in a box. Oh, so yeah. what are they? So you came up with something eight years you've been studying. So you like the next Velcro guy? No, 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 not Velcro. Mm-hmm. Electric cars? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-mm. Uh, new energy? No. Did you work on the light bulb, make it a little more efficient? Nope. What What did you do? Built a awful tower out of illegal matchsticks. <laughs> Didn't even get, I got suspended. <laughs> right? Yeah. How dare you? How dare you? Uh, Fifteen minutes passed. Well, I hate that for him. There you. Well, I, I really do because I want to say accomplish something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh. But 
I mean, there you go. I, it's, it's, I mean, it's impressive, I, but uh, just uh, it seems like somebody would, like Hamsey's point, read the rule book before yeah, you yeah. finish. I, let, before I put eight years in, let's have a look. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. That will get on TV next week when the impeachment trial starts. And they're going to accuse our current president of being a dictator and thinking he's above the law. Correct. But yet we hear her say she's going to do this. She's going to put an end to all drilling. Uh, they're going to do away with permits for uh, pipelines we currently have. Uh, they're going to stop co- uh, all kind of uh, drilling offshore. All the things we've done that has made us now energy independent. Don't Nuc- right. Nuclear power plants are out. Yeah. You Let me ask you this. And, and you they'll this. also tell you they hate us being involved with the Middle East, but then they'll ha- also hate us for being independent <laughs> when it comes to oil. You can't have it both ways. <laughs> no. but, but her statement on every scientist she talks to tells her two things. It's worse than we thought and we have less time. Well, according, we've done stories on these articles of predictions that were made 10 or 15 years ago that have not came true yet. Right. So even if you believe it, really, by that, it means it's not as bad as you thought and you have more time. Well, I go thought, back to right? my statement. History is the only thing we know for sure, and they've been wrong. They've been wrong. They've right. been wrong. They've been wrong. So why are, are we going to give them the gold ribbon now to we, go, well, you must be right. Yeah, According to climate alarmists, we should all already be dead. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now, don't forget this. We did the story the first week back from vacation where Montana is changing their sign in Glacier Park because the sign says the glaciers should be gone now. Hmm. It literally says by 2020 these glaciers will be gone. They're not gone. They're still there. And they had to change the sign. So why, to Greg's point, does Elizabeth Warren give us more dates when you've given us dates before and they were wrong? And if they're wrong, what does that mean? The information you have is wrong. That's what it means. Yeah. If I tell you that if we don't if we don't switch paper uh, by Thursday, we won't be able to print anything out, and then Thursday shows up, we didn't change paper, and we still have it, well, then I was wrong. The, the calculation I made and whatever information I had about our paper was incorrect. We didn't run out of it. Right, we still have it. And in Elizabeth, so my calculation was wrong. Yeah, and in Elizabeth Warren's case, we have remember she she's been telling us that she is of Indian heritage. She took money, scholarships, a job mm-hmm. that was designated to help people of of uh, Indian descent to 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 help them out. She stole somebody's and she stole somebody's scholarship because she thought she was an Indian, and and went and took a test and proudly. Give us the results of that, which showed she wasn't an Indian. Right. Now, we're going to let her be in charge of our country. If you do that, America, you get what you deserve. A vote for Elizabeth Warren and most every Democrat that I've heard is going to be a vote for socialism. So if you don't think socialism works, you can't vote for that party in its current state. You can't. I- I'm just shocked how far it and how crazy that that group has got. I mean, it's just, they're off the chart. Well, I'm kind of thankful for it because I think uh, it will hopefully be so clear. They're not as good as pretending to be something else as the Clintons were, and um, our Bill Clinton was. Hillary, she couldn't stand it. But we'll come back. Your phone calls are next. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. More Rick and Bubba coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I mean, wow, he's athletic. Keeps Cliff in line. Kurt, what do you want? Kurt, what are you hoping for? I'll take the meat. All right, let's see what happens. (laughs) (laughs) Well said. (laughs) And you're going to get it. Looks like they're calling it today. Uh, Oh, no, no, Rick. Missed it by one. So close. But it landed on Henry the horse. Here he comes. Here he comes. Henry the horse. Bring it in, brother. Hey, Henry. What's up, guys? Hey, Henry. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you're oh, doing your signals. Signal. You're doing your signals. We don't like, know what the signals are. That's right. Well, yeah. Henry, what, what are you signaling? I was saying that Elizabeth Warren has lost her mind. <laughs> All right, so you you knew this is, and I can already hear Greg churning over on his mic. Uh, the
21 minutes past the hour. Thank you for being with us today on this edition of the Rick and Bubba Show. We'll try to get more phone calls in before the hour is done, but as uncomfortable as this makes us, it's time for our Biden update. Where to go? Where to go? Everybody, Basement Joe. I said Basement Joe. Uh, so we have more uncomfortable moments uh, with Joe Biden. Uh, we'll we'll start. Um, this this is the narrative. We've got a caller today that, of course, has been duped by all that. That before he dropped f bombs on us, showing mm-hmm. his classy self, and and not. I'll be honest with this: not very loving, <laughs> no, not very loving, no, not not, not very understanding, and honestly, not wanting us to live out our truth. No, uh, and didn't want us to be. And that's uh, how we come to terms with. That's it. That's right. So, and it it hurt my feelings. I know it did yours, Bubba. Yeah. And uh, we may never be the same. Uh, but anyway, here is uh, Joe Biden again doubling down. The border isn't secure because of Donald Trump. Uh, so, uh, so here we go. <laughs> Every day between now and November, the American people are going to know that the only reason the border is not secure is Donald Trump and his MAGA Republican friends. You talking about the ones that were building a wall? Yeah, the ones one? that were building a wall. It was a big old okay, wall so that, that could have really secured it. Uh, that's kind of hard to. Yeah, you're sitting president. Mm-hmm. You have the majority in the Senate. Um, you use your pen and pass a lot of uh, executive orders that bypass Congress. Mm-hmm. Uh, but somehow Donald Trump, who has not been in office for four years, has blocked you from securing the border when you've had three and a half years to do whatever you wanted to do. But instead, every month we have enough people come in to 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 be the size of the city of Pittsburgh. I mean, come on. It would be like him saying, let's say this studio right now, I'm looking across the studio and there's a door here, okay? And that door keeps you from going back into the offices, okay? And let's say that there was a problem with people bombarding those offices in there. And I, I became, you know, in charge of here, and I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a, a door up right there, and I'm going to lock it. And that way, if, if people want to go back there, at least they can stop. We'll talk to them, and then we'll decide whether we're going to let them go back there or not. Right. And all of a sudden, somebody else came in and took over for me and knocked the door down, removed the door completely, and left it wide open, and then went out and says, well, people are running back in the offices because of Rick. You'd have a hard time with that. You're like, you I think Rick put a door up and locked it. I, I, what yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> right. Uh, I mean, we're 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 going to we're, we're going to say the guy that was building a wall is the reason the border's not secure. I, it's, it's a tough a, sale. It, it's a yeah. stretch, but I mean, if you're out of touch with reality, it's pretty probably a pretty easy step. Yeah. Well, uh, as, so as we uh, said earlier, very bizarre, uh, very bizarre. Yeah, yeah. The, the bill was yeah. was full of all kind of stuff. They. Many of the people in Congress want to handle these issues separately, right? But it's all being lumped together: Israel, Ukraine, border, all this, and they really don't want to solve the problem, or they would have already done it. They had the, what they yep. needed to to oh, stop yeah. it. Yep. This is just to try to flip this issue and say, no, we're because they their polling is showing they're in trouble. Right. That's the bottom line. They're in bad trouble on the border. Yep. Bad trouble on the economy. And they're trying to find a win here somewhere. Biden will now attempt to talk about Israel, but it does not go well. Mm. Uh, now mm. he's going to take on. I think. Keep in mind what's going on in Israel right now is the tension could not be higher. Okay, and now he's going to try to talk about this, and he can't even put it all together. Oh, I think he's searching for Hamas, and he just can't <laughs> find it. So here we go. There is some movement, and I don't want to. I don't want to. Well, maybe choose my words. Oh, my goodness. There's some movement. There's been a response from the... Uh, oh. Speedy, I'm sorry. The, the, there's been a response. Oh. His eyes are closed. The opposition. But, um, it, it, yes, I'm sorry, from Hamas. But it seems to be... Uh, a little over the top. We're not sure where it is. There's a continuing negotiation right now. Did y'all hear Anybody that? Anybody feel updated? There, there was a staff. Uh, that, anybody feel updated? Somebody there, threw there was a staff. They, could, they, could, they couldn't handle it. They was like, Hamas, 
Yeah. You finally just had to I, shout Hamas! I can't find one Hamas! thing that made any sense, even if Hamas! you could have found Hamas. Uh, Hamas! <laughs> I feel like I went to sleep during uh, uh, that, much like the guy uh, delivering it. Uh, yeah, let's say, let's say right now. God you you, you just looked up and said, hey, there's the president. He's about to update us on what's going on in Israel. Did, are you feel updated? Can, can we hear it one more time? Does anybody feel updated? Let, let, me, let me really dig here. Try to get I love each other. There is some movement, <laughs> and I don't want to, I don't want to, well, maybe choose my words. Mm-hmm. There's some movement. There's been a response from the uh, from who? Looking off in Looking the, 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 there's been a response uh-huh. from yeah. the opposition. But, um, it, it, yes, I'm sorry, from Hamas. Okay, but it seems to be uh, I was trying to talk. a little over the top. We're not it sure where it is. There's continuing Let's see negotiation. Right. Okay. Let's see if we can time there it. Is like he's referring to us. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can time it. We want. give him Hamas. Yeah. All right, go back up. Show me where the Hamas I mean, moment is when he finally words. says yes, thank you, because I want to try to time it like we told him. There's been a response from the – the, the, there's been a response from the opposition, Hamas! but um, it, it, yes, I'm sorry, Rick. from Hamas. Rick, Rick, I, uh, you see the count? It's at 27 seconds. Yeah. I said 27. Let's try 27 it again. seconds. Let's try it again. The, the, there's been a response <laughs> from the opposition, but um, Hamas! It, it, yes, I'm sorry, from Hamas. <laughs> Hey, now do it like you're sneezing. Do it like you're sneezing. Try it again. Let's right. do it with sneezing. There's been a response from the opposition, but um, Hamas. It, 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 yes, I'm sorry, from Hamas. Hamas. <laughs> Oh, my Somebody couldn't stand it. In free world. The whole free world. That's our, yeah, that's our president. Gosh. Oh. Sleep when, tight, America. When <laughs> yes. He, when he pretends to say, oh, let me let me choose my words carefully here. That, he just can't think he of just, it. He doesn't no, know the words. He's trying to he, find he the like words. he's trying not, to be like, yeah, He's yeah. trying to choose them carefully. That's so disheartening. Let's see, I don't want to sound like a DA. <laughs> let me choose my words here. <laughs> choose your words. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. I'm laughing so I don't cry. Oh, my God. From the opposition. But, um, <laughs> it, it, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> From the mosque. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Bubba, this is not good. This is the president. You, you, hey, you realize this? This is not just some... This is the president. Oh. I know. I, I don't know what more to say. We've come so far from the vice president misspelling potato. I don't even know how to act. Oh. <laughs> That's a good point. Well, Dan Quayle missed his window, oh, didn't he? he no, did. he did. Oh, he'd oh, shine he right now. Oh, Ooh, no. like a new dime. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right. Well, there we go. There, everybody's updated. Huh. We'll be back. Feel better? Uh, 866-WE-BE-BIG is the number. Anybody was not clear on what's happening with Israel and, and uh, their enemies? Come on! Come on! You're updated. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees have been announced. And Bubba, I, I have bad news for you and Greg. Well, let me just... You who's not on it and Greg who actually is on it. Let me just say this. and I don't even care about this list if Sticks and Foreigner's not on it. Because how could they be left out with all that junk we got in there already? Bubba, I got bad news. They hadn't even been nominated. Mm. Well, who nominates it? I don't know. Isn't that cr- I'm with you. How do I agree you, with you. Look, look at the Especially airplay. Especially when you see this fine bunch we look got at, this year. Look at the airplay that they had when we were growing up. How are they not in there? I agree. I well, would shut the doors in shame till I put them in. And to make it even worse, because I think this band fits in the same category, the Doobie Brothers are going in. Yeah, and they're overdue. They how how can you in. have the I Doobie know. Brothers and not not have sticks and not, not have form? Not my favorite group, but I think based on their uh, influence in oh, American yeah. music, yeah. absolutely yeah. they should be. And wouldn't yeah. you say they're out of that same category? Oh, mm-hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You, you show me the radio airwaves in the 80s, which we all know is the greatest decade mankind has ever seen and <laughs> have yet to repeat. Right. And 
you listen for Foreigner, Sticks, or the Doobie Brothers, you're going to hear one, two, or possibly three of them every hour mm-hmm. of some song. All right, so they were a staple. Greg, I see one. That, that and Hall and Oaks. I see yeah. one that you're just going that you and I both two that we will lose. Some our of them, I don't with. even know who they are. Well, here's what I don't understand, and Greg, Ridiculous. pardon me if I'm if I'm stealing your thunder here, but um, I thought it's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I, yeah, well, we we, we, we went past that a long time. Yeah, a long but, time. But 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 don't we have Hall of Fames for other genres of music I as well? I don't know. We have a country music Hall of we Fame. We do. You're right about that. Uh, so I guess you never and there a bluegrass Hall of Fame. Yeah. Um, but there's well, not I, a hip-hop hall of fame. Why is there not a – Well, there, I bet there is. I, I bet there's was. a rap or a hip-hop hall of fame. They probably wouldn't have Glenn Campbell in there. I don't know if there's it, not. Yeah. Right? Well, they wouldn't. By the way, if you have not seen the, the Glenn Campbell oh, documentary. it's very disturbing. Have you man. seen it? I, I know enough of it to be disturbed. I watched the entire See, thing. I love Glenn Campbell when he had his variety show, and mm-hmm. I know what he went through. and. We all, you know, we oh. understand, but I, I hate it for him. There's I, a hip-hop hall I watched hall the whole thing. Wow. He did a tour – with Alzheimer's, his last tour, wow. and but and buddy, what a hmm. being on that crew and being in his, you know as a lot of his kids were in the band and his wife and all that. It was amazing what he could do. It also was amazing because you you study the mind that he didn't really know what day it was or what was going on, but yet he could still remember the melodies of the songs. Yeah, yeah. and he could still play the guitar unbelievably. How old was he when he he passed? Oh, uh, he's in his seventies, I think. Maybe maybe he always looked, maybe older. He always remember. looked young to me, though. Mm-hmm. You know, when he, you remember his variety show? Yeah, maybe he was in his eighties when he actually passed, but he got to where he couldn't function anymore. I think in his mid seventies. Mm-hmm. Uh, but his last tour, that last tour, I mean, he'd already been diagnosed and had the symptoms and was struggling with it, which makes it very moving that they were able. There is one point where you kind of think, "Are y'all just keeping him out on the road because it's successful?" I mean. There were, there was you start feeling a little weird about the family at one point. You know what I mean about, yeah, uh, yeah. but but I, I, not that they I should. I'm not saying that's legitimate. They obviously love him and they thought it was a good thing for him, and I guess it, it was. But amazing what he could do. But I mean, they said like what was what was funny is I forgot who they kicked it to. One of the was it was it Bono, some somebody who had been this is a music icon and was talking about the influence of of Glenn Campbell and who mm-hmm. he was, and he goes he goes hey look, yeah I saw it. Did he do Wichita lineman twice? He did. He goes, but he's hey, he, Glenn Campbell. Let him do it twice. If he wants to do it twice, do it twice. Did, do it twice. Did, I mean, you would did Rhinestone go- Cowboy still bring a tear to your eye? That's oh, yeah. what I want to know. <laughs> but Rick, back to your uh, original question. I think it was you, maybe Bubba, yeah. Greg. A nominating committee of about twenty nine uh, folks, twenty nine okay. or thirty, it differs in the year. Who are these people? Composed of rock and roll historians. They select the names, the performers, the instrumentalists, the groups, the bands, and then it is voted on by roughly 500 experts across the world. So, all right, so I want want to just see if I have this right. What about this annual fan vote? What is that? Yeah, the, yeah, I think I the fans get there's one now. They didn't start that too not too long ago. And let me throw this in there. There has been a hip hop hall of fame since the 90s. Thank you. That's my question. Here's what I don't Sugar get. Sugar Hill had to be the first. Here's one what I don't right. get. And guess what? If you'll just clarify this, I'm going to be okay. Okay. So we have a hip hop hall of fame. We have uh, we have a blues hall of fame. Country. We have a country hall of fame. We have a bluegrass hall of fame. So we have hall of fames for every genre of music, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Should we rename this and say this is pop music hall of fame? Or just Meaning, music, mu- music, or hall music of hall of fame. Meaning it doesn't matter what yeah. genre it is. Well, you can all go get your individuals. For instance, yeah, you shouldn't call it rock and roll. Yeah, for hall instance, of yeah. Should you just say yeah. this is a music hall of fame and it's the most prestigious? For instance, exa- perfect example. I'll take Dad. Perfect example. Hey, Dad, welcome. Talking about our Dad. Yeah. Welcome to the Calhoun County Hall of Fame. Yeah. That was where he coached high school ball. Hey, Coach Burgess, welcome to the high school Hall of Fame where he coached high school. Here we go. More of the Rick and Bubba show continuing. CB Distillery teaming up with ORB. And right now we get you 20% off with the code Bubba at cbdistillery.com. Uh, these uh, formulations are made from the highest quality, clean ingredients. No fluff, no fillers. Just pure, effective CBD solutions designed to help support your health. Um, non, um, uh, the, in the, they're not designed 
you know, to do anything other than to try to help you with specific things like sleeping. Now, I, I love this one. Ninety percent of the people that are, that use the products available at CBDistillery.com that were struggling to have a good night's sleep, ninety percent of them said they slept better with CBD. And uh, 80% said it helped them with pain after physical activity. 81% said uh, they it helped them, uh, you know, be calm, not be as anxious. They were struggling with anxiety. So if you're looking for clean products that are all natural uh, and available, you can get them. And we get 20% off at cbdistillery.com if you use the promo code Bubba. We also have a link for you at rickandbubba.com under the Sponsors button. Tucker Carlson. So Bubba, he interviewed Vladimir Putin, or is going to interview yeah, Vladimir I'm, Putin. Yeah, I'm confused about this. I, I saw the headlines. I'm not really sure what's going on with this, uh, but we have a video right where he's just telling us mm -hmm. what's happening. Here. Okay, all right. So here's Tucker Carlson. Yeah, give me one second. Sorry, I was. What's that? Courtesy of the X. Uh, yeah, <laughs> courtesy of Tucker Carlson on X. Uh, he, he, We're in Moscow tonight. We're here to interview the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin. We'll be doing that soon. There are risks to conducting an interview like this, obviously. So we thought about it carefully over many months. Here's why we're doing it. First, because it's our job. We're in journalism. Our duty is to inform people. Two years into a war that's reshaping the entire world, most Americans are not informed. They have no real idea what's happening in this region, here in Russia or 600 miles away in Ukraine. But they should know. They're paying for much of it in ways they might not fully yet perceive. The war in Ukraine is a human disaster. It's left hundreds of thousands of people dead, an entire generation of young Ukrainians, and it's depopulated the largest country in Europe. But the long-term effects are even more profound. This war has utterly reshaped the global military and trade alliances, and the sanctions that followed have as well. And in total, they have upended the world economy. The post-World War II economic order, the system that guaranteed prosperity in the West for more than 80 years, is coming apart very fast, and along with it, the dominance of the U.S. dollar. These are not small changes. They are history-altering developments. They will define the lives of our grandchildren. Most of the world understands this perfectly well. They can see it. Ask anyone in Asia or the Middle East what the future looks like. And yet the populations of the English-speaking countries seem mostly unaware. They think that as nothing has really changed. And they think that because no one has told them the truth. Hmm. Good stuff. Well, it is true that we have no idea what's going on with this war. Uh, we all have contributed mightily to it. And no matter how you feel about Tucker Carlson, it, it would be kind of awesome if somebody would journalistically try to go get us answers that nobody seems to want to give us. Yeah, I'm, I'm shocked that Putin's talking to him, really. Right. So well, has it happened already and just mm -hmm. has not aired? Is that, is that, is that correct? I don't yeah, know. That's what yeah. the story says. I okay. Believe. All right, yeah. I believe he was wrapping that up. Okay. So, <clears throat> so he's there. He's interviewed him, and I guess we'll see it, uh, and then we'll decide uh, if uh, – I, I know that it's being and – it, and there's some truth to this. This is actually fair, that this, he all, all he's going to get is a propaganda machine. Um, yeah, well, we know but, that. Yeah. But uh, – But at least you'll hear – you can right. you can determine some of their thought process based on their propaganda about it. Right, and um, so it, it'll be interesting to see, and um, uh, and of course Elon Musk must be thrilled because an interview with Vladimir Putin by Tucker Carlson, no matter how you feel about it, will be a monster when it when it is released. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah. I mean, and I'll say this too: uh, he has been in Moscow since Tuesday. Okay. So I know he's conducting that interview. If it's complete, I don't know. I know they're in the process of it. Um, at, at one point, he, he says that not a single Western journalist has bothered to try to interview P Putin. Um, that Putin's office has come back and said, that's not true. We've had lots of requests. Um, you know, what's her name? Barbara Walters actually interviewed Putin a, a long, long time ago. Oliver Stone. A lot of people have done this before, but for some reason, if Tucker Carlson does it, he's a traitor. Right. He's, a, he's, he's Putin's puppet. And that doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. The left saying that anybody other than them are puppets for evil dictators. <laughs> right. I, now we're back to Trump is the problem at the wall. I mean, I, I just, uh, yeah. some of this is just absurd. Yeah. Uh, some of the ac the things it's, it's, the accusations that I they mean, make. I mean, you just you just can't really think somebody would try to pull that off, you know. 
other things that we've talked about, um, let's look at this nine video nine. Now, Bubba, I know you and I love this kind of stuff. Um, these conspiracy theorists. Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, unfortunately King Charles has been diagnosed with cancer. Uh, they seem to think that he's going to be okay, but, but who really knows? And there's all kinds of rumors about whether that's true or not. And he's going to go ahead and, and, you know, give up the throne to William and all that, who knows, but, but there was some conspiracy theory that, People claim they saw the Grim Reaper walking by when King Charles was being crowned as king. Yeah. Um, gracious. Now say, oh, I, no, they were such a crowd. There are always somebody walking by. Now. So, Adler, is this, the, is this the proof of it here? I mean, it, to me, it, it's 100% definitely provable, the Grim Reaper. You guys let me know what you think. Huh. It's going to show up in this little hallway back here. Okay. And I remember this actually happening. Oh my goodness. Clearly, clearly the Grim Reaper. That, yeah. I mean, I'm, clearly. I'm well, he, he, he's got a straight... Spear though it's not a sickle. Looks like the silhou be. it looks like the yeah. silhouette of maybe a, hey, pri a priest or something. Though. Well, there's there's so much. Yeah, there's so many people in uniform or in costumes. Yeah, right, yeah. Who knows? Right. That is kind of creepy though. It, yeah. It's very uh, creepy. I, 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 hey, I will give you that. Uh, hey, I, I give you that. Yeah. That looks a little that. odd. I'll give you a little that. bit <laughs> creepy. I'll, I'll give it odd. Okay. A little uh, bit uh, creepy. That uh, is. But I do remember that that was like a thing when during this when, wow. he, when he got crowned, people were like, "Oh, it's the Grim Reaper," and then for him to come out and and have cancer so soon is very weird. It is, it is, it is. And, I, and how about that? We'll give you that. Um, wow. Look at that. Now tell me about eight. Mm. Chile decided to highlight an all women SWAT team for an international competition. Yes, this is at the the UAE's. Uh, SWAT competition. It's like a, a show. Uh, they put it I on. Didn't know, I didn't know this existed. I didn't mm -hmm. either. But they decided to have women, uh, an all all woman SWAT team, come out and do this competition, and um, Vamos. it it doesn't go great for Bubba, them. Oh no! Oh. Right out of the gate, un unfortunately. Um, they're I running. One of them's already breathing. And now it's a, like an obstacle course. See, it, this is like a big deal. It's the UAE SWAT Challenge, and it's televised. And so Chile tries to be sharp and says ours is all women. I think they just gave them a chance to almost do like an it's exhibition run. Yep. Oh, no. Uh -oh. And oh, they're coming to the zip line here and over a moat. Oh, wow. And... Uh -oh. the uh -oh. They can't quite get across. They're stuck. Go. Uh, one got across. Oh, and... oh no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going back. do something. Hey, oh, I got to no. know. Is this a skit? No, no, this is not satire. Look at her. She's mad. Did she get out of the water? Is this a skit? This is not satire. I'm trying. I'm trying. Guys, what is this one? One's going backwards. I can't watch this. What's this other one going to do? Try to knock them down? What are they doing? They're trying to zip line over the moat, and it's just not working. To the beginning of the zip line and do it again. And currently, oh my gosh, they're trapped. Oh my god, have uh, what in the world? Three team members stranded. Well, men and women are interchangeable. In the I mean, there's, yeah, right. it's just, uh, you're right. Yeah. Uh, so there's. Oh, look, now we're gonna try to. Are we pushing? Oh, no, that's not that working. Pretty good. No, it's not. They're not yeah, doing this. Be another one they're stuff. not doing this. <laughs> this just can't be. Jump going off backwards of again. It and run. Backwards. Just let go. Get yeah, over with. Adler, I'm mad at you, Adler. This is real. Yeah. I'm sorry. Is this a joke, straight? No, up? no, this is not satire. They, they were like, let's let's let them do it. It'll be okay. great. Did they practice this at all? Uh, right. Did they have, oh, yeah. Robert, that's a great one. question. Did we get a run through? <laughs> these doing? other two think they got a chance. Oh, they, right into the mode. Please look at red shirts. They equipment. don't know what to do. do so every help? every one of them except one ends up in the water. And okay. she's still hanging there. Oh, wow. And I think her grip strength is about to go out. Unfortunately. What are they doing? And what are they doing? Oh, and what is man. she doing? Why is she still hanging out? I on? don't know what she thinks is going to happen. <laughs> Yo, Look, it, what are you doing? By Look, golly, I'm going to do it. Oh, this, this is not good. You're going you're gonna to hurt somebody's head. This, I, they, they have, this, by the way, is the timer still going? Timer this, struck, still going. Yeah. this struck fear in criminals everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, no. It's well, the all-female SWAT drop? team. They oh, dropped we, their handles, the zip line. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, We're oh, having to oh, fish them. Oh, We're at 2.15, yeah. and they hadn't got through the first one. I'm, no. with you, I'm with you, too, Speedy. They look winded pretty early. Oh, yeah. yeah. Around the corner, they were already doing that like deep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's not good when he shows up that quick. no, no. It, it, it took them five minutes, but they figured out one at a time they can make it across. We'll be back. Your phone calls wrap up the hour at 866 <laughs> We Be Big. All 10 lines available. We'll chat with you when we come back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
And they've got two team members over. Vamos! Two more members to come. One more. Uno más. Uno más. Vamos, uno más. Yeah! Hey, Coach Burgess, welcome to the Jacksonville State Hall of Fame of people that were at Jacksonville State. But then, at one point, welcome to the Alabama Sports right. Hall of Fame. Is that really – should we just take this one and say, look, we've got all of our specialty Hall of Fames, but then if you make it in your music, no matter what music genre you're, you're from, if you make it to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland, that's the most prestigious. Is, yeah. that, is that fair? Yeah. You know, like you could be named – you know how we have these different – Give people play no matter what sport they play. They have the baseball Hall of Fame, but you also could go into another your, sports Hall an, of Fame. just a, a sports Hall yeah. of Fame that includes anybody great yeah. at any sport, yeah. like the one we have here. You mm-hmm. know, we, we we have the the Alabama Sports Hall. We of Fame. We have one of the greatest, but, by the way. Yeah, but it's not. You can be baseball. You can be tennis. You can be football. You can be whatever. Yeah. But you could also be in Hall of Fames in those individual sports. Correct. Is that what we're? T- should we treat it more like that? Yeah. Because I don't understand how how. The notorious B.I.G. I think this is considered Houston, the Cooperstown, right? And we should yeah. we should acknowledge it that way. How can we have the notorious B.I.G. Whitney Houston <laughs> and the Doobie Brothers going into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Yeah. Or Depeche Mode. Greg, that, seriously, I may dislike Depeche Mode as much don't, as, don't, as don't, hey as much as I like any musical. Band. I don't. I thought that was a top it, ice cream. Even if it, if that's your thing, or were they that popular? <laughs> I didn't think so. What they had? What about Nine Inch Nails? Nine Inch, which is basically one guy. But mm-hmm. that's that Adler loves that crap. That's that industrial mess. But is that Rock and Roll Hall of Fame material? I don't think so. Well, especially when I have the list, because we're about the right time, but the list of people who were up for it that didn't get in it, they were actually nominated, and some of these have been picked. Who you was kidding me? Pat Benatar, that would have been a good one. I think that's good. Dave How about Matthews, Thin Lizzy, Rick? Oh, my Seriously? Goodness. Right. Yeah. I'd even put the MC5 in there because they influenced a lot. They weren't. Hugely popular, but they influenced a lot of bands that ended up being rock bands. The MC5, you ever seen anything mm-hmm. on them? I have. Pretty I, good. Amazing. As a, as a guy that doesn't follow music like you guys, did it? Was it always more rock and roll? And at some point, yes. it changed. Yes. When was that? Yeah, I think it did. Was that eighties, nineties? Was that was that just recent in the last twenty years? Well, did Motown always be part of it? Because Motown, I never, never really kept up with it that much. There's probably a Motown Hall of Fame. You see yeah. my point, though. Has this always been going on and we're just noticing it more? Or is this something new over the last 20 years? Well, we were talking about tyrannical governments early in the program. Sadly, we were talking about our own. If Elizabeth Warren and uh, her party gets to regain power again. You know, if you're in Iran and, uh, you know, we, we talk about empty scamps and tattletales, they're not a huge fan of it. Uh, so we have this video that, that has come out. And now it, it really – there's not even a debate any longer. Iran shot down the Ukrainian passenger jet. Yeah, it looks like with two missiles. Yeah. Shot at it twice. By, by accident. Mm-hmm. Now, yep. remember, something I still don't understand. They didn't mean us any harm. All right. Okay. Right. Uh, just they br- were just they, they throwing were just, brush back It was pitches. a brush back. They didn't mean yeah. us any harm at all. Uh, it's just when they thought one of our planes was flying in in retaliation, they shot it down. They don't mean it's any harm. Even though that I mean, plane a, left their airport and right. was going the other direction. Right. I don't know. Well, Bubba, it, it's bad, you know, to to uh, to be in Iran and be the person who actually shot the video. That's actually worse than being the person that shot the missiles. <laughs> um, because now you've ruined Iran's and all these tyrannical governments, you know, who just make up, you know, news. Oh, I'm sorry. We're doing that now. <laughs> but. Uh, you know, they, they were denying that they shot it down, but now this video shows clearly that they did. And Greg said they're now looking for the person who shot the video. Is that correct? Right. Do they have him? I they just heard that he was is, is arrested or is going to be arrested. They're going. Eh, not, not good. Not good if I heard down the way in. If the Iranian government found out you're the one that shot the video that's out that everybody sees that, you, we, that they shot down a passenger jet. Uh oh. That's. Uh, mm. And look, it, it was accidental, but it was because. Now, only the Democrats can take this and blame it on Trump. Right. <laughs> they're doing it. They're, they're, they're well, saying terrible. that Trump kills Samanali, whatever his name is, yeah. 
And then, because he he was just this hero. I mean, we even heard Chris Matthews refer to him as Elvis uh, or Princess Di to the Iranian people. Yeah. Of course, yeah. you see a lot of uh, Iranian people who can speak freely saying just the opposite. But yeah. anyway. Phone calls. The real Greg Burgess standing by. 866-WE-BE-BIG is our number. As we get ready to wrap up another hour, chatting with you, America. Now, I know that I still have not watched it except for the time 2020 did something on this Alex Murdahl stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I saw. I mean, I understand the story because they covered it pretty well. But uh, an update on that is uh, Alex Murdahl has been ordered to pay $1.8 million to the victims of that boat crash. Yeah, yeah. So. That that kind of started that chain reaction right. uh, to everything that went on. I'm kind of out of the loop. I'm like you. I, I kind of watched it from fifty thousand feet. Sure. I'm really not up on the details. Sure. It was just so weird and sad. You know the whole thing. Yes, it was. Uh, but uh, Bubba said in the break when we talked about it off air, he was like, "Well, those people, I can give them a good luck collecting that money." Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, but you, you know, I think that's when his son, what Paul was was driving the boat. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then he got to the hospital, and he tried to persuade people to do different things, and it was just a mess. Trying to cover it all up. Yeah. Everything. Sure. <clears throat> uh, to the phones we go, 866-WE-BE-BIG. Uh, let's go to, uh, is it Guy? That's the name? Arlington, Virginia. Hey, Guy. Welcome to Rick and Bubba. How are you? Hey, hey guys. Yeah, it's it's Guy. And, uh, Rick, I just wanted to say a thank you to you, because anytime I have a rough day, your latest CD, the track um, Big Lift Meets Car Wash. Yeah. I laughed so hard my sides hurt of you doing an impression of that guy. So I just wanted to thank you. I've listened to that many times, and I can't drive by a car wash without thinking about that. Well, <laughs> thank you. I've had a lot of bad episodes at car washes, yeah. as you know. And uh, <laughs> and I wonder if your first name is Guy. People can get away with acting like they know you and say, what's up, Guy? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. yeah. yeah I, that's great. Well, thank you. That's encouraging, and thanks for listening there in Virginia. We appreciate that very much. Uh, we continue. Let's go to uh, Alex. Muscle Shoals, W L A Y. Alex, go ahead. Hey guys, uh, so having the neck of cowboy being on the show earlier, I got to thinking with uh, Speedy and his experience streaking. Mm-hmm. If at the end of the year we could have Speedy and uh, Naked Cowboy do a do it. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, somehow, uh, you know, if you remember, it was um, uh, Brad. What's the comedian? Who, Stein. It's Brad Stein, and it drove him crazy. That the naked cowboy called himself the naked cowboy, but he wasn't naked. Right. I mean, not He's that he the underwear. Yeah, cowboy, not that he right. wanted yeah. him to be naked. Yeah. N- none of us want that. <laughs> he was just like he really is the uh, He's yeah. really the underwear yeah. cowboy. Yeah, right? it was a yeah. funny bit. It was, and it really made him mad, didn't it? I, listen, I will say this: naked did what none of us thought he could do and become a fixture in American culture. Right. I mean, he 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 did what he said he was going to do. Yeah. No, you're right. He I did. mean, he was a he fixture did. and everything. <clears throat> By the way, we got a clear picture. Adler, I just emailed it to you. I don't know if you've downloaded it completely yet. We got a clear picture of the Grim Reaper with Prince Charles. I don't know if you saw this or not. Th- okay. This is a this is a much better view right oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> you've been waiting on that, haven't you? <laughs> it's Camilla for those One of you that can't see. Oh yeah, you, you that Camilla thing really it, Boy, it, it didn't sit you. well with you at all, did it? Well, please come on. Anybody? Uh, yeah. You, you see what we're up against here? Uh, <clears throat> let's go to Kim in Huntsville, one hundred point three, the River. Kim, go ahead. Good morning, my brothers. Hey, Kim. How are y'all today? Good. We're good. Good. Well, I think you need to bring Sn- uh, Nopi in to help Speedy clean up the egg mess. Oh, now, yeah. now, Bubba mentioned that. I heard him mention yeah. that. You, if you, if we'd had a dog, oh, it'd be that gone. wouldn't have been an issue at all. The one, there, you know, we're dog people, and I never thought I'd have a dog in the house. We have two now. You know how it is, guys. You uh, just cave sometimes. Oh, of course, yeah. But while they are drawbacks, there is one positive. Yep. They will clean the floor up. They will. You ain't got to worry about it. Not don't worry now about you it. You got to worry about what gets down there, but they right. will clean it up. Yeah. yeah, and you have to worry about how their body react to what they ate. Yes, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's right. right. Uh, it all goes around, you know. It, it does. Uh, let's go to um, uh, let's go to David. By the way, I've never seen this before. I'm looking at the the, the ten lines here. We have three different Davids. Oh, how about that? Huh. Uh, so this is David in Georgia. Hey, David, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. I was. Telling them I've been listening for about 16 years and Thank you. never called in. But I've called in three days in a row and I've gotten in, just saying. And uh, What did he say? He, he said, said got just three days in a row. Congratulations. 
Oh, you got in three days also, in a row. Okay, I got you. Okay. That's right. Also, uh, y'all greatly affected our language. I've adopted y'all's language from from uh, <laughs> going on in to that's good. Everybody's like, why are you talking like that? And I'm like, obviously, you never listen to Rick and Bubba, so you need to start listening to Rick and Bubba. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I love when people use the, Let me tell you, I got a a really heartfelt letter from a guy, and then all of a sudden, right in the middle of all the seriousness, he said, and, you know, I know that, you know, when I met you, I, I, I just was worried I was being a bip. You know, and I, and I was like, when, when stuff like that shows up in emails and in conversations and people people understand I don't need, I'm trying not to be a yeah. bip, phrases like that, I love yeah. that. So, David, thanks. For, I'm glad you picked up the jargon. Uh, let's, uh, let's continue. English teachers everywhere are excited. Right. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's go to Flip out of Nashville, Tennessee. Flip, Flip, Flip what's going on, buddy? Big Hattie, y'all doing good, right? Yes, yes, sir. Sure. That's been established. Hey, listen, been listening since been listening since ninety six. Wow, thanks. Please tell me before y'all go off the air, you'll name the the radio goobs that took y'all off the Nashville market. Mm. You know, I would like to know. I was actually trying to figure that out. Somebody was asking me about that, and and I think Bubba, see if I have this right. So we were with one company right out of the gate, and that's when we were with the tight. And then, yes. and then and then that company let us go, and then we were picked up by another company. And I know what company that was, uh, but it was not very long. Uh, yes, yeah, but I don't I need re- to think about it a little. But bit. I don't remember who we were with at one zero four five. Do you? Who owned yeah. it then? Yeah, that was uh, that was Dick Broadcasting. Well, there w- you G- go. WGFX. Oh, yeah. okay. it was. Yeah. Did they sell it to somebody else, and the then they took Adler. us off? Uh, they. Rick, that's a very good question. Glad Greg's doing phone. Uh, yeah, I yeah, I'd yeah. have to think about it just a minute. Right, but I, maybe they did. Maybe they did sell it because I remember and they held on yeah. to the radio uh, network that the Titans had. Something that because Alan Alan Dick sold off a lot of his property. He did, um, including the Birmingham property right. around at the time. Mm-hmm. Well, I remember we used to say when we signed <laughs> with Dick Broadcasting, we would say "uncomfortable to say, but a great place to work." <laughs> Do you remember that? <laughs> Yeah, well, right. it wasn't it wasn't the only phallic name in the market. No, we had a at one time. Well, the, Rick, I don't think I'm not going to give them all. You can't say it. No, you I'm not going to give them all. I'm just going to say. Don't because, have time for the meeting. I'm going out of town. What You're I'm saying own. is, I just want to say a true statement from the memories, <laughs> and that is that our lawyer at the time thought we were joking with him. Right. But right. we sent him all the different names that were in negotiation. Every one of them were phallic. And he said, "You're you're you're messing with me. Are y'all are y'all pulling my leg? Y'all, are y'all doing some sort of bit uh-huh. for the show?" And we were like, "No, these no, are the real the names. names. Yeah, they're the real names." Wasn't Alan with us at the uh, the game where um, the old man pulled me down? No, that that actually was. Uh, oh gosh, Speedy! I thought that, it was no. A, a, you know, it's not him. It, him. it was a guy because he was pre him. Yeah, he owned the TV station in Aniston that I used to work for. It was uh, doggone it, Speedy. If you hadn't, it, I'll I, let you know next time. Yeah. I'll be back. By the way, I'm off for a couple of days. Yeah, right. by the way, with everything Sorry. that's going on, please don't think Bubba's left. No, uh, Bub- I... Bubba had this plan. Yeah. He's going on a hamcation. Go, baby. To the biggest ham fest in the whole wide world. Well, not the world, yeah. but it's it's a big well, one. It might Engle- be world. Second largest in the English-speaking world. That's right. There you in, go. In Orlando. So, Bubsy will be back with us, Lord willing, on Monday. The rest of us will be here for, for uh, tomorrow, Lord willing, if we're wrapping up our time together today. Uh, Catch the archives Wednesday Bible study today as well. Thanks for being with us. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Who does a sound check with this? With the giant hot dog. Now somebody look for a go so we can go get it. Don't hit that trigger, Rick, while I'm in front of it. Rick, don't go too high. Watch out, I'm just shooting out here. Yes! Fire in the hole.